Another month of pain. El Bugal. I've got it, I've got it. It's it's yeah, I'm looking for a biggest dickest. I, I, I,
having a friend who's a gaming wizard sure would help a lot. Can't be a boss without a team. Half of the plans when in need. Right hand crew from around the world. Games last fun. All aboard! <laughs> Many fall I'll in the face it. of chaos, no, but not it. this one. Not today. of Premiere 2. My name is Peter. Thank you for joining me on a beautiful day and night in Tokyo, Japan. I will endeavor to entertain you for the next four, five, eight hours. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see how long this party lasts. Feels good to be back in the gaming chair. We crushed. We crushed Tekken 8 yesterday under my king-sized boot. And I had zero trouble at all. So if you're a newbie to the series, you can jump right in. Well, maybe. <laughs> I kind of screwed up a little bit. Ichidan is not goaded. <clears throat> in fact, if I was ranking Ichidan on my top 10 of all of my favorite uh, ramen restaurants, it might be number 14. That's where Ipudon's out too. Listen, if you guys are going to get ramen, don't even bother going to a chain. Why would you? There's countless other places that you can go that are local and good and hearty. That's what I think. Did the PS5 restart after some rest or is it busted? Uh, it did restart. It did, which was great. And 
I was able to turn off the HDCP, which was what was wrong with the backup PS5. So no matter what, no matter what happens, we will be able to oh, that's fix funny. today's stream and have no issues. Whether we have to go through one, two, or three PlayStations, I don't know. But I can tell you that Hyde just threw in five gifted subs. And that's PS1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five gifted subs. There's some synergy there. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. And listen, Teddy, my man, if you're struggling with, you know, you're like, I don't have Nihongo Jozu. A ramen place is without a doubt one of the best places to figure it out. Just say futsu to everything. Because they're only going to ask you two questions. They're going to ask you, how do you want your noodles and how much oil do you want? Just kind of do the... Uh, uh, futsu. Futsu. Food soup. So close to our anniversary. I'll make sure to get you some double-coated Tim Tams, okay? <laughs> no, no, no. I don't need any double-coated Tim Tams. I have all the sweets that I need because today's stream is partially sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. That's right. You can get your hands on a collection of delectable sweets right here from my promo code using Premiere at checkout for $5 off. God, that was smooth. God, that was so smooth. Uh, I do need to figure out. That's not right. Let's figure out. Hold on. I'm going to fix it because uh, the, 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 actually we've had some trouble with the chat bot today. The chat bot seemingly is broken. So let's fix it now before the sponsor starts. That is, a, that is an important time to fix things before it gets too late. <laughs> I think it goes like this. Let me try. Let me try. Don't believe me. Just watch. Oh, but you got to admit. That's funny. That was extra. Ju What's up, Hyde? Thank you, man. You don't need the Tim Tams, but Yuki might like them more. Let me tell you something right now. The one thing that Yuki is excited about is this sponsorship. She tried. I almost lost the sponsorship because she opened. She was going to open one of the boxes and just start eating. Listen about uh, about the alerts. They're not too loud. It's just we have some. I don't know what's wrong with the uh, OB, OB. Something's wrong with OBS. I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong. I'm turning them down manually. It's an OBS issue, but we're gonna figure it out. But first, let's try that Sakurako. Let's try that Sakurako. Somebody hit that exclamation Sakurako one more time. Let's see if it worked. Let's see if I fixed it. Let's go. You, I'm gonna have you do it so it looks like we had engagement. There it is. It's we're back, baby. We're back, baby. It's there. Well, okay, that's a lot of it. That is a lot. And I'm not saying that I have like the, I I still got to set it up. I'm still pretty oh, nervous. Wow, I didn't point. actually Oh yeah, they're right here, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, they're right here. I am ready to open these up. Ooh, mama. Mother, these are going to be great. So thank you to them for letting us uh, sponsor a part of this stream today. It's very awesome. I got to look inside one of them already, and let me tell you something. I, the ground I'll go quakes. into shield mode or excitement mode later. I'm genuinely excited about this. I'm genuinely excited about it. Uh, it's pretty cool. We'll see though. We'll. I haven't got to eat them yet, so we'll find out. Thank you, High Wind. So, my Sakurako box arrived half an hour ago. Amazing timing. Was it this one? Was it their Valentine's one? Listen, look, my whole philosophy is that you guys have always been so supportive with gift and subs, throwing in bits, and I try to reinvest as much of that as I can back into the stream. And you know what? Sponsors see that. They see that support, and they say, we got you. We'll also help support your stream. Just talk about some to of my stuff. To my surprise, I, I stumbled it. across... What? A secret. Huh? Sexy. What? What? Club. What? 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 Ha ha ha! it's Pete. Wow! It's the Crumbs Man! Pretty boy! How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. You missed the intro. We're still- we're still introing, Nate. You did miss the, uh, the timing for your- your sound effects. You know, Breadcrumbs, I thought about you when I was playing Tekken 8, because one of the head items is a giant loaf of bread that goes on top of the character's dome. So, that's pretty awesome. I, 
I was like, 100%, this is the breadcrumbs game. 100%. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good day, guys. I've got all kinds of information about the sponsor for its segment. We're gonna unbox. We're gonna eat. We're gonna we're gonna chew. I've turned them off anyway. Yes, because of you, Nathan. That's why we can't trust you at the helm because you only use ones that insult me. You never use any of the other ones. Uh, this is gonna be very cool. So yes, the to so basically without going into sponsor mode yet, we will be able to to look at it. Basically, the Tokyo Treat version is the, this is the seasonal snacks that you can get from Japan that you're probably familiar with or have seen before. Sakura Ko is the artisanal supporting local artisans and craftsmanships of really specific and exciting, like, versions of those snacks. Like, like, you'll see. And, and personally... Some of the ones inside this manual of the Sakura box are 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 awesome. It's it has two of my favorite desserts in Japan. At least it advertised it as so. So I'm hoping that's true. I love Onko, by the way. I did not like it when I first came to Japan. I and I've never been like a cake or chocolate guy that much. I like sweets, but Onko, I was like, get out of my face. That's actually my favorite dessert now. Uh, highball's not a dessert. That is an alcoholic drink. If I could convince my wife that I'm just going out for dessert, I'm going to have a few desserts tonight, maybe. We could try and swing that. She's not going to buy it. But uh, do you guys know taiyaki? I don't think taiyaki's in here, but taiyaki's like the, the red snapper-shaped pastry, and inside is just a whole hunk of red bean paste. I love that shit. And they're like a dollar ten. They're less than a dollar. They're hyakuju in. They're like a hundred and ten. And I even did an episode of Cool Japan looking up the history of taiyaki. And I went to the very first taiyaki restaurant historically in Japan that's been carried down since the Edo period for like 350 years. And the reason was during celebrations, Red Snapper was traditionally eaten as like a way to celebrate uh, holidays, events, weddings, but you couldn't afford it from the fishmonger. The dude was walking through the streets saying, like, get your fish. So what this guy did was like, you know what I'm thinking? Maybe I'll make a red snapper designed pastry and fill it with a cheaper alternative. And so people who aren't able to afford those celebratory meals, they can still celebrate by getting this kind of stylized version of it. Genius. What is my favorite flavor? Basic. Onko. Give it to me. I don't want the cus. I mean, the custard's good. So is the uh, like the cr the custard or the cream the the um, green tea or the creamy stuff. Oh, that's good. No, Here's some money. I want the base. Here's a dollar towards Premierkin. Hey, I should have put this towards today's amazing sponsor instead. Use Sakura in chat to check out today's <laughs> awesome sponsor. Nathan, this is not a bribe for me to have sound alerts back. <laughs> I thought you were just doing something good. All right, I'll turn them on for you later. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Choose your, you can choose which one you want, Tokyo Treat or Sakura Ko. We're going to go over both. It's going to be, it's going to be an awesome celebration. They were kind enough to, to do this with me. Uh, let's, let's honor it correctly, but not yet. But not yet, my friends. Uh, I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk about the show. I want to talk about the things that we're doing. Why does the TTS sound more like uh, Stephen Hawking or like, well, it's not, that's not Stephen Hawking's voice. It's a, it's a robot voice that speaks on his behalf when he was alive. Uh, I, I don't know. It reminds me personally of Microsoft Sam, which is the OG. We're going old school with it. Like, you know, the very first proprietary sound alert that you could have 25 years ago. Well, I think I have to read that because they need to be corrected. Nate, nah, mate, Microsoft Sam is way too unique. Uh, well, I mean, this is as close as I've heard to Microsoft Sam in a long time. That's Joey. But there you go. It does remind me of that, so I kind of liked it. Uh, as close as you can probably get. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, Art? So, guys, welcome. Appreciate you being here. Today, we are, we're probably, it's finally happening. After maybe two or three, Brian is still the TTS message. Uh, after two or three, no, I haven't played this game in eight years. 
in eight or nine years, we're finally going to go back to one of the all-time greatest games ever made, Final Fantasy VII. And I know that that can be divisive. I understand that. Some of you guys are going to say, like, wait a minute. I'm not into this RPG shit. Hey, wait, what happened to Tekken 8? Hey, I don't even like RPGs. I get it. I can't please everyone. I can only try to please myself. And if I'm having fun, the philosophy is hopefully you're having fun. So if you've never played Final Fantasy, buckle up. I got your back. If you're a big fan of Final Fantasy, let's revisit it together. If you're just here for the jokes, the insults, and all that in between, that's cool with me too, man. I'm an open target, and you guys very rarely miss. And what's up, Sori? Been catching up on all the recent videos. Yeah? Awesome work as always, Pete. Looking forward to another awesome stream today, Premier Love. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. This is going to be a big one. And basically, what um, I never had this opportunity when Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. And I, I debated. I thought about it. Do I really want to do this? Do I want to go back to one of my favorite games? And do I want to try to share the these kind of long form experiences with everybody? Or should I just keep it personal? Okay, stop asking me if I have a furry character. That's the third time. You said hello, and then you asked me what my furry character is. For the sake of being kind, I'll answer you. Ninjara from Ninja Turtles, Google it if you have to. Or fine, fuck it. Catch she from Final Fantasy VII. There you go, there's two. They're both cute. I don't care. The little Moogle running around. There you go. Now stop asking. Ninjara is the main one. Um, okay, I... God. So... I'm from Lily Maru channel. Well, that's great. She's an amazing streamer. She's fantastic. Um, so the thing is, <clears throat> we uh, I decided I will go ahead and stream Final Fantasy VII. And I'm not only going to stream Final Fantasy VII, I'm going to make it a celebration of this entire month. Now, that does not mean I'm exclusively playing that the whole time, okay? So we're going to go Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Then we're going to do Final Fantasy VII Remake into Rebirth. It's going to be a celebration, and it's going to be awesome. And if I don't feel it, or if I'm not enjoying it, I can pull the plug at any time and switch to something else. However, um, I think we're also going to be spending some time playing Tekken 8, you know, maybe tonight, maybe maybe at the cool end or the back end of a stream where we want to chill out. And I think the Final Fantasy streams will be mostly contained to Tuesday through Friday. If I stream on Tuesday. So it's going to be during the weekday. It's going to be while you're going through the doldrums of your day job. And maybe I can lift you a, uh, a solid. Maybe you're, you're tuning in before you go to bed. Or you're waking up in the morning and you're turning on your, your television. I got you for these parts. On Mondays, we're probably going to spin it to something more regional. Like going outside in Japan with an IRL stream. Or doing something like Tekken 8 or something that's more modern. And then on Saturdays, we're going to keep that flexed open for, like, a peat craft, you know, where we might do, like, the building Legos. We might do another Gundam, uh, maybe something a bit more relaxed. So that's how I feel the like we can balance breaks. it out. Because one thing I realized after three years of doing this, and I have a lot to learn, I have a, a tremendous amount where I'm still trying to learn uh, it's like, it's like, how do I say this? Um, uh, definitely not Kabuki Cho. I, I will never live stream Kabuki Cho if I can, if I can avoid it. Um, it's like one of the things that if you're, if you're a, a, a growing streamer or you're just starting out, there's no right or wrong way to do it. So this is all anecdotal. This is my experiences. What worked for me may not work for you. I totally get that. But the thing I, I realized was that it's a little bit harder for me to do nine straight streams of the same game. I I think it it asks a lot of the audience. It asks a lot of the viewership. And if it's, I mean, Apex or Fortnite or something like that is fine, because or Tekken, because you have like these each you can just tune in at any time. But with a with an MMO or a or an RPG, it's also like Jesus Christ, I don't even, I've missed two or three of these streams. I have no idea what part of the game we're in. And now I don't even want to be here and find out. But if it's like, you know, if you're, if you're like, oh, I see you're kind of getting into this. Let's talk about this for a few days, you know, and then we can, uh, we can kind of, 
and then I'll be like, you know what, we're going to be playing, then I'll get you caught up, and you can jump back in, and then there's like some other things going on, so if you still want to see the other Pete content, I got you. Hey, Pete, suggestion for us on the Discord vote for the next Gundam kit. We could recommend some great beginner-friendly kits to start. You know what I'm thinking? I, I would actually want to do, let's do a one better. Let's just do one better. Why don't I take us back to Nakano on an IRL stream? We'll, we'll do like, why don't we go buy one together and we can look through all what they got? That would be more fun, wouldn't it? Not a Pete's Quest. Maybe it's like we'll do something else around Japan and then we'll end the stream taking a stream, uh, the train to Nakano and then pick out a Gundam together. That would be pretty sick. Or maybe... Wait. Maybe. Do you... Hear me out. Do you guys... I've been thinking about, you know how, okay, let me, let me, let me get, let me. Do you guys think? What if I hired Paul to be a cameraman and I introduced on like a 15 minute video to what the Nakano Broadway Mandarake shop is? And then that's like its own YouTube video. Where instead of live streaming it, I could say, are you thinking about coming to Japan? Why don't you come to one of the most interesting places that's on the west side of Tokyo, Mandarake at Nakano. Maybe we actually have a real good YouTube video. The thing about IRL streaming is we're sacrificing quality and we're always live. And I think the idea that I would show is we let's find five things to do in Nakano during, or like, I just, if we can think of a title, if we can think of a title, that's how Chris comes up with all of his videos, you know? And sometimes, you know, I don't want to have those interactions, you know? But on the Crane game, we did have some interactions with people, and that wasn't live stream. So maybe I'll, I'll, I found Epic Gundams in a secret place in Tokyo. That might work. That might work. Do you guys want to know a little? I, I was, I'm going to spoil one little thing because augmented reality is here. Are you ready? This is a secret Super Omega special. You ready? Okay. On Journey Across Japan, we actually, it's going to be on the Patreon. We filmed an extra challenge that didn't make it into the final cut. And when Ian read who it was submitted by, he said it was augmented reality. And I could tell. I don't think it was submitted by her. I think he just wanted her name to be out there. Uh-huh. Yep. And then, and, then, and then she got cut. Then she got cut from the uh, episode. Sorry. <laughs> Tough break. But you were, you were named. Damn, that tastes good. That tastes real good. If time is a river, do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. Ah, well, that's weird. I don't know how that, that showed up there, but uh, yeah, that t it tastes quite good. There you go. So just in case. Ah, you know what I realized? I never drink it from the front. Does anybody else do that? Does anybody else ever like? I I always drink it from the side. Like I don't know why I don't know why that is. 
I'm always afraid that the little lid thing's going to smack me in the nose. Morning from Hawaii, Pete. And chat, just came back from Japan last week and Wednesday, and I checked out your watering hole. Ao Nisai and saw the whole crew. Your boy was there and was nice enough to get us a seat at the bar for a quick bite and drinks, even though they were booked up for the night. I can see why you like the area. <laughs> Aloha, my friend, and thank you for checking it out. I appreciate that. Was Yuzuki there? She's a she's a crowd favorite. She's a she's a crowd favorite among the Premier Two faithful. Uh, and so she chased me down for a shot of tequila. I don't think I've recovered from that. She, if I wasn't married, that would have the tequila would have won my heart over anyway. And that's how good that was. That tequila was actually. I hate tequila. That was good. Um, yes, she was. Fumie was killing it. Did you get the corn tempura? That's my favorite. The I can't. How do you pronounce corn? It's the weirdest word in Japanese. Takara takara takara. Tamara Koshi. Tamara, that's the one. That one. It's good stuff. Watch your words, Pete. You can, hey, my love is to one person, one person over. Uh, only one. And like that, that is definitely. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're not, <laughs> we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do two. I already have enough sponsored stuff today. We're not gonna, we're not gonna throw in more. I just thought that was a good segue. So, yeah, this is this is gonna be a fun. Don't ad block it. It's fun. There's an even better one that was made with uh, Pokemon and Connor that we watched yesterday. That was funny. So, uh, yes, today we are going to be playing. I think Final Fantasy VII. I might, I might pivot. What uh, what kind did you get, Heavy? What flavors? What's up, Outraged Octopus? Thanks, Pete, for amazing content. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Happy you enjoy it. Yes, I did. Uh, Shirako Ponzu and half the menu. Ginger highballs for the win. Ginger highballs are very good. They're very good. Uh, you know me, Hannah. I like to change the sub alerts. I, I like to. I like to mix and match. And did I sleep well? Not really, actually. I had a terrible dream last night. I had two. And I'm trying, ah, I remember what it was. One was that I was in a plane that was crashing. And the pilot and Robert Downey Jr. were in the plane with me. And as we were getting, we were like slowly descending to our crash. Robert Downey Jr. removed the uh, parachute from the pilot who was like trying to land the plane. We went to the back hatch to try to open it. And it was locked. And then he was like, I got to get out of here. I'm Robert Downey Jr. And I was like, what about the hatch at the top of the plane? And I like, we opened it up. And I, I, I helped him. I hoisted him out. And he jumped. And then I went back to the pilot. And I was like, is there any more parachutes? And he's like, no. And I was like, what? And so the pilot was able to land the plane on like a highway. And I, I, like, stacked myself in all these, like, boxes, and I made sure to put, like, a box over my head so that it would be, it would be nice and safe. And it turns out that Robert Downey Jr. did not survive. His parachute didn't open. He died. But had he stayed with us and not abandoned, he would have lived. That was my dream. And then the other one was that Connor retired from streaming. And then I thought, well, well, shit. There goes my career, too. <laughs> so it was a tale of two dreams. Uh, I almost died in both. So there you go. <laughs> so now, you know, I was like, well, this is not fun. Um, the second one is somehow more scary. For me personally, I'd rather be in the plane. You're right. Joke's on you. I was the pilot. Well, thanks for landing it, mate. So, and then I, I woke up around 10 and uh, I didn't hear about the Pokemon thing until today. What's up, Gambunta? Welcome back, brother. I, I figured out that, like, so I woke up today, and if I was to be 100% candid, I've had a lot of calls with Mike slash Notorious Monster. I'm nervous about, I just want to do this, I want to do the sponsored thing right, and I've been preparing for it and excited about it and, like, thinking about it. I went, I got some coffee, I got a bacon and horinso, which is spinach, horinso no quiche. And if you guys watched 
the RV or the cyclothon. I don't know if you guys got to see that part live, but Chris and I have a shared appreciation and love for the Starbucks bacon and spinach quiche. We love it. It's legitimately my I try to get one two or three times a week. It's my breakfast every day. It will no, I if I could, I'd get it every day. But it's like 340 calories, and it's this nice little slice of bacon and spinach quiche, and I really like it. It goes great with the coffee. So buying food in Starbucks, you fucking Tory behavior. Pack it in, mate. Pack it in. All right? I Look, one of the things that I have afforded myself that I promised myself that I would not skimp out on if I, if I had any job, whether I was teaching or if I was doing streaming or if I went into the service industry once again, I will like I will go to cafes almost daily. I enjoy them. I like having coffee there. I like to I like to be around people. I like to watch them. I would do this in France. I would do this in America. I would do this anywhere I can. Yeah, but it's Starbucks scran coffee, fair enough. Honestly, the bacon's horenso quiche is better than their Americanos. I love, do I people watch? I've been people watching for 25, 30 years. Uh, yes, I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks coffee, um, but I like getting their mug cup Americano with an extra shot of espresso. So that's what I generally get there. But there's a lot of, I kind of go through different coffee shops. There's about four in my area that I cycle between and get to know the staff. Uh, I want to retire with a cute little coffee shop someday. You know what? I would like a pub. <laughs> so people watching for me was a, an active part of my college degree uh, because I enjoyed very much acting. And to help imbue those characters with life, you want to get away from the characteristics that make me me and find and observe what other people are like throughout the world. So I would often, I just enjoy watching people, seeing how they move through space, seeing how they, how they talk, seeing how they represent themselves, seeing like when you open a door, what's the first part of your body that goes through that invisible threshold? Some people it's their foot, some people it's their chest, some people it's their nose, some people it's the top of their head, could be their hands. Everybody's different. Everyone has a different gait and walk and I, I find that very fascinating. Am I acting right now? I would say that I am elevating who I am as a person by about 10 to 12%. I am putting on a performance in the sense as a, I want to be as entertaining for you guys as possible. I, I try not to go live if I'm having a, a horrible day or I try not to, uh, you know, I, I try to act like I like Nathan and Mifu. That's a lot harder than it is to do the show. How much of that forehead is elevated? A fair amount. I have to do a forehead reduction surgery once a year. The, well, I mean, like, it depends on what my full power... No, 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 no. I'm saying, like, I, I'm, I'm a slightly enhanced version of myself. Not, I'm not operating at 10 to 12% of Peter's power. I'm taking a base Peter and cranking it up Alert. to another slight upgrade. What's up, Kai? Love that you appreciate and support the stream so much. Appreciate that, man. Get on in here. The forehead is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. That is true. How could anyone deny Peter's power? You'd be surprised the bank tried yesterday. <laughs> You're always just in time. I know. I appreciate that. Ooh, ooh la la. Pete, your skin looks great. Any tips? Yes. Two key lights. Make them warm and uh, highlight that aspects of your face carefully and a lot of shadows. Also, I'll just tell you the truth. I'm not afraid to admit it. I put on a little tiny teensy bit of foundation here and there. On occasion, not today, but on occasion. Depends on my, uh, depends on how I look that day and how much I drank the night. No guy liner today, I see. Right. Depends on how much I drank the night before. Usually it's under here. 
<laughs> I love the commercials you made. They always bring a smile to me. Thank you, Agatha. Aren't you so do you being here. I personally like the paper bag method to make my face look extra. There you go. But if you like, and the thing I don't like is like when well, right here, my hair looks better than it it is. And then when I use the security cam, it suddenly looks like my hair is 18 wisps holding on by super glue. It actually makes me deeply self-conscious. I hate the security. What the? <laughs> I look like Medusa. That's not even what it looks like in real life. It's the lights doing other tricks to it. Look at that. It just looks, it looks bad. And then here it looks fine. Here we're, we're looking good. So question really quick. I uh, thank you for the raid. That was not to me. Hannah, you know the rules. As a, as a moderator, you're supposed to lead by example. You're supposed to lead by example. You have to put the at at the front of the name or I'm going to read it. <laughs> you got to do it. I get confused. I'm stupid. Um, I, I will show you guys this. Uh, while I'm in the, the, while I'm just randomly scolding Hannah, wait, I wanted to plug my friend's art that I think is just actually freaking amazing. I saw this, I have, you guys may have met him before on this channel. His name is Comics and Coffee. I'm a, I'm a big fan of his. He's my, he's my, I've known him for, for 20 years, maybe 20 yeah, I've known him for 20 years, and he did a, a couple of pictures today that I thought were just fucking awesome. I was really, really surprised. Well, no, I wasn't surprised. I don't want to say that. I was, I was happy that he's going in this direction. Does that make more sense? I'm happy he's going in this direction. So look at this. He, he did on his stream today, he did like a, because I saw that Kai was, I know Kai appreciates good art. Um, he's remaking classic Nintendo kind of covers and making them into comic books. And he's a bit of a comic book historian, so to speak. And he took like the, that's obviously from like the very first panel, or not the very, the very first cave you go in. Uh, what's his Twitch account? It's Comics and Coffee. So, this one is, uh, this is where you get the sword for the very first time when that guy says, it's dangerous to go alone. He absolutely nails that old school comic aesthetic. Even the coloring, the, the lettering, these awesome, like, I mean, it's just perfectly done. This is not AI generated. He drew this. He drew it. And it's gonna be part of a series that he, he's working on. And the other one, I like this one a lot. God, that's so sick, the wooden sword. I actually like the other one even better. <laughs> that is so awesome. That fucking rules. Alone on a hostile alien world. He's got Samus and the bugs and this awesome Nintendo comics, like, Whatever that is. I forgot what they call it. Label. I don't think he it's he's not selling these. They're not he's he's not it's it's just you know he's how do it's just Blue this Premier, is one hundred percent fair Conner, use. Premier affable. He's uh he's just saying, hey, this is something I thought was cool. You can draw Mario. <laughs> Nintendo, they will not bust into your schoolroom. Uh, or your your house and say you cannot draw Kirby, you son of a bitch. <laughs> this is just for fun, uh, but it is very good. And thank you, Ace Ace Ninja. Appreciate you, man. They actually might, but yeah, that's these are great. I love his old man. It's dangerous to go alone. Can we get a what's up, Green Chocobo? You say that. But I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Could you, could I have a, uh, if there's a shout out command, can we get one for Comics and Coffee as well? Because we got Kai as an artist. We got Comics and Coffee as an artist. Um, could you help me with that? If you guys want to see him make those, you can. But yeah, 
I really like the small bits of aging. Uh, yeah, I know. Me too. And you know what? The, the other thing is that th this is my this is actually my favorite part of what he does. There he is right there. If you guys want to drop him a follow, he's an awesome dude. One of my this is the actual coolest shit. My friend Comics and Coffee is a enormous comics book fan. Obviously, he's worked in coffee shops. He's been drawing comics. He he made a very famous uh, board game called Sentinels of the Multiverse. I'm not expecting you to have played it or know of it, but it, it was a very successful board game in which he did all of the art for for the past, I don't know, 20 years or whatever, or 10 years when it's been out. Um, so when he, one of the things that he wanted to do when he started playing Sentinel or creating Sentinels of the Multiverse is he started to redraw some of these things. Look at, this is the coolest thing right here. Look how he has those old... How do I say it? Um, like 19 Silver Age or Golden Age comic book print style with the, with the dots, the dithering and the shading. This looks like it's supposed to represent, you know, uh, 1960s comic books. And I think he nailed it. You just don't see that on today's stuff. And I, I love that. And if you look far away, it's kind of harder to tell. But when you when you punch in, this one, see, this one doesn't have it. This one's just a traditional kind of like, we're going to go this way with it. And then uh, his Metroid one has it. So, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the whole series. I'm going to have him, I'm going to print these off and throw them. Hello, Peterson. Hello, Spider-Man. How you doing, Spidey? If you guys did not see it today... I thought for a minute there that I thought I was a great Spider-Man streamer. I was wrong. I didn't dress up as Spider-Man. I didn't play the game as Spider-Man. That's what Yoshi Spider-Man is doing. It was very kawaii. So cute. I think, Yoshi, if I wear the Spider-Man costume, everybody's going to get really mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody, nobody wants to see me as Spider-Man. I'm, I'm too old and I'm a little bit chotto devu ne. Hazukashi ne. Dekinai, dekinai. Maybe I could be like Dr. Octopus. I could be Uncle Ben. What character could I be that's a little bit, I could be Kurt Connors. <laughs> I could be dead. Uh, my voice is getting better. Thank you. I could be Aunt May. I could be Jay. J Jay Jonah Jameson has to have the mustache. You got to have the mustache. But I thought your stream was really fun. You had a great stream. Well done. I I'm looking forward to. All right. I'll all right. All right. I'll be Spider-Man. One for JJ. I could try it. All right. So you got me. I'll do it uh, after. I could be Peter Porker. Yeah, I could be the pig. But that was a great stream. Very fun. I hope you do more gaming streams. There is your IRL stream supported. Yeah, stop crime on the mean streets of Tokyo dressed as Peter Porker. So, yeah, good days today. We're going to be playing lots of fun games. Uh, it was fun. Lots of cool stuff to talk about. Other than that, I don't know about you guys, but Tekken 8 was a huge success. Amazing game. Actually blew my mind. And I will be revisiting it. There's at least five characters that I, when I first turned on the game, privately, I was like, I just don't think any of these characters resonate with me. I was like, I just don't think any of these guys are like cool for me. Except for King. But after doing, uh, after, after I saw, like playing through the story mode, Reyna, Jin, Paul, um, of course, King, Victor, there was a, Lee is not in, Steve Fox, yes, yeah, Steve was awesome, I would say right now, it's, um, I would say it's either going to be Steve, King, uh, it's one of those two, it's either the wrestler or the Birmingham, Steve looked pretty awesome. Stop calling 
her rain hoe. It's it's not stop. I like I liked King. King is cool. King plays very different from the rest of the roster though. So that's why I can't I can't uh I can't really get behind. I want to have like one real Tekken character and one real like, you know, um one real Tekken character and one kind of like this guy's a bit unique. King was awesome. He's super fun. He's got he's got a bunch of different moves and he's got a lot of different throws and I love grapplers. How about Dragonoff? Nah, that's Jock not Jock's character. And I've always liked grapplers. Like in uh like in Virtua Fighter, I I mained Wolf. And some of the old Street Fighter games, I liked Zangief. Uh, I just think they're cool. Uh Potemkin sometimes. It's fun stuff. He's a wild grappler. He is. So that's what's on the docket today. Today we're gonna be talking about Final Fantasy VII and Cloud. And Cloud kind of talks like this in all of his characters. He's too cool for school. You don't know me, I'm a member of Soldier. I never really raise my voice unless my mind's getting absolute <laughs> That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Hugo is a great grappler as well. So is uh lots of good ones. Lots of good ones. Let me uh, let me get let me get some jams going back. Ah. My favorite Final Fantasy husband, though. Tough one, man. There's been about 17 of those games. I would probably say Furion is my favorite. He's my favorite main character. Uh, Furion from Final Fantasy II. I also like Locke from Final Fantasy VI. I like Shadow from Final Fantasy VI. I like... Um, I like Steiner from Final Fantasy IX, even though he's not really a husbando. I like Oron. Yuna, I am your guardian. I like um, Bosch from 12. I like Cecil and Kine from Final Fantasy 4, also known as Kane. Firion from 2. Galoof from 5 and Bartz from 5. No one from 13 except for Zaz. He was cool. So, yeah. Yeah, the P3 remake is coming out real soon, guys. Real soon. Red 13 is a, he's an animal, so yes, he's cool too. Clive is also in there. Clive's in there. Clive is the default guy from 16. Final Fantasy 17, or wait, Final Fantasy 7 fave? You mean my favorite character? Probably Yuffie. But I will say that the entire cast of Final Fantasy 7 is pretty godlike. It's pretty amazing. They're, it's a really great cast. And, you know, at the time... This seems crazy to consider. When Final Fantasy VII came out, uh, a lot of people thought there wasn't enough characters to play as. They thought that there was a, a lack of, of available party members. That was a really fast sub-notice, wasn't it, T-Fuzz? Let me, let me take a look at that really quick for you, bud. I don't know if... Did it even have text? Did anything just show up at all? It was like, dun-dun-dun-dun. Give me a second, boss man. Well, I appreciate that you, you did sub, man. It's very, very kind of you. It had no. It didn't say this person has subscribed for X amount of months. It didn't even have their name. It. That would be disrespectful. I would let you guys call me a straight up scumbag. <laughs> nice try, Nathan. Let me let me uh let me let me extend the um let me extend the alert box so that it goes a bit longer. I think that was really quick. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I might have accidentally hit that uh oh. I did. Let's try that. Try four seconds. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I think it's time that we do this. I think it's time, guys. I think it's don't sub now because when we go to the sponsored uh, segment, we hey, what's up? What's up, Egg? How you doing, VTubers? Didn't look like there was any text there, though. I'll be honest. It didn't look like there was any text on any of these. Oh, that was because that one was cut off. 
What's up, Aggie Raids? Always a huge supporter on Twitter, too. I see you working, man. You're a good, awesome egg. You're a good egg. Aggie Rady, appreciate that, man. That's right, all brand half man. I'm here to get you through your work days. That's why, that's why I stream the way I do. But guys, eggs just in time because we have a sponsored stream. That's right, you heard me correctly. We have a... That's not it. Sponsored! Stream! A portion of today's stream will be from our good friends at Tokyo Treat. And Sakura Co. And that's pretty exciting stuff. Very exciting. Uh, I mean, look at this. Boom! Look at that! It's right there. It's looking at us. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the Tokyo Treat full page. Look at that. So this is where the, we got the big boxes, which is what you can get too. They're not, these are not unique to me. Uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to set this up before I screw it up. Cause I, I, I'm always afraid that I, I will screw something up. Like it's inevitable. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I feel about all of these things. Oh, wait, this is actually a better one. Look at this. Notorious Monster is a legend. He made it so it's easier to see. That's pretty cool. We have a new sponsor, man. I'm not going to just eat something from the box. I'm going to eat multiple things from the box. Oh, my God. Are you a millionaire now? You know, I am. I'm a millionaire of riches when I open a box of Tokyo Treat, and I get all of the amazing things inside of it. You may not be wealthy in money, but you'll be wealthy in taste. That's how good this stuff is. That's how what I mean, like, I don't even have to, I don't even just say it. But here's what we got. We got, we've got like two different cams because I didn't think about this. I didn't think about this was not planned, but how lucky was the uh the upgrade of of getting this this setup? Now you got, like, I bought this setup just so that I could build a Gundam and do Legos. And now I actually get to use it for a, like, an unboxing. So you guys can get a really HD look. I'm not even talking about, like, we're going to do something where it's, like, you know, two seconds of, like, uh, you know, oh, here's the box, you know, it's Tokyo Treat. Let's open it up and put it down. You get to see. You get to look inside these boxes and make an educated decision on whether or not it's right for you. Look at that. Look at this. And I can even get rid of my, is that, yeah, I can even get rid of me. And I, I like that they gave me some cool talking points that I can use that I want to, I want to kind of do it with you guys. Like I've never got to do this before and I could use my own words and be like, yeah, I wonder if I should, Maybe I should, uh, like, how do I, maybe how do I word it? Or what's the best way to, I'll just use what they wrote. It's even cooler. But I also have, like, these cool videos that they sent me. Check this out. <laughs> I have, like, stingers. I've got stingers. I've got, like, transitions. And look at this one. Look, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. And I got you thought that was it. I should, I should point out, I had nothing to do with any of those amazing videos. <laughs> I, 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 I just played them. That, that was just, and they, they were like, you, you don't have to play that ones. But I was like, no, that looks cool as hell. 
All right, so here is in their own words. Here's their own words so that I can read it to you because this is kind of exciting. This is the, the Tokyo Treat Box. The theme is, be my Valentine. Love is in the air this Valentine's Day, and we've packed our favorite treats into the Be My Valentine box to celebrate and show appreciation. Indulge in delicious snacks filled with love. This month's box is filled with favorite treats to celebrate Valentine's Day with strawberry shortcake Kit Kats, Pokemon candy hearts, PD Cutta spicy ramen, and many more. Let's do it! Sweet! All right, so here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I, I'm having so much fun with this. I, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna give the Pokemon ones. We're going to save it for Nathan. Swear to God. Oh, my God. Strawberry Shortcake Kit Kats. I am pretty... I mean... All right, so here are the two, here are the two boxes, right? You have Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat. There are differences. Oh, wait. I've been excited for this. You ready? I get to... Uh... I'm going to open this up really quick. I don't even need the heartbeat. I can do it myself. Look at this. So, whoa, don't screw it up. <sighs> oh, whoa, it says bite into Japan. This is a treasure trove of snacks. This is the real, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, and then this one. I want to just, I want to let you guys know the differences between the two before we get involved. These are very different boxes, and knowledge is power. Basically, the Tokyo Treat Box, this is going to be your grab bag of more, um, how do I say it? It's like snacks and sweets that you can find around sweet shops almost anywhere in Japan. However, the big difference is, is they're choosing to find local, limited, kind of seasonal sweets that you can only get for a limited amount of time, which is not uncommon in Japan for, like, fruits only can be bought at the grocery store during, in season, or these kind of things. So, the strawberry shortcake Kit Kats, these uh, potato snacks, oh man, this is Mintaiko. That, I think that's Mintaiko. That would be a big challenge for me, which I'm going to indulge in. Uh, and some of these chocolates and all, a lot of these, oh shit, this stuff's good too. I haven't had this in forever. Um, this is cola flavored. So these ones are more what you can find if you were to go to a sweet shop in Japan. Sakura Ko, on the other hand, this box is for seasonal kind of from, not, not seasonal. These are from local artisans from around Japan. I'm talking maybe a one of one or a limited available shops that have maybe like maybe a family owned place or it's from a different prefecture. And these are gonna be more traditional snacks like dorayaki or I mean, actually, I don't even know yet because I haven't got to look at it. There's some cacao tea. Oh dear God, this is a choco Danish. I will, I did not eat dinner purposely for this. Like these things, wild grape gummies. That is my favorite snack of wild grape gummies. So those are the two differences between the boxes. One is from local artisans. The other is for I want to eat Japanese sweets and snacks. Those are the big differences. So let's, I feel like the best way to go about this is to uh, dig in. <laughs> they do have a tea pairing. And I asked Yuki if we could do tea pairing. I want to try the tea on stream. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I don't miss a single one of my very important things to say. It says here, ban Nathan for insubordination. No, oh, that was my private notes. Sorry, whips. That was not that was not what I was supposed to be reading. That's for later. Uh, please do wait. Unban Nathan because it would be a better punishment to keep him here. Okay, got it. Sorry, that was a note from the bosses uh, upstairs. But there are other notes. <laughs> but I think the most important thing is, um, you know, let's dig into the box. And we can experience Japan from the comfort of my own studio. Or, in your case, wherever you live, uh, if you wanted to pick up a box for yourself. But these are, these are a subscription box where every month they will send you a themed box of snacks. And 
honestly, if you're a snack lover, treat yourself. It's once a month. Don't you like getting mail? Amazon's getting kind of boring for me. I like getting actual presents. You can have the entire taste of Japan once a month. And the other thing that's pretty awesome, this is my cheat code, swear to God, is these make excellent gifts. This is basically 12 birthday presents where you can tie in your interests and give it to someone else or bring it to work or a function where you can say, hey, look, I, I just came back from Japan and these are some of the things that I had that I really liked. These are great once a month gifts or treats for yourself. Tokyo treat yourself. This could be your work omiyage. You can make new friends in the office. I'm forever grateful to Tokyo Treat for introducing me to Umaibo and Sakura Cola. Umaibos are amazing. I do not have the Sakura Cola yet. They ship all around the globe, and you get a discount by using my promo code, which is incredible. And I just received a slight donation, but I turned off alerts because... We might be using this for a YouTube video as well. So thank you for the... I will get back to that in a minute. I will replay that for you. So let's take a look. Enough chatter! All right. The, I think the most sensible thing... We're going to start with the Tokyo... We're starting with the Tokyo Treat. We're going to start with the Tokyo Treat. Let's get that up there. Let's do it. Tokyo Treat first. And I think the easy thing to do is we're going to separate this into two piles. Snacks. Okay, so like... We're going to put on the left snacks that I want to eat from this box. And on the right, these are snacks that I'm not fond of. We're done. Great. So we've got a box of snacks that I want to eat. That was really easy. I didn't even have to sort through them to see. It's perfect. But let's take a look anyway. We've got strawberry shortcake Kit Kats. We've got, uh-oh, I have to read these things. Poku hotto. Poku hot. Are these? These are Pokemon. These are your guys' things. These are the Pokemon hearts. I thought it was pork hearts for a minute, and I was like, that, that's not. Then we've got the Lotte, which is a really famous chocolate company. And this is the Kakao. So we've got chocolate there. We've got Bake, uh, which is actually pronounced beak. Bake. Oh, it's bake. Baked goods. We've got my cola guy, the cola candy. We've got, uh, <laughs> this is Patty Patty. Does anybody remember what Patty Patty means? Patty Patty is like crunchy, I think. Or, or like crispy. Patty Patty. I feel like it's crispy or crunchy. It's like an onomatopoeia. Uh, then we've got the, well, these are basically ha piton. Soft rice crackers that are sweet. Oh my good lord. Corn potage? What? Corn potage balls? All right, that's going first. And then Ichigo Mugi. A big bag of chips, which, God, I love these. And these are a kind of, what? what's this flavor? Tomato chili? I've never seen, it is tomato chili. Ooh, fruits mixed juice, a sangria, no alcohol included. A giant thing of ramen, which we're not going to be able to have. And, uh, oh, these are like donuts, little, little soft donuts. And a, a soft little Ichigo um, Miruku. First of all, there's at least 25 things here. I'm not, this is, they said you, you could have some. I'm going to eat a lot. Also, this box is really good, in case you were curious. This is an excellent, like, actually really nice design box. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the ones I'm gonna save for later. And I, I, wanna, tr I wanna try these, I wanna try this, I wanna drink this, I'm gonna save that. I wanna save that, I wanna try this. I wanna try the poke, oh uh, wait, Nate, can I eat these? Can I try these? Do you mind? Uh, this is for Yuki, basically. Yuki. These are for Yuki. Eat away. Thanks. Oh, donut for later. That'll be breakfast. And I gotta try the strawberry Kit Kat. All right, so let's, let's dig in. Ouch. This is a Tokyo Treat box. I would also like to point out uh, at the end here that each one comes with a 
a little manual that we can we can look at together. And it goes over all of the different snacks that, oh my God, it's trans. I should have opened this first. <laughs> I should have opened this first. I, I, I was excited about the food. I wanted the food. I, this tells me, I was right. Those are Mintaiko potato chips. Pokemon candy hearts. If you can't say it in words, say it with Pokemon candy. The Cocoa Confessions, a guy, a gift guide to chocolate. In Japan, chocolate is the Valentine Day's gift choice. There's actually a culture of naming different types of chocolate depending on who you give it to. Honmei Choco translates to, oh, this is true. When I was a teacher, listen, this stuff is 100% legitimate. Honmei Choco translates to first choice. This is the chocolate you give to someone you like. Ah, uh, let me tell you, on Valentine's Day in Japan, this was serious business with the girls. They would give the homemade chocolate, and I'd be like, I was never first in line when they'd be carrying their chocolate. I was like, oh, is it Valentine's Day? Do we get They're like, not you, not now, L later, later, later. I was like, why? okay, all right, why? And then they explained to me, homemade chocolate is like the first person gets it. I was like, okay. Then there's Giri Choco or obligation chocolate is rather infamous where women are sometimes expected to give chocolate to all the men in their lives, even co-workers. That's me. I got the giddy choco. <laughs> I didn't know they were going to call me out immediately. Uh, that's ridiculous. I didn't know that that was, I thought they're just telling all the secrets. And it even has like, like, look at this. It even has like the dude, he's like, oh, you're giving it to me? I can't believe it. Uh, then you've got tomo choco. Tomo comes from the word tomodachi, meaning friend. This is chocolate that is shared amongst your closest friends. Jibun choco. I can already tell you, jibun choco is what Yuki has every night. The jibun choco is the Yuki one. What better way to treat yourself than with jibun choco, self-chocolate? After all, you have to be happy before you can make other happy, right? Why not get two boxes? One for you and one for your friends. There you go. And then you have gyaku choco. As Japanese culture shifts, women are no longer expected to be the only choco givers. In recent years, gyaku, or opposite chocolate, invites men to give them too. So that was the old tradition, and it has changed. In, in the old days, it was a, a tradition where you would have, one second, in the, in the old days, Valentine's Day primarily used to be for women to give chocolate to, to men. But now there's gyaku choco, so you can switch it. So now it's, when I, when I was a teacher the past seven or eight years that I was doing it, it was pretty much uh, open to whoever wanted to give it. So boys would bring chocolates for girls, girls would bring chocolates for boys, and I would get giddy choco, who I get the chocolates last, or obligation chocolates, as I now understand what that word was. They just didn't tell them to me. <laughs> White Day is a holiday in Japan, but uh, I don't want to take away from the theme of the Valentine's Day. But White Day is on March 14th, which used to be traditionally where if you got a chocolate, you could return the gift uh, a month later. But I think it's becoming a bit more common to just celebrate Valentine's Day these days. But as the Giri Choco master, let's go ahead and take a look one more time. Oh, shit. I forgot to turn this off. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, but yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that goes over each suite. Tells you all of the allergen information as well. So if you guys are worried about, this one has apple, oranges, and peaches, chocolate, ichigo, mugi puffs. Oh, mugi. That's what wheat is. Hold on a minute. I didn't know those were mugi puffs. I want to try those. Where did I... Yeah, I want to try Mugi. Oh, so there, there it is. It talks about White Day in Japan right there. The day is all about returning the flavor. Uh, on Look at this. Fun fact. It's true. On White Day, it's expected that one returns a gift worth three times the value that they received on Valentine's Day. What? So, okay. 
this is more than just a a treat box. This is an informational testimony where you guys can learn all about Japan culture and things of that nature. Damn, that's crazy. I got to ask Yuki about that. I'm actually, what? All right, so let's go. I feel like any one of these, we've got to start, right? The first thing we've got to start with has to be the strawberry shortcake. I mean, come on. It's If you guys didn't know, Kit Kats are a huge thing here. They're a massive, enormous, like, 50 different flavors throughout the year. And I, I feel like we got to, it begins with the Ichigo shortcake Kit Kat. And I want to go full screen and I want to eat it. I want all the ASMR. I want all of it. Ooh, mama. Ooh. <laughs> it smells quite nice. White chocolate, eh? You know what? I'm not even going to break it in half. I'm going to go right down the middle. Wait. I already took a bite of that. Look at that little Kit Kat. There it is. With my face looming in the background. Mm. You know what? I wouldn't share it anyway. Because that shit tastes... This is a sponsored stream. <laughs> This tastes amazing. I wouldn't give it to you even if I had to. That's very good. Mm. I'll be honest. I love shortcake. I love strawberries. So I'm glad that we started with this one because that tastes exactly like a nice little slice of pie with a little bit of extra sweetness. You get the whole shortcake experience, and it gets all distilled down into one chocolatey crunch. The wafer is a nice addition because shortcake usually doesn't have any crunch to it. Unfortunately, that is the that is the last of the strawberry Kit Kats that I'm going to be eating because Yuki is definitely going to take the rest of these. So let's try our next one. I'm going to pop open this Fruits Mix juice just so I can have a little, little tasterino. Oh, God, that is amazing. You know what I miss from America, or I should just buy more of these things in Japan? I just miss 100% fruit juice. I think too much stuff nowadays uses, like, uh, like it's like you, you buy some fruit juice thing, and it's like, contains 1% fruit juice. This one's 100%. Hyaku percent. Uh, okay, moving on. I'm going to bust open the tomato chili chips. That was good. Here we go right here. Uh, let's make sure we know what these are. I want to know. I want to know. What, I, don't, I don't need to know the Cocoa Confessions. I just want to know. These are, yep. These are Caramucho Tosti. Spicy Chili Tomato. Savor the bold and tangy kick of these spicy chili tomato chips flavored with Kyushu-grown tomatoes. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. And you can't just have one chip, really. These are... Oh my god. Okay. 
We're going to tell Yuki that this did not come with any chips. They, we're going to say that they, um, they, uh, Mm. That's good. <clears throat> it's not so spicy. It's got a little kick to it, but the tomato flavor really goes through there. That is really good chip. It has like the, the lingering spice on your tongue though. Wow. I kind of just want to buy. I haven't seen these at my local store yet, but these are actually really good. I highly recommend if you can, if you just see these, if you're in Japan right now and you're waiting on your Tokyo treat box to be delivered, just go grab one of these if you see it. And also as a Kumaman or whatever, uh, Kumaman, the famous mascot. We're going to keep those to the side for me. I wanted to try the corn potage balls. Just because, uh, if you guys didn't know, corn potage is a pretty popular dish in Japan. Yeah, oh, it is a little spicy. I'm getting a little runny nose. And you can buy, uh, you can go to the vending machines in Japan and buy corn potage. They've got, like, you can get it in a hot can from the vending machine. And if we can distill it down into little small bites like this, let's give it a go. <laughs> I'm from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest. I like corn. I'm next to Nebraska. What do you want from me? I When I go out to places, I like getting tempura corn. It's one of my favorite foods. Corn is delicious. Whether you put it in soup form, puff form, can form, oil form, cob form. It's just delicious. And these are no exception. Crunchy, corny, yummy. Let's chase it with our, our next one. Our Ichigo, our Ichigo Mugi, which I read wrong as Gumi, because I'm still learning Japanese. So these are little, these are little wheat puffs, right? Uh, so I feel like we can take a, a, a whole handful. So these are like wheat puffs covered in um, strawberry chocolate. I say we just go for the whole shebang. Just the one, the one gulp, man. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting because I thought it would be more like a puffy. No, these are like, these are like little... Little bran bombs, little wheat bombs. With it's like if I could add this to a glass of milk and eat it like cereal, I would. Those are good. Those are really good. If we if we had to rank them as my favorites, they're all good. So I, I always I hate ranking things because when you rank things, you're like you, 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 when you say like this is number five. That that sounds like that's the worst one. These are all these are all delicious. But so I'm not gonna rank them. But this one right here, this was actually I'm that was really good. And that was just a portion of some of these snacks. There's still like 17 of them. So get one for yourself. Run. Don't walk. Order yours today using promo code Premier, and you can have an entire box delivered to the comfort of your home. Bring it to your office. Put it in. You know what you could do? This has 20 snacks in it. 20 snacks in this box. That means that you could eat one of those snacks per day. And if you had a subscription for a year, you'd basically be eating Japanese sweets for two-thirds of the year. It's like being here. What better way to enjoy Japan than eating all of its local foods? There you go. Or share, the, ooh, corn potage. All right, let me chase it down. 
Oh, God, that was good. That was really good. All right, so in case you were wondering, Tokyo Treat is a... I'm going to read this just because I don't want to screw anything up. And I know I will. You know, another thing, I'm just going to tell you guys straight up. This is the non-sponsored mode. I was only asked to do a few minutes of each, but I'm, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> so I just, I'm going to keep, uh, you know, I just want to look at all of it. I didn't know there was so much shit in here. It's cool. I can't do a few minutes of anything. I, I, it's like, it's not scripted. This part is. A Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. Yes! We nailed that. That was awesome. Main takeaways from this box that I liked is as someone who's lived in Japan for 13 years, I I think here I'll even do I'll even hold it up. This looks cooler if I do it like this. So that way Mudan has a lot. My takeaway from the Tokyo Treat box is as someone who's lived in Japan for 13 years who has access to a lot of these snacks, I think it's awesome that as somebody who may be living abroad or has been here before or wants to move here or visit, this is a great way for you to enjoy and try out a collection, a delectable collection of a variety of different sweets and drinks every month. So get familiar with all of the different, very different tastes that Japan has to offer using your own Tokyo Treat subscription. Get yours now using promo code PREMIER2. That's for YouTube. Use promo code PREMIER for this one. That was, that was still safe. Safe. And it was good. One take, Pete. So if you wanted to get this one, do exclamation Tokyo Treat. That one's exclamation Tokyo Treat. But we have one more box. And I'm sorry, I, I have one more box, but I'm excited about this one. Actually, a uh, whole hell of a lot. This one's, this one's near and dear to me. Both are great. Both are fantastic. But there are, as I said at the beginning, there's two different boxes. I have so much potato chips that I'm going to slam. <laughs> I'm going to eat those throughout Final Fantasy VII. My, I, okay. So the other box is the, the Sakurako box. What's the Sakurako box? I'm glad that you asked. This year's theme, or this month's theme, is Valentine's Indulgence. Valentine's in Japan is not just about sweets. It's a celebration of shared connections, blending traditional and contemporary delights in a beautiful tale of love and unity. Indulge in the flavor through peach... What? What? I'll read that again because I got a little excited there. Indulge in the flavor through peach dorayaki, chocolate danish, mini heart adare, all pairs perfectly with our cocoa sincha tea. This month's tableware item is a kiko plate or firefly plate. I slight like I said, they're both very good boxes, but dorayaki is one of my favorite snacks on the planet. You're right. I do have the wrong watermark. Should we read it again just for safety, guys? Should we should we play it safe? What do you what do you think? Should we be should we be ultimate? Should we be like the Omega badass sponsored readers? All right, all right. Here. Let me uh that's actually going above and beyond what is <laughs> You guys are very very kind. Here, I'll I'll, I'll get Here you go. Uh, not badass. That was a bad word. Okay. Shaking my head. Take two already. All right. All right. The theme is Valentine's indulgence. Valentine's in Japan is not just about sweets. 
It's a celebration of shared connections, blending traditional and contemporary delights in a beautiful tale of love and unity. Indulge in the flavor through peach dorayaki, chocolate danish, mini heart adare. All pairs perfectly with our cocoa sencha tea. This month's tableware item is a kiko plate or firefly plate. But don't just take my word for it. Let's look inside this box and see what is inside this box. Shit. Fuck. But don't... No, wait. <laughs> Uh, that sounded, that didn't make sense. That was a bad ending. That was the, I had to go off the, uh, but don't just take my words for it. Let's look inside this box and see what secrets are revealed. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we, let's, all right, all right. I, all right. I, all right. Mudon can fix that. All right. So let's take a look. We've got the, we're going to look at this in a minute. We have, this is something I'm extremely excited about. This is the uh, wild grape gummies. We have the cocoa tea, which there's two. This is the chocolate Danish. That's for Yuki. We've got a... Oh, man, are these marshmallows? I'm going to learn this time and check what they write. Chocolates. You can tell these are a bit more artisanal. These are Simbe. This one is the, I'm going to let the, I'll, I'll wait. Oh, these are kawaii little hearts, little heart Simbe's. This is the one I'm really, this is the Dorayaki. This must be the peach Dorayaki. And then there's Mintai. This is Mintaiko, which is a uh, fish eggs. Oh, wait, this is the, this is, well, this is Pai Komachi. Azuki, white chocolate fruits, a couple of chocos that we had, and then here's the, the ooh, that's cool. The founder of Sakurako, Ayumi Chikamoto, sends you a postcard with their thoughts. That's cool. I'm going to read the English booklet this time. I'm going to I'm not going to try to to be sweets master Pete. A lot of stuff here. But let's take a look at the uh let's take a look at this firefly plate. Oh, that's nice. You know what? I can just use this to eat off of. This is very charming. That's cool. Nice. So we'll use that. We will use that. Um, you, if you like, you can put ketchup and mustard in it, or your sweets. Let's take a look at the. Let's look at. Let's take a look at this manual. I feel like I should. I feel bad because there's all these amazing sweets, but I, I probably should focus on the manual. I'll bring these back. I promise. Okay, let's take a look at this this manual. Like we're professionals. Uh, you can definitely eat off. I think you could you could definitely serve something in here for sure. All right, let's take a look. Happy Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day from the Sakura Sakura Co family. Step into the charm of Valentine's in Japan, a celebration where love blossoms amidst cultural richness, embracing connections in all forms. It's very true. Oh, neat. They give you some, uh, you could plan your own trip by going to the Ikuta Shrines, the Izumo Taisha Shrine, Hakone. I've been to some of these. So they, they give you some background on some of the places where these foods come from. Because these are not mass produced. These are from local, oh, that's the one I wanted. This is going to be great. The Peach Dorayaki. Experience the mellow sweet flavors of Okayama's finest white peaches kneaded into luscious, Bean paste filling of these dorayaki. A delightful balance. There's the tea that we're going to try. There's the firefly plate. Uh, chili oil ebisimbe. Ume rincon chips. That's a big Yuki one. Mintaiko simbe. 
And then it tells you more about the background of all of the places. You can learn about Japanese culture and history in between sharing your sweets with your friends or yourself. Anko chocolate arare, the chocolate Danish. Strawberry chocolate crunch. Strawberry daifuku. That's going to be good. Enjoy the refreshing flavor of these daifuku, where strawberries are expertly kneaded into the soft rice cake. Encasing a strawberry-infused bean paste, they are pleasantly sweet and subtly tart. These are going to be sick as well, like in a good way, not like, you know, the, the slang way. Wild grape gummies. Indulge in these refreshing gummies infused with the sweet juice of wild grapes from the Iwate Prefecture, a rare, small grape that grows in the mountains. Delight your senses as you discover their jelly-filled centers. Oh, Bubby. This is awesome. What a cool wombo combo. They've got, they've got testimonials. They've got contests. There's a lot to, to unpack here, literally. I think that what I appreciate is both of the boxes are, are trying to do different things. So you get the more, you get the, the general Japanese experience with the limited sweets from the Tokyo Treat. And then if you want to go a little bit more in detail, if you want to go off the board and punch it, you can go for the Sakurako and, and really see what the local artisans and things like that are. But let's, let's get to eating. The first one I really want to try are these, these gummies. Gumi is my favorite snack that you can have outside of Anko. So I'm really kind of looking forward to eating all of these and leaving only two for Yuki. So let's, here they are. You know what? I can, I can make this look cute. That's cute. <laughs> it's a heart, kind of. Uh, let's let's give these a little taste. Uh. Well, they don't taste like cough drops. They look. To me, if you could see them perfectly, they, they're perfectly little gummies. I love strawberries. These are perfect gummies. Nice and soft, and it has a nice little burst of flavor when you get to the middle with the jelly. Mmm. God, that's good. That's really good. I would highly recommend those because, you know, some people, you know, their their taste palates change. They're big gummy fans. They're not going to—I'm not sharing those. Those are for me. Indulge with yourself. Share in the richness with your taste buds individually if you have to. All right, fine. If you did want to share, that would be a perfect one because they come in, like, little bite-sized pieces. There's 15 of them in there, so share with your friends if you must. But that was really good. I'm Nobody's holding anything behind me. This shit tastes, that's not, this stuff tastes amazing. It's good. I wouldn't have taken it if it didn't. But what I am excited about is this one. Look at this. Little cake. Little cakey boy. Oh, man. Mm. Red bean paste indeed. But it does have that strawberry stuff infused. That's really good. The Onko infusion matches very well with the locally sourced fruits. I would highly recommend that. Especially, it's like if you've never had Onko before, the red bean paste... This would actually be a really great introduction to it. Kind of, it kind of neutralizes and balances the flavor out because some people, you know, they might not be familiar with like an Anko sweet. That's a good one. But the, uh, I'm saving my, the one I'm really looking forward to the most for last, but I want to try a chocolate crunch. 
The chocolate crunch is this, uh, ugh, let's rip it, rip and tear. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's like a little rice crispy, crispy adjacent, uh, ricey, crunchy, strawberry e. I think this one's going to have some crunch to it. Let's take a listen. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm keeping that second one for me, too. Crispy, strawberry, crunchy, delicious, done. That's a nice one. But finally, my favorite. Personally, the one I'm looking forward to the most. I love dorayaki, which is kind of this, uh, it's like a little pancakey, a little, little pancakey outside. And then inside they stuff the onco, sometimes cream, sometimes strawberry kind of stuff, or this one's peach. So this one has peaches. Here, I'll, I'll even do a little, a little tear test. So you can see the inside has the filling. And it's not sweet like a pancake that you would think of from the from the US or from other places. It's just it's really hard to describe. So I'm gonna let my mouth do the talking and see what comes out. Oh. Yep. I've never had that. That's really good. It has all of the fixings of dorayaki, but the peach taste really, really adds something unique to it. I've never had peach dorayaki before. In fact, I don't think I've ever had fruit kneaded inside. Mmm. That's excellent. Mm. There you go. I accidentally spent... Um, oh, my God. I spent over 30 minutes on this. <laughs> I... I had fun! It was good. I'm ready to play Final Fantasy now. I've got a whole treasure trove of sweets. One second, one second. Let me finish the Sakuroko part. Anyway, if you're looking for a more local taste of Japan and want to support local artisans and craftsmen and people who make sweets from the very top of Hokkaido to the very bottom of Kyushu, look no further than getting the Sakuroko box. It's filled to the brim, literally, with delicious sweets, teas, and you might get a little something special that you can put on your table, including this month's special item, a Firefly plate, which I covered with gummies and I and chocolates, and, well, I'm going to eat now. So, time to go back to eat. There you go! Look at this mess I made. That was fun. I need to eat. I got so much to eat. I I went through a lot of these in five minutes. Or no, 30. You could really, you could. Oh, I wanted to try one of these too. These little marshmallow things. I bet they're individually wrapped. Yep. Oh, what? What? Oh, this is the Daifuku that they had. Oh, this is great. Look at this. I, I, I must have, yeah. It's really soft and in like, it's like a mochi, which is a pounded rice. I forgot about this one. Let's give this one a little taste. Mmm. Mm.
<laughs> that is very strawberry. That is very, very, very strawberry. It's very chewy. Well, mochi by nature is very chewy. You actually have to be very, you have to be careful during the winter because that's when you traditionally eat on New Year's. You have like, you have this mochi, but um, it's something to be savored. It's something to be chewed. That is absolutely bursting with flavor of strawberry. That is delicious. Mm. Well, honestly, that was an awesome sponsorship. I was a little concerned that I would, I would, you know, not know what to do or what to say or how to do it. Is there a Japanese alcohol box? And if not, why haven't you had made one yet? That would be a that would be a good one. So I, I would like to have that one, a one cup sake tasting experience. But listen, maybe like I said, maybe you um, it's a subscription box. So these change every month. What you get this month is the Valentine's themed one. But you know, next month it's going to be something different. We're gonna each month you get twenty different snacks. Maybe maybe something cool for you. But the I I would say personally speaking, like I mentioned er, earlier, I might recommend treating yourself. Or honestly, these make fantastic gifts. Like bringing it to the office, maybe two or three times a year. Or if you know that you're gonna have to get a special birthday present. I always like to give presents, not necessarily like something that I think you have some interest in that they might like. So if you have a friend who is interested in Japan, these are really cool things because you can talk about some of your experiences or some of the items in there, or maybe you've been to Japan. Personally, I would probably, I was asking Yuki, like when you lived in Australia for a year, would you, would you, yeah, all of these booklets that come with it have uh, allergen information, by the way. So if you need to check, if you're allergic to something, all of the, it's in the box, it tells you all of those things. The, uh, the, when I was going to, um, when she lived in Perth, I was like, what did you miss the most? Because they had sushi there and stuff. She was like, I miss sweets. And I was like, yeah, but Perth in Australia has a bunch of sweets. She goes, no, I just missed having like the stuff that I would get on my way home from middle school or high school. Like just because Yuki is a huge sweet tooth. She eats sweets all the time. So maybe it is like, a, it would have been a powerful tool for her if they had had this when she was living. And I think that that, when she was living, <laughs> when she was living in Perth. So uh, yeah, if you want to, if you miss Japan, or if you just want to kind of get a jump start on your trip that you're planning or moving here, why not get one of these boxes and each month have something to look forward to? And you can share it with me. You can say, hey, hey, I like this. Pete, did you try that flavor? And I'll be like, heck, yes, I did. All right, there you go. Let's give a big round of applause for Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. <laughs> we did it. That was fun. I had a great time. I had a really good, those were good foods. This one right here shocked the hell out of me. That was really good. Thanks for, you know what? All I got to say is I noticed that uh, we even gained a few viewers while we were doing that. I, uh, I'm i not very familiar with these sort of things, but, you know, Sakurako in, in Tokyo Treat did a great one by sponsoring the stream. There's a panel on the About page. You can use the exclamation points. You can use promo code Premier to get $5 off your monthly subscription. If you thought it was cool, awesome. If it's not for you, thanks for being here and, and checking it out. Thank you. Uh, I saved the Pokemon candies for you, Nathan. I honestly did. I saved them for you, bud. I saved them for you. So there you go. I'll bring them to PremierCon. All right. Let me, uh, let me go give these to Yuki. I have one more thing I have to record for that, which is me trying the tea. But the sponsored segment is officially over. I think I went well beyond the, <laughs> the uh, expected time. But Yuki's been eyeing those boxes for like, for a while. She's, she has her, we have an extra box and she's gonna, that's just hers. 
Uh, let me let me just make sure. It says right here. Did we do these things? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. 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 Ye. <gasps> Hey guys, what did you think of the Sakura Co. box? Wasn't that awesome? Did you guys, what was your favorite snack? Did you think that the plate was the coolest part? Did you guys have fun seeing me unbox it? Maybe it was the manual that I leafed through and showed you guys the background of all of those cool things. Thought it was amazing? Me too. Ah, that's right. It was awesome. You know, the gummies were your favorite. Honestly, I wish I could have shared them with you all, but I don't have enough to go around, so I'm going to have to eat them myself. Wow! What did you guys think of that Tokyo treat box? Personally speaking, if I could give you all my homemade chocos, I would. You guys would be my first on the list of the people I love, but except for those mod teams, they would be getting my... Wow! What was your guys' favorite part of the Tokyo Treat Box? Personally speaking, mine would be the chocolates. And of course, all of you in chat would be getting my homemade chocolates. Except for the mod team, they're more of a giddy choco, if you know what I mean. But unfortunately, this box is for me. You might not have a love in your life, so fall in love with your own sweets from the Tokyo Treat Box and treat yourself. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Fixed. Saved. Got it. Boom. Okay. Mm hmm. Done. We nailed it. There we go. Thanks, Mudon. Hope that hopefully you had enough material there to look through to make our, our YouTube stuff. There we go. There we go. What's the code for 100% off? It's your PIN number when you authorize your PayPal or credit or debit card upon finalizing your order. That was fun. God, that was cool. All right, I'm going to do a little I'm going to do a little cleanup. So while I clean up, give me like 1 second. Well, I'll be right back and then when I get back, we're going to be uh who knows what we're going to do. Maybe can we run a poll? Can we run a poll really quick to see if you got <laughs> This is a present from me to you. Yo! Yo! Lord, Lord Algamata! Algamata! Thank, Thank, you! Thank you! Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Honto ni domo. Arigato gozaimasu. Do you guys... Thank you. Do you guys... And thank you to everybody who subscribed to Through in a Bit during the segment. I couldn't have alerts on because we're going to use some of that footage for the YouTube. And I didn't want to have to, uh, you know, have to... So we're doing Tekken 8. I wonder what Nick. I mean, is it Final Fantasy 7 February finally upon us? Are we going to load up and say, I'm Cloud. I'm a member of Soldier. I don't have any emotions and I don't want to talk to you. I'll do anything for Gil. Or do we play a little bit more Tekken? Let's figure it out. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to go put all this stuff away. That stuff was really good. That was excellent. Peace. Welcome to another thrilling edition of Premiere 2. My name is Peter. Hello, my name is Chris, award-winning author and YouTube titan. You may have seen me on... All right, nobody really cares what they've seen you on. They're here to watch me, pal. Oh, fuck off. I made you. Yeah, you made me go out to Hokkaido 17 times instead of letting me stay in my nice, perfect crib. Crib? That's perfect for someone like you. A baby. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> did, did you stick your ass out? Uh, I got crushed under her foot, and it felt great. <sighs> Come on. I dare you. Come on. 
Oh! What'd you do for 300 bits? Well, normally for that kind of big price, I just remove all of my clothing and twerk in a bathtub. We'll have to do it quick and dirty. No message, what? None this guy. Message. Fucking bossy. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie monster, give me cookies. C is for cookie, it's good enough for me. Copyright strike, please don't strike me. What wall? You mean the garage? It's not a garage! It's not a garage! Oh, it's a fucking cool set! I bought this because it looks cool. I actually chose it. I didn't ask anybody to do it. It's not for me. It looks cool to me. Why do you keep saying it's a garage door? It doesn't look like a storage facility. It's fine. It's fine. It's so fucking cool. Why is the wall made out of bed frames? Well, so that uh, when I knock you the f out, you can fall on something you're familiar with and take a nice long nap. Oh my amor, Cinderella. You've made me an offer I can't refuse. You, you come to me today on the day of Iron Mouse's summer fun. I I'd be proud of you, but if we don't get this timer to nine hours, then about 11,000 of you are gonna, are gonna sleep with the fishes. This is like a GTA POV here, get, from behind. Oh shit, you gotta go again. Go. I know this Lawson has a bathroom and I have to go pee. Let me use your toilet, please. I've got to go so bad. It hurts my legs. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. Let's go, let's go. You Fuck crushed it. Yeah, that was the... You think that was tough? <laughs> the easiest... Fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, RIP Pete. I was like a... Just like a gremlin over the sink. I was like... <laughs> Not sure I want to be in the basement. Oh, you're in the basement. You're in the basement with me. And you aren't going anywhere. So buckle up. And have a seat next to me. Let's get comfy. She just asked me if I wanted a hand job. Eradicate <laughs> Stupid. Dave, you're live on Forehead FM. What are your thoughts on Call of Duty? Uh, hey man, first time, long time. And uh, I, I heard that, you know, you talk some shit on Fortnite. Uh, mid take, bro. That, that game's still really good with the, with, the, with the no build mode. It's really. Okay, that's enough out of Dave. Why don't you try playing a non kids game and then get back to me? <laughs> You know I'm gonna what? have to really think about this. The next time we have our, our our fork and knife session, I'm gonna be like, yo, I've got a list of animals that I am DTF. That I, I've got it all figured out. <laughs> Moment in battle, repeatedly tap. I thought I said that. fap. <laughs> I was like, I've been fapping all during this game. Repeatedly sidestep this. No. You also can't, it's like, once you get that in your mouth, you've gotta just, Suck it down. No fucking way, you were taking a dump? Oh my god. Oh no! The backpack! Oh shit! It was too good! Okay, we're safe, it's safe. Oh my god. It was too much elements, we controlled it too strong. 
Any gameplay happening or nah? <laughs> We must die. I'm okay, I'm okay. You will die. <laughs> that was the worst. When that thing fell on me, that sucked. <laughs> that was my first night out with Connor and Chris. It was my second time meeting Connor. Pressure was high. That's when I was like, all right, just make a good impression. Don't screw it up. <laughs> well, didn't work out. Or did it? It did work out. All right. Um, that was bad luck. All right, guys. Yeah, camera screw-ups, that was all right. We only have one more thing to film for the sponsored stuff, and that'll be later. It's unrelated to the stream currently going on. So I did want to say really quickly, I have, to t I have to try the tea really quick. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. Me finding ways to creatively earn some extra scratch so that I could do more fun stuff in the stream is always a, a fun thing. I don't like putting up these, these donation goals. I only do one a year. That's for PremierCon and... TwitchCon EU, but it's uh this goes a long way into making all of this cool stuff happen. So thank you very much. Um, appreciate you guys sticking around. But we move on. We move on to the games. We move on to what I am calling Final Fantasy February. One of my, not my favorite Final Fantasy game, but it is certainly the most nostalgic. Every time I play this game, I can't help but genuinely fall in love with not only RPGs, but with all of those characters over and over and over again. It's amazing. This tale is a little rough around the edges. It's got, it's got some bumps along the way, um, but it was an absolutely transformative moment in video gaming history. This brought RPGs to the mainstream. This was a lot of people's first RPG. This game was a titan. It was dominating magazines and, and wish lists. All of it. It was huge. People were getting played. This was what we used to call a system seller. Like Halo. Like Mario 64. This was the PlayStation system seller. You would buy the system. For N64, you could also make the case of Ocarina of Time. So it's a big game. It's it's really it was three discs. It was not four, it was three. It was three discs of power, which even that, even that, when you looked on the back and it said three discs, you couldn't you couldn't help but wonder, huh? What? How? Why? What's happening? And that's what made that game so just transformative man so what we're gonna do is the idea is to play final fantasy 7 classic final fans uh, ps1 i should say the psx then do final fantasy crisis core remake then do final fantasy 7 remake then do integrate the yuffie dlc that i never played i never played it and then finally we're going to start march with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And in between that, we're going to play a lot of other games, but this will be a huge celebrate. Oh, it's it? Okay. Uh-oh. Sponsored segment, ahoy. This part won't take too long, guys, but I have to, I have to, uh, I have to try the tea. She already took all of those sweets, by the way. She already took all the sweets. She's already started to give them out to other people in her head. Except for one. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. That's right. Boom. <laughs> Please. All right. She thought she could take it all. She didn't get my tomato chips. My tomato chili chips. I'd die if she just came in and yoinked those out of your hand. She doesn't watch this channel. I'm fine. Uh, I told her to keep the Pokemon sweets for Nate. She probably already ate them. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is somehow underrated. People forget how important it is. What's up, Bartek? My tactics brother. I would say that it's properly rated. I think Final Fantasy VII is now properly rated. I think the cultural importance of it is lost slightly. I think that it's, uh, I think like when you think of Final Fantasy VII, it's, it's no longer, you can't quite fathom what a zeitgeist it was in pop culture. I think it's very difficult to, if you were there, you know if you know. But I think that it uniquely has maintained a very strong foothold in not only the RPG world, but in all of video game history. I think it, it's, it's very much a, a force of nature, which is why, you know, Remake and Rebirth and all these things are so celebrated. And Advent Children, Dirge of Cerberus, Crisis Core, CDs, concerts, orchestras. Cloud, when he appears, is always the strongest in any kind of, like, video game spinoff. He's always a central player. Uh, what are my thoughts on Zack Fair? You know, when you first played Final Fantasy VII, you can entirely miss that guy completely, for the most part. It, it was like, he, he, it was like, it was weird. He didn't, I mean, he factored into the original game, and we're going to find that out. But it was, it was a very kind of like, he wasn't as big in the game as he's later become. And uh, I think it's, I, I think he's pretty cool. But that was, when I was growing up, I had a few issues with the Final Fantasy VII story. And I think the Zack aspect of it was a part of it that wasn't very crystal clear in the original telling. But when did this game come out? This game came out in, what, 97? 1997, is that right? I think I was, or no, it was 1998? Seven? 97. Yeah. So I was 14. I was 14 years old. Wow. <laughs> All right. I, of course I've heard of Shinmu. Uh it's a great it's a great game. I don't know if that's really an RPG. It's kind of a unique hybrid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us go and enjoy one of the great games in video game history. The Final Fantasy February begins now. 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 What? 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 Did that work? Woo! 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 Huh? 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 Was there any echo there? I don't think so. Did I break this? <laughs> woo! 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 Oh! Oh! oh nope, no, it's, it's there. 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 The ground quakes. And. Uh oh. Final Fantasy VII begins now. Now, 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 now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Should we do the tea thing first? <laughs> I think we should. <clears throat> when I play games I love, I like to have a little taste from home. That doesn't make sense. I'm not from Japan. Uh, finally, 
I would be remiss not to try the cocoa tea that was included in the Sakura Co. box. I am a big fan of teas, and I have my little Kupo cup to keep me nice and warm. I do have what's called a... Ow, it's hot! We're going to wait on that segment. We're going to wait on that segment. It's a little too hot. <laughs> All right. It's too hot for TV. That was very warm. <laughs> that was very, very hot on my knuckles. I tried to fix the PS5, but I have the backup just in case. Some good fortune, please. The fuck is that? Playing it, Pete. <sighs> Thank you for the subs. Give me a second. What? Scuff is real. <laughs> where the fuck did I put it? I don't know where. There it is. I found it. I put it in webcam for dummies. Just. Hey. Uh. Wait. This is not what's supposed to happen tonight. This was... Okay, here, here, here. Now, wait. My idea was... I, 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 you know, what is it? You can only make a perfect sandwich once. No, no, that's not the right phrase. It's a, a rushed game. Will never be... A, a, a delayed game takes a long time. Will, will so, A delayed game will someday be perfect. A rushed game never will. Something like that. I think that was Albus Dumbledore. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. Why is it so... Does the... Does, does this... Does this scene look better than... This? Let's let's see new game. Continue? Do I have a save? Wow. Good job, Cloud. Assist. Psh. I need no assist. So wait, there's that where I'm cutting into I'm cutting into the game. Or where it's its own thing. I 
I can also take, I can remove the, the, the gray lines. By the way, this intro is godlike. These graphics, when they came out, I kid you not, jaw-droppingly good. Unconsciously good. Morning chatters good. PR in the house. Celebratory gesture. Goblin's Bar? Nathan lives there? That's the dirty dog in the future? Look at that. I think I can turn it up a touch. And then watch this cool splice in. You ready? Because you don't know what this is. We don't know what any of this stuff is when you first fight fire this game up in 1997. This is the single coolest thing that I can remember happening outside of Metal Gear Solid. Look at this. Watch. That transition to the no sound. Alright, let's fix our let's fix our stuff. Well, how does Barrett sound? All right, let's figure this out. Uh, we got to figure out our voices. Yeah, my name's That sounds barely, doesn't it? Come on, newcomer, follow me. That sounds good. Deep voice, strong. Too deep? A little bit higher? I can't hear it. Come on, newcomer. Follow me. That one might be better. That was better? All right. Now, hold on. Hold on. Everyone calm down. Let's all fix. Let's take our time here. We're going to go one at a time. First of all, we have some serious issues with the capture card. And I don't know why that is, but we're going to get to the bottom of it together okay that way i'm not going to start this playthrough without it being exactly what we want it to be there's no rush into fixing what we need to get right you know what i mean and i'm going to guess is that i have too many assets in this folder that are messing things up and i i just want to get it this game is too important for me to to screw around with and not have fun That's what I that's what I care about. And the last time we used this panel was when we did the awesome, it was very cool Christmas episode where we looked at the top selling games from the first 25 years of gaming history. Which was a really cool stream and it's going to be an even cooler YouTube video. But right now we've got some we've got something fighting us. And I don't I don't want that. 
We're going to fix that too because it's a little off. We're going to get it all worked out. 33 months of money well spent supporting the best streamer on the platform, Premier Conpi, Premier Conpi, Premier Conpi. Thank you so much, dude. You are a legend. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Absolute gigakid. <sighs> that was not useful. Okay, okay, I think I found one of the problems, guys. We already had a PS5 source in here. So we were doubling Loving up. your YouTube channel. It's made it where I have been able to keep up with your adventures. Keep being great, my friend. Thank you, man. When in... <laughs> Thank you, Malone. Pick up the phone and call Malone. I appreciate that, seriously. It's very kind of you to come in here. And say, what's up, what's up? You know that we're... We're here to be... Um... Patient. If you can make it, you can make it. If you can't, you can't make it. It's all good. Just glad you can make it today. Genuinely. What is a roach PNG? And what is it doing here? This is not... This is my... No, 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 no. I, wait, wait. What in the... Fuck Toasty! Are, are you asking me if it's my first time playing Final Fantasy... Final Fantasy 7? I played this game when it came out. Time played. We're gonna get rid of that. Get rid of this. I'm getting rid of... <laughs> this is one of the oldest assets. This is one of the... What is... This is like the... the this might be the oldest scene that I have on uh whoa that was a bad day in premier 2 lore we we can't look at that anymore without saying oops let's get rid of that one real quick that was a bad day we're not gonna we're not gonna remember that We're just gonna get we're just gonna get rid of a lot of these. What happened? We're not gonna talk about it. If you were there, you were there. If you remember, you remember. If you don't, that's better that way. Am I gonna do better than Connor? What 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 did Connor possibly do wrong? I can't Im I can't imagine. So this is interesting to me. What did he do wrong? <clears throat> I think we're going to do... We're going to do... We're definitely going to be as fast. No way. We're going to be way slower. But right now, I'm making sure that we have a good... How long am I going for today? You know when you ask that question. You know the answer. You already know the answer. You know it because I don't know. This is not going, this is going on the VODs channel, but it's not going anywhere else. So this is your, if you wanted to, if you wanted to watch this and have it be a part of something. The answer is, I never know. I was, honestly, I think I've got about five more hours left in me. How's that sound for a first time? That sounds pretty good, right? About five hours left. That's that's a reasonable amount of time to hang out with you guys. Maybe four. Now step two. Let's uh I'm gonna go I'm gonna go big board here. Connor didn't use the legendary dragon. Dragon tease nuts on your face. <laughs> So, okay, I didn't understand. I didn't understand where that was going. I was like, Bahamut? Why not? All right, let's let's knock out. Let's knock out. I think the thing is, is warm enough. So hold on a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. 
Okay, let's knock this out. One of my favorite parts of the Sakurako box is that it also includes a delicious tea this month. This is a cocoa black tea, and let's see. As a tea aficionado myself, I have a fine nose and a perfect palate for testing all of these. That is very good. That tastes like a, it's perfectly advertised, a chocolate tea. It's like having hot chocolate in tea form and not feeling guilty about it. If you, if, you, if you consider yourself someone who enjoys a tea every now and then, you would be remiss not to try out this tea from the Valentine's box from Sakura Co. Try yours now using promo code PREMIER. Try yours now using promo code PREMIER2. <laughs> Perfect. Was that good? Was that good enough? All right, let me, now I'm putting this in the OBS so that I can fix it. Uh, let me timestamp that one. Let me timestamp that one. What was, what's the stream number at? Okay, this is, no, I'm not going to check out the mods. I, I so the, okay. <laughs> First, this is like being a surgeon. I have to be ultra, because I want to, I want to get this just right. I, I, I want to get it perfect. So we're going to, we're going to, I need a second to, to manipulate. You know what I mean? I'm manipulating OBS. I'm, I'm bending it to my will. All right, I like, I like what we've done here. Are we in agreement that this looks... That looks nice and balanced. We've got black bars at the top and on the side. That looks pretty good. And we can make me... Choto. Nope, nope, nope. Unzoom. Yep, do that again. I get to be a little bigger on this screen, which is... I think all of you guys are like, Yeah! More Pete! Nobody said that? Okay. And then we've got we've got to add a new chat box called Chat Box Clear. Look at that. Look at you guys. You guys look you guys look mm, slightly annoying. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Is that are you guys too big? <laughs> are you got it's uh hold on. Let me let me let me I'm just I didn't mean it in a mean way. I meant that in a nice way. I like I like you guys this size. We're gonna we're gonna slim you guys down to 450. Boo Yakasha. No, a little thinner. It's the holidays. Let's tighten the belt, guys. 435. There you go. And you guys need to, to drop a little height. You know, some people, some partners are always like, I only like six foot or above. I like you guys a little smaller. I like you guys a little smaller for me.
a little smaller still. We're going to go a little, little tinier. It's kawaii that you guys are so... I can, like, I can cuddle you and, in, 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 like, you know. It's, it's so cute. So then we've got, then we've got one more, we got one more thing to look at. We have the donation goal. I think we keep, we keep him just, I don't know. We put him here so it's not in the way. People can just see where we're going. I want you guys to be a little bit taller. 580 should do it. There you go. And then we're gonna put we're gonna put subby buddies. We're gonna put subby buddies on the bottom left to have, you know, some consistency. We're gonna put biddy buddies on the top right to have our consistency. We're gonna put donation buddies dead ass center. And we're gonna we're gonna turn off raid buddies this time. Then we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go slick with it. We're gonna go to the bits, and we're gonna test the bits. Oh wait, shoot! Did someone just raid when I took that away? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. That was bad timing. I'm so sorry, Eric Thomas. I I'm so sorry. I was I was going for a story cinematic. I did not know that you were raiding. Eric Thomas has As raided the, 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 the channel. Welcome to the party, pal. What game were you playing today? Hope it was a good Genshin Impact. Nice. Do a raid song. Um. Okay. You wanted to see the raid song. You're going to get it, Eric Thomas team. <laughs> There you go, buddy. Welcome to the party, pal. Hope you're having a good one. Thank you for the raid. I do appreciate it. We're, we're, we're fine-tuning some um, annoying little details. You know how that can be as a streamer or if you work in any sort of industry. You're always just trying to get it to look right, to sound right, because that's that's important. And you're just like, I hope this goes well. And, and then you're, you find out that everything is struggling. So you, you stop. You wait, you don't rush it, and you say, okay, let's get it right so that we don't have to worry about it later. Not for me, I work in IT. If it works, don't touch it anymore. Well, this is not working, which is why I wanted to switch it. Uh, I think we're gonna go with death sound effect. Let me see here. That's a silly sound effect. Uh, let's see how it. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. This is a test bit alert. I see why now. Let's try that again. This is a test bit alert. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's have the image of the frog on. Is that too loud? Okay, good. Good to know. We're testing. How about this, Nate? Uh, 
How about this? Nope. This is a test bit alert. Is that better? I turned it down 40%. Okay, let's go lower. 50%. Um, okay, let's try 50%. This is a test bit alert. Okay, let's go 30%. We're go okay, we're operating at 30% power. Thank you for the 500 bits, Premier 2. This is a test bit alert. So on my end, I'm not talking about the, uh, the, the guy speaking. I'm talking about the... I was talking about the sound effect. I do, does any, so like, text-to-speech. I was trying to do, how about, how about this, guys? How about this? Are you ready? This is so valuable that we're doing this. All right, here we go. Three, here we go. Three, two. This is a test bit alert. That was 70% on the voice now. That was 70% on the voice. Fine, I guess, is not an, a very useful answer. Well, usually if TTS is playing, I'm trying not to talk over it so that you guys can hear what the alert says. All right. That's what I'm looking for. The voice is still a little loud. Let's try 60% voice. Three, two. This is a test bit To my alert. surprise, I stumbled across a secret, sexy club. Oh, thank the heavens. We haven't started the game yet. <laughs> no, we have not. Thank you for the tier three, Poon. How about that, boys and girls? We good now? We're getting close to this to the start of the game. How was that? Okay, we did that then. Cool, cool. Now, uh, we're gonna try one more thing. That is this. Here we go. Are you ready, true believers? This is a test. How about that? That was not very loud. Okay. Okay. We're getting better. I'm being helpful. Last one is our donos, and we're good. Okay. This is, this is very, this is like, this is great, great practice. The best thing about Pete's streams is I can give myself at least an hour and a half before he actually starts playing. That's literally the best thing. That's the best thing. It's not like top five, sure. That's your favorite part is that when you get here is that, oh, I'm on time for the other things that are not as good as me being punctual.
the best feeling I had is knowing that I, I'm here on time. The rest all goes downhill from the start. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look. Um, all right, we've got those things. Yeah, it means I don't miss the game. Fair though. Second best thing. There we go. Last thing I wanna I wanna touch up here is the microphone settings. Those are hard for me. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna manage my sound device. I'm not gonna manage my sound device. I'm gonna go to my sound control panel, okay? And I'm gonna go to my microphone. And I'm gonna uh oh, 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 uh oh. Wait, 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 wait. That looked weird. That looked weird. Voice. Oh, it's this shitter. Okay. Not a fan of that. I bought this thing as a mod called Voice Mod, and I, I, I have not enjoyed it at all. It is not proven to be at all useful, and if anything, it's complicated things massively. That's my fault. That was my fault. And it costs like $35. That was, that was an L from Pete. We, I get that. It's like, it, 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 anytime I tried to use it, it blew out everybody's ears. That's funny. Yo, you know what's not funny? Is that Shameless Seamus did my favorite thing. My literally favorite thing is, is when people like you show such great generosity. Thank you for the five gifted subs! Sub, sub, sub. Appreciate that, buddy. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the voice mod and I'm gonna uninstall it. This is... This is the worst stream I've ever had, except for the sponsored segment, which was great. That part was awesome. <laughs> the rest has been not good. Below not good. All right, we're going to go to voice mod, and I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to uninstall you for now. We'll come back to you. Voice mod is currently running. Yeah, that's fine. Cut it. Are you sure you want to? Yeah, I want it gone. I want to delete it all the the settings. I mean, seriously, what's the worst that can? Come on, I still got a funny bone. Come on, I still can time some jokes. I still have a fastball. It can reach into the 90s sometime. I'm not completely, you can't put me out to pasture yet. Why do you think I keep that scene? Just for that reason. I got to keep you guys on your toes as well. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So voice mod, it says, was successfully removed. Cool. Get out. So what we're going to do here... Oh, 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 wait. Can you guys... You can still hear me. Yeah, you can still hear me. Okay, that's good. Uh, because now it's, it's, uh, it's, it's bugging out just a little bit. I'm just going to try to fix it really quick. It, this does not, there's no, oh God. You guys can hear me, right? Not a joke this time. Okay. Okay. I am looking for... Here's what's going to happen.
test. Hey, what's up, Stray You? Welcome back, buddy. I'm going to turn this all the way down really quick. Can you guys? You can still easily hear me. Okay, you can still easily. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. I, I, I. Trying to find which of my 30 different properties in here is the microphone that I'm, I'm trying to, to figure out which one am I going through. So that I can be a little bit... I'm, I'm, I still feel like I'm a little quiet. Okay, testing, testing. Hmm. It's very vexing. I might need to do a, a restart for this one, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll move with it. Now, I'm going to do one thing really quick. Am I louder? If I turn this up just a little bit, am I, I, I think I'm coming through definitely louder now. This part's definitely louder. All right, we'll leave it. We're going to leave it here for today. That'll be fine. We can leave that there for today, and this is where I probably should be. Normally. But... Test, test, test. Okay. Please don't hurt them. Don't hurt their ears. Oh, I got quiet again. I got quieter again. Okay. Give me one more second. I think I fixed it. I I'm fixing something. Fuck, I hate sounds. God, do I hate this shit with a burning passion of a thousand suns. I am dead serious. I hate this shit. It actually drives me insane because of how much stuff you constantly have to fix. How about, okay, that's, I think this is where we're going to, okay, I, dude, that was, no, he was telling the truth, I checked that, that was really loud, this is perfect, there we go, yes, ah, ha, 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 ha. hey, I'm Barrett, I'm ready to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm all out of bubble gum, like, oh my god, I'm Tifa, no, I'm not, well, we'll see, there we go, now, the game is definitely quiet because I put it at 3%, I said, come on, newcomer, Follow me. I've been sitting here for 35 goddamn minutes. You think that these eco-warriors are going to let... Okay, that's fine. All right, so... <laughs> oh. All right. That was tough. That was tough. All right, Eric... Thank you so much for the raid, man. I do very much appreciate that. Big shout to Eric and the raid team. Okay, we got it. That was that was tricky, but I think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we we came to a, a very good setup. So that when we do Final Fantasy VII, okay, all right. So there we go. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom because that took all of my power. And then we're going to restart Final Fantasy VII from the jump. <laughs> we didn't do anything anyway. We had a bunch of weird sound issues. It sounded like garbage. Excited for this, Pete. Me too, man. All right. I think right there, if we keep the music at this level and my voice at this level, this should be this should be a good match. What do you guys think? Right right now. 
too high. How about there? For example, Hey guys, my name is Peter, and today we're playing one of my favorite all-time games. It's Final Fantasy VII, the story of Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, Kate, Ketchy, and the boys. There? Everybody, my name is Peter, and today we're going to be playing one of my favorite games of all time. It's called Dragon Rampa, a dating simulator which deals with the occult. My good friend Kuro Kin let me borrow it, and he says, "Hey, boss, you're going to love this game. It's got all the things you've ever wanted. It's like Persona meets Naruto." I made that up. I don't know what that game is. Is that better? Okay, so this is going to be an interesting issue to correct in the future because right now on OBS, we had to put the PS5 slider at minus 23 decibels for it to be connected correctly. I can try to fix that later, but for now, I feel like if that's going to be the volume we're going to be playing at this for the next week or two, we'll be sorted. Awesome, dudes. We did it. We did it, dudes. All right, so I'm going to go to the bathroom, and while I do that and wash my hands, you guys can hang out with... If time is a river, do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat, ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. All right. Oh, that's brutal that we finally got this shit. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for waiting. And I would like to remind you guys. Replay that ad, please. You guys are... Did you hear that? You're now asking me to replay ads? That means I did a good job. You, I did wash my hands, thank you. You've got to do a better job then of supporting the gamer subs. How about this one? Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Everyone dies eventually. Mm hmm As a waifu, get yours for 10% off using promo code PREMIER at checkout. One more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. 
I did not come up with the ideas for that. You have to thank my good friend, Notorious Monster, for that one. That was his good ideas. It's not enough just to keck W and LOL, though. Go get your favorite flavors. Blowhole Blast, Lean, and... Uh, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 are my favorites. Promo code Premier. We do have the 90 commercials, but those are for just uh, Pete Craft. Finally. Finally. It all began with a stone, or so the legend says. In ages past, a sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its many lights filled the world with color and brought an age of peace. Actually, that's the Final Fantasy XI intro, if you were curious. Character design and battle visual designer is Tetsuya Nomura, who is a very interesting character. He also made Kingdom Hearts. Uh, did you know that in Final Fantasy III, or VI, as it's known, he designed a lot of monsters, and he designed two. He designed two characters for the Final Fantasy VI cast. Those two characters are Setzer, the freewheeling gambler of the skies, and Shadow, the ninja with an interesting past as a robber and thief. And then he went on to uh, design all of the characters in Final Fantasy VII. Little knowledge for you guys. For me, I'd already been playing the Final Fantasy games, the Dragon Quest games, the Lufias, the, um, the Chrono Triggers, all of those things. So I was eagerly anticipating Final Fantasy VII. This game was originally tech demoed or slightly rumored designed to be on the N64. And they even had a couple of screenshots from it for that had the Final Fantasy VI cast. But they decided to pivot because Nintendo refused to go away from their cartridge-based gaming. And Square Soft at this time, not even Square Enix, they they wanted they opted for using CGI graphics, better sound, and they decided to go with the PlayStation. And then like 20 years ago, at E3, they showed a PS3 demo using this cutscene. And for the longest time, we were just baited and teased, and we were just wanted a remake of this game. Not a, a reimagining. We just wanted to have it be one for one exactly like this, but with modern graphics. We never got it. You know what? That's okay. Because this one still exists in great form. It's a little slow for modern sensibilities unless you use the, uh, the triple speed option, honestly, though. If you, if you try to play it one for one, it's awfully brutal. I don't know how I did it, honestly. Ooh, throw that shit, let's go. This is not a sponsored segment. This is me playing games that I like. Hey Pete, thanks for the stream. My dad broke his leg today, so I've been running around sorting all that out. This is a very welcome distraction. From all that, well, I hope your dad recovers quickly, and I hope that you enjoy the stream today. Come on, newcomer. Follow me. Get those potions. Look at that. Ah, oh, here it is. Look at this. 
honestly, these graphics still hold up for the battles. I think the battle stuff looks and amazing. Man, seeing the Buster Sword for the first time and Cloud's purple outfit and that hair and these graphics with the bullet casings falling on the ground. Actually beautiful. And check this out. I always thought this was a neat touch. When you first start the game, you gain a level, which to me, it was cool because that meant that like, oh, this guy's like experienced. That's so sick. He's, he's an ex-soldier? What the f is that? I leveled up? Who is he? We don't know who Cloud is. It's so damn cool. Oh my god. And this is the this is the era of having the uh the, the backgrounds be like these CGI still images like Resident Evil and then having it be uh polygon characters. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Not every day you find one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier, aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? Well, he was in Soldier, Jesse, but he quit and he's with us now. I didn't catch your name. Kudaldo Ginkayo Koi. What do we think? I think that we name him straight up canon names. What the fuck was that, Jesse? I don't know. Leave it alone. Take it or leave it. It's your choice. Keep it canon. Alright, we'll keep it canon. Cloud. Cloud, huh? Well, I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell are you all doing? I thought I told you to never move in a group. Our target's the North Mako Reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Press the directional buttons while pressing circle to run. <laughs> I always like that. I always like that. I don't trust you. Oh, iconic shot. Shinra building. Let's F and go. I love Barrett. Barrett is freaking awesome. This game is freaking awesome. And, you know, just the idea of these guys moving along as the, uh, as, as like the stuff is unfolding is great. I know what you guys are thinking. How did Pete never even get offered to play any character in the Final Fantasy remakes? Well, she couldn't work out the contract. Just a bunch of bureaucracy, really. <laughs> I'm sure the third game, I'll get to be Shinra Soldier number three. Intr Look at that, they got the intruder sign going off. There's kanji flying everywhere. All right, Pete, it's time for your meds. Yeah, as a brand risk, they said. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I couldn't read the fine. I couldn't read it all. That was the big problem. Warning. Warning. God, that Buster Sword is such a cool weapon. I love that it has the two Materia slots in it, too. Just everything about this, and what I want you to do, what I want you to try to do, just as an experiment, let's all agree. Let's all lower the temperature in our house 10 degrees. Let's get cold. Let's let's imagine that it's winter and this game just came out and we're gonna do our best to forget everything we know about Final Fantasy. Seven. Yum, yum. FF7 hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Love what you do, Pete. Thank you very much, Turius brother. Let's let's try to 
Let's try to feel like it's 1997. All the story stuff, all the twists, everything that we're seeing is for the very first time. Uh, I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission cloud. Jeez, we're really gonna blow up this huge furnace. We're really gonna blow up this huge furnace up? We're really gonna blow this huge furnace up? Sorry, I'm nervous. This'll be something to see. I couldn't read, see? Fine print. I, I, they let me do an audition. I couldn't read one line right. Yo! This is your first time in a reactor? No. After all, I did work for Shinra. Now the planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet. But Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. All right, you come with me from now on. All right, code decipher. I, yeah, Didus would be it. Think how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Code decipher. Phoenix down, a classic item, revives a dead member. I love the Buster Sword, but I, I found Cloud's new sword from Advent Children was brilliant. I mean, it was a great evolution of the character. You know? Just push that button right over there. Switch on. I guess Cloud talks a little bit of a higher voice. Little by little, the reactors will drain out and all that life. And then that'll be that. It's not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud! The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the RoboGuards come. Because he's an ex-soldier. That's so the idea is you're, you're asking like, why would they let this guy who clearly doesn't care about their beliefs join a terrorist mission? They didn't, they didn't, they hired him. He's a mercenary. All he cares about's the job. He didn't even take this for for their beliefs. He's doing it for steady pay. He's a merc, a hired gun, an ex-soldier. Soldier, we don't know yet. Uh, you know what? We don't know what that means. I remember trying to explain Final Fantasy VII to Spice Wife and recapped it saying, a bunch of lads take on an electric company but have to fight Emo Jesus in the end because of some other issues. Also, there's a dragon. So we really, yeah, that's right. I mean, you're right. So we're going, we're going, we're gonna put our head back. We're just, this is all we know is what's just been told to us. You know what I mean? Also, I love Barrett's weapon in this game. I mean, it's goofy as hell to think about that he has a gun arm, but I love his character design. He's got these big boots, this gun, and it fires this cool shit. Just a cool character. And I like his ultras, or his ultras, his limit breaks. He is an amputee. All right, press X in front of a ladder to grab onto it. Then use the directional buttons to climb up and down. And this whole soundtrack, this song already is great. Press X in front of a ladder. I already told you this, Cloud.
Well, you can tell he's an amputee because there's a gun on his arm. <laughs> I think I think that much was clear. It's literally a gun. He, I mean, you're gonna hear the Janine from Ghostbusters six or seven times for different characters. How did Final Fantasy VII manage to have a more diverse cast than most movies and games still? Um, let's think. I mean, you're not wrong. It is a pretty progressive game. And, you know, Final Fantasy VII's cast is very, at the time, it really is very unique to have minority characters, animals, um, puppets, and, and like, and, and some of the character, like, design, like, who Cloud is and what, what Barrett is, these archetypes weren't, uh, as familiar in RPGs yet. Yeah, espers were a minority, sure. But, you know, there, there, there's other targeted, like, minority or different nations that have been attacked in different Final Fantasy games. Like in Final Fantasy 2, where you become, like, the Wild Rose Army, and you make the vows. But, you know, I think, like, visually, it just, this was so unique. It, it was a, a hadn't been done or seen before. We're gonna, look at this. I don't even care. I'm just gonna get rid of slot one. And, hold on a minute. Uh, I'm not interested in Suicide Squad. I saw that game briefly today, and I thought it looked absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I thought it was absolutely, it looked horrible. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Would you recommend I play this version or the remake? How about this? How about this, Verkson? Uh, why don't you watch through this playthrough and then start with the remake? I feel like that might be a, a cool, a cool starting point. Hey, I kind of like our, I like our, uh, color design that we got for this. That was neat. Look at the Mako being sucked out. Alright, when we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bar. Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. <gasps> watch out! I don't know who's saying that. Who's saying this? Is this a... Uh, I can't remember who's saying it. This isn't just a reactor! What's wrong? Uh, uh. What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up! Yeah. Sorry. It's in Cloud's head. Our heads up! Here it comes! Damn, cool looking boss. Time to do big shot.
I remember my older brother playing this when it came out and it had like 10 discs. It had three. Traditionally, metal enemies are weak to uh, lightning in this, in Final Fantasies. Three was unheard, I mean, I couldn't believe it when I saw that. And then we get to see Braver for the first time as we juice up. Oh, that was sick. Ah, oh, man, even the sound effects of the, like, the choo choo choo. All, just all of it. Magic, graphics. All right, that hurt. And we will turn on the fast speed, but I feel like, you know, going through the beginning of the game just at its own pace, in and of itself, uh-oh. I think he's doing his defense mode, right? I, I just timed that just poorly. Barrett, Cloud, Cloud, be careful. Attack while its tail's up. It's gonna counterattack with its laser. Like this. <laughs> that wasn't fair. I had already, I had already done the move. Legend of Dragoon was after this, though, and Final Fantasy VIII had four as well. We're gonna wait for him to stop uh, going nuts with the tail. You know what? This is also a throwback to Final Fantasy VI slash three. The very first enemy or the very first boss that you fight in that game has a similar mechanic where the whelk goes inside its own shell. And if you attack it, it gets hit. So it's a nice little throwback. There we go. Level up, boo. Got the assault gun. Come on, let's get out of here. I think Cloud. Uh, Ten minutes until detonation. He's a he's a tough and even while this is going on, we gotta keep moving. He's a he's a tough one to voice act. I like what the guy who did it in the American voice acting, like, that guy nailed it. It's way out of my, way out of my range, I think. Because how he looks and how he acts is a really unique kind of combination. In my opinion. Good game design to have the first boss teach you to not just spam attacks over and over and over. Uh, this I can answer that question for you, man. This is a, this is available on uh, both PC, PlayStation 4 slash 5, PlayStation 1, Steam, possibly Switch. 99% sure you can get this for the Nintendo Switch now. Maybe even the Xbox. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty available game at this point. Even your phone, your, your iPhone can play this legendary title. PSP, Android. Gotta help her out. You all right? It's my leg, it got stuck. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much, Cloud. I'm gonna go off and see you later. Yeah, well, the original game was a full-priced Omega game. I went to Mission Mall in Shawnee Mission, or Shawnee, Kansas. I had reserved the game for months. I was extremely excited. I remember exactly what I was wearing, a brown sweater, blue jeans, Adidas Superstars. My hair was a mess. My mom ordered me a pizza. I came home. Uh, she let me skip school. And I I played it all through the night. And week. And day. And month. It was everything I'd ever wanted. 
code to set. She did let me skip. She did. She 100% did. Look at, and you know another thing? Look at these dynamic camera angles during the fights. That's crazy. The cameras can move? These are polygons? Cinematic camera work? All right, be careful. All right, code deciphered. What's the button for times three speed? There it was, okay. It's weird to think back, like, how much, I mean, like, this game is, I mean, in a, in a modern RPG, I would, I would imagine you've already, you would already have, like, done a whole bunch of stuff. And here we've, we've really only done nine or ten fights and seen, like, this, this vague story outline. It's so sick. What's up, Nimmies? Welcome. Thanks for using your Prime Gaming. Get up, Jesse. Damn it. What's this place? Where are we? What was that? That was huge, whatever that was. Alright, that should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Wrong guy. <laughs> okay, now everyone get back. Crazy good graphics. Flip roll. He burned his ass. <laughs> All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up. Get on the train. Hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. This background, man. Just a bunch of... It, it, you're already visually getting an idea that not all is right with your surroundings. Bunch of garbage and metal, rust and brown. It's kind of a uh, subliminal. I love this shot right here. You thugs knocking over people. Excuse me. What happened? See, even these things are hard to read. <laughs> it's nothing. Hey. I don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Look at this place, man. It's disgusting. Knocked over tables. Hooligans running around, flipped over cars. Days gone by. Cloud just walking around like no big deal. place used to be something. Now look at it. I wonder what that is in the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. 
Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Avalanche. God, it's so, so freaking cool. Hey! You there! Shinra soldiers. Wait, Shinra soldiers. Fight him! So, pretty cool, right? Like, evil, and I like that. What I, what I also think is kind of cool that we don't have in today's games is that... Sh shoulders. Is that you don't have... And to my surprise, I stumbled what? across... Secret. Excuse me? Sexy. Huh? Club. <laughs> premier night, premier night, premier night, premier night, premier night, premier night. Thank you, Raz. Appreciate you, man. What the? Huh. I'll tell you in a minute. What I like about it is when we go through games now, we have a, I have a tendency. I, I won't, I will not lump you guys. I will not include you guys to, to, I don't want to dismiss, I don't want to speak for you. But unless it's a game like Elden Ring or something with extraordinary art design, you, you have a tendency to take for granted the spaces in which you're moving throughout. But what I liked about these old school games that had these static backgrounds is you could stop and look through all of these awesome details. There's nothing moving. It's all right there for you for the, for the taking. And I, I love that. That's him! So yeah. Hey Pete, long time. What's up, Nick Tastic? How you doing, boss man? God, this game rules. Hitting me with a baton? I'm a member of Soldier. You shouldn't doubt me. I think the hard thing also, I bet you I could do a passable cloud voice if I only had to voice cloud. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's going to be extremely inconsistent. I'm probably lacking. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. Damn, legend. Jumping on the train. Cloud never came. Cloud, think he was killed? No way! Cloud. Say, you think Cloud's going to stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? <sighs> Man, if you all weren't such screw-ups. Hey, Bear, what about our money? Ah, uh, never mind. Sorry, man. Ugh. Cloud, wow, cloud, 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 cloud. Looks like I'm a little late. You're damn right you're late. Come waltzing in here making a big scene. It's no big scene, just what I always do. Fuck! Having everybody worried like that. You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. You were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share, Hotshot. Wake up! We're moving out. Follow me. Barrett's cool as hell. Hey, Cloud. You were really great back there. 
Haha, <laughs> Cloud. We'll do even better next time. Careful. I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face, it's pitch black. There you go. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. Last train at a Sector 8 station. Last stop, Sector 7. Train graveyard, expected time of arrival is 12. 23 a.m. Midgard Standard Time. Bochui Kudasai. Mamonaku. Sector 7. This. Sector 7. Bochui Kudasai. Mind the gap. God, this is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. This is a very this is a very Japanese thing. You've got your this is where this is where I learned a lot more about, you know, you appreciate the game more the more you know about Japan and its its intricacies. And, you know, back in 1997, not a lot of knowledge. Not a lot of references. I mean, I just thought, oh, okay. But very much a a salary man staying out too late having to take the last train you can also get some nyc vibes huh this is my house make yourselves at home oh you see the headlines in the shinra times the terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor. Well, they should have put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. How many times have you finished Final Fantasy VII? Oh, gosh. I don't know. Over the years? Nine or ten? Man, stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. The train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Oh, someday Avalanche is going to be famous. Could <laughs> be too. Hey, Cloud, you want to look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know, flashy stuff. Okay, it's about to start. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. So now we're getting some very vital ex, uh, exposition. It's about a one ten thousandth scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above the ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center and there are other support pillars built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was somewhere in the northern section. And then there's the number two, number three, all the way up to the number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. It's a sad little lore drop. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's just how things turned out. Well, look what's next. Look. This is the route that the train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming home around, you know, the center right about now. This is also very reminiscent of the Yamanote line in, in Tokyo, which circles the entire city of Tokyo, or 435 in Kansas City. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. It definitely looks suspicious that we're using some fake IDs. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. 
That's also a sad Japanese reference. All right, we're almost back now. What a relief. <laughs> Don't act so damn big, Barry. Ah, I've seen stars. This sucks. I hate the dark. Look. You can see the surface now. The city don't have no day, right? If that plate weren't there, I'd see the sky. A floating city. Pretty unsettling scenery. Huh? I never expect to hear that out of someone like you. Man, you just fool with surprises. All right, the upper world, city on a plate. And it's because of that fucking pizza that people underneath are suffering. The city below is full of polluted air. On top of that, the reactor keeps draining up all the energy. And then why doesn't everyone move onto the plate? I don't know. Probably because they ain't got no money. Or maybe because they love their land, no matter how polluted it gets. Yeah, I know. No one lives in these slums because they want to. It's like this train. It can't run anywhere except where its rails take it. These are pretty awesome themes to introduce, though. Pretty quick, you know. Such a different vibe than uh, Final Fantasy's before it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Goosewood, and thank you, per Persona Prime. Appreciate that, man. Man, the soundtrack's absolutely world class. Unbelievable. Yo, get over here, all y'all. Uh, when you've been a train man as long as I have, you see a lot of people, a lot of lives. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. Right, this mission was a success, but don't, don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. Don't you all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. All right, meet back at the hideout. Move out! <laughs> I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Whoops, wrong button, sorry, twice. Uh, hey Pete, sorry to interrupt, but I was just wondering if you'd be playing Persona 3 Reload when it releases. I will be playing Persona 3 Reload, but probably for just one or two streams. The reason for that is, that is a 70 to 80 hour, extremely large game. And I, I did, I, I love that game very much, as I love all of the Persona games. So I will, I will try my best to show you guys Hey, this is, uh, if you're interested and you check out my channel, but not a lot of other people are playing it, the ones you frequent, here's what, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop 60, 70 bucks so that we can, um, so that you guys can see if it's worth it for you. That's the idea behind that. Very kind of you, boss. Thanks. Oh, oh hey, hey, no. <laughs> what on earth are you doing, man? Just butt out! Jesus. Huh? You came to see it, too? Yeah, there's a bombing on top. Yeah, if this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point in worrying about that. Hey! 
Check it out. It's huge, ain't it? This is not my first playthrough. It's like my 10th. It's a cool shot. Let's you see the scale of it all. Hey, this is a strange and wonderful place. This is my place. But you can come here when you want, all right? See you, bruh. Yo, Cloud, over here, now. Uh, okay. Barrett's... He's, he's talking. Look how shitty this town is. Looks like crap. Explosions! Explosions! Oh, man! Avalanche is so cool! Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say that there was a terrorist explosion up above and that this time it was a Mako reactor. You know what that means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of these things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And at all, a lot of innocent people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least the people could have gone in their sleep. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit! What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that the long blackout was strange. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here, drinking, watching the news by myself. And all of a sudden, I get kicked out of the fucking store! What's up with that? Oh, mama. Jace, I'm blitzed. I just love them homemade cocktails. But they sure do creep up on you. <laughs> okay. Go on ahead. Marlene, aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Yeah. I should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights ever since you were little. I was worried. Tifa! What was my first Final Fantasy? One. And then, technically, two, which is also four. Flowers. How nice. You almost never see them here in the slums. But a flower for me? Oh, Cloud, you shouldn't have. What do you guys think? Give it to Tifa or give it to Marlene? <laughs> Sorry, Marleners. Looks like Tifa won. Thank you, Cloud. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. Why don't you have one, too? Yeah, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even if you were with Soldier, you're still a rookie here. So you'd better listen to whatever I tell you. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Anyway, let me tell you something. About what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now. I'm a roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's the good food and drinks that make this shop famous. 
Hey, Wedge, you're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. Sorry, Cloud. Marlene seems a little shy. You all right, Barrett? Uh, great! Get in here, fools! I'm starting the meeting. Little hidden spot. Hey, man, even these details of like the cigarettes, the ashtray, the giant jugs of beer and stools, the wood, the pipes, the industrial fan and kitchen, the dishes, the, the, the refrigerator, the TV's out because of the explosion. You got all these, these bar things behind. Sit down. How about something to drink? Yeah, give me something hard. Uh, just a minute. I'll make one for you. Shake, shake, shake. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. Now, what's with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure that you get your pay from Barrett. Yeah, don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Cloud, are you feeling all right? Yeah, why? No reason. You just look a little tired, I guess. Look at all that. The news. Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The, oh wait, President Shinra. Today, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group, Avalanche, has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that Avalanche will continue its reign of terror. But citizens of Midgar, there is no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldiers to protect our citizenry against this senseless violence. Thank you, and good night. Are we the bad guys? Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb, but all I really did was make it like the computer told me. Oh, gosh. I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. Yo, Cloud. There's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. You sound pretty sure. If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. now don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. Staying with Shinra? You asked me a question, and I answered it. That's all. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. <laughs> money. Wow, oh, Baba, you're so great. Wait, Cloud? Tifa, man, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. Don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet, for that matter. Straighten things up with everyone for me. Oh my, must have been for a lot of it. 
Sure, what's the hell? It's a verbal agreement. Now let me figure this out. No, stop it, Cloud. Did you hear me? Damn, Edgelord. Barrett's pissed. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you. Please, join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying. Slowly, but surely it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So, you're really leaving. You're just going to walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? How can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. Look, the well. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, back then. I, I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Sorry, I'm late. I could have gone with eyes are like but they're, not, they're they're just old enough. They're 13, just outside of the age I guess for kid boys. You said you wanted to talk to me about something. I'm this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All of the boys are leaving town. I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? I probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. He's dreaming big. Huh? That's like, I'm gonna be like messy. <laughs> if you make it, will you be in the newspapers? Yeah, I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous, I'm ever in a bind, you'll come save me, all right? What? I mean, if I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. Wh what? Oh, come on, promise me. All right, I promise. You know, it's funny that I, this is an important scene, but it, it, so much of the story comes in waves where you have to piece it together later. You remember now, don't you? I promise. I'm not a hero. And I'm not famous. So I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on. You've got to keep your promise. Now yeah, wait a sec, big time, Soldier. Promise is a promise. Here. Received Barrett's stash, 1,500 gil. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got the next mission lined up? 
I'll do it. For 3,000. What? It's okay. It's okay. We're really hurting for help, right? And that money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. Damn. Cloud's cold-blooded like that. It's taking the money. Taking the money! Slept in the corner of the floor. How about that? Look at look at look at that table. You got schematics. You got blueprints. You got some smokes. Barrett's got his weight collection of dumbbells. A printer, of course. TV remote for the big screen on boxes. Barrett's got to be in his late 20s or early 30s. That's what I feel like. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm going to go this time. Smooth. Our target is the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. Fill you in on the train. Yo! Cloud! For the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. I, uh... I, uh... I, I, uh, I don't really know how to use material. I'll give you that material we found. Just teach me how to use it. Just because it's the first time, allegedly, we're supposed to be playing it. Sure. I'll explain how Materia works. First, access the menu. You know, the basic functions. Press triangle button to bring up the menu. Directional buttons move the cursor. Like this. Select each menu by using the cross button. If you want to leave the menu, just press the circle button. See? Let's go ahead. Now you're in this menu. Select the materia submenu. <laughs> Select who you want to use it. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose which slot you want to put the materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. This is a curative materia. You want to know what its effect is. Line the cursor up with the check in the menu. Press the cross button. Just like selecting battle commands. Just line the cursor up to magic. You can see that the available magic is increased. Now, you can use new magic. Cure. And that's all there is to equipping material. See? Wasn't that tough? When you want to remove any materia, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot Pressing the triangle button. There's just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. Parts of you may become stronger, while others get weaker. Normally, when you equip magic materia, your magic power will get stronger, but your physical strength weakens. So, Materia is kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the Materia's effect on you. It's wise not to overuse magic Materia. Try out various things. Press the circle button to exit the submenu. 
Okay, that's about it. Give you some advice and some advanced tips later. Hey, what the fuck? What's this? I wasn't that. It wasn't that tough. Crap. I. I. Uh, <clears throat> I. I don't get it. You just. You. Man. Fuck it. You just had them in the materia cloud. Huh. I got a message from the weapon shop man downstairs. Upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Marlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Letting a child run? The whole place? Uh, the sponsored segment's done, my friend. All right. Give me a second, dudes and dudettes. Yo, Gamer Shadow! Thank you for toss or thank you for gifting a sub to Syphy! Pug one gifted sub! Alright. Child! A whiskey! <laughs> and if we want to go three times like the cool thing about this game is it gives you a, a triple speed option should you want it. If you're trying to get through the game a little faster. Ah, another slow day. If this keeps up, the store's going under. Can't sell any really good matters in a slump like this. Sorry. Oh, look at this. This doesn't happen every day. Are you a customer? Yes, welcome. We sell. We buy. Uh, Pete, did you ever think about dropping RP in a game like Red Dead 2 or GTA 5? Not really. I did. Okay, no, no, no. I did think about it. I did. I also love that he has lightning and ice in his little blade. That's so sick. Um, but what what ultimately I think starting that whole experience felt very overwhelming. And it seemed to me like it was a bigger time commitment than I I really wanted to commit. Furthermore, it seems like and this is not a, I could be wrong, okay? I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I, I'm probably wrong on this. But it seemed like jumping into it, you are at the mercy of other established people who've been doing it longer. Wow, Pete, 16 months. I was hoping you would loosen my bonds a bit as they are starting to bruise my wrists. No. Pete. I see you're playing one of my all-time favorite Final Fantasy games. Yes. Good luck, sir. No problem, Howie. I got you. Appreciate you. And I just... Thank you, man. I and, uh, About GTA RP, I didn't feel like I wanted to be a part of somebody else's story for, for months. Hello, Marlene. Can you give me a cold brew? Oh, no, I don't want any head. No, no head, no, oh. Good going me, now the police are after me. <laughs> I meant the head on the beard, come on yep, officer. Yeah, sorry, that's too late Freya. You can't, you gotta, you need to watch how you, first of all, the police, if they found that Marlene was working, and she's, she's, Tifa's the bartender. She knows how to serve a beer. Although in Japan, the, the head of the beer is like half of it. My favorite thing is Final Fantasy VII is when people die in scenes and just stood there with 20 Phoenix Downs like, well, there's nothing I can do. I think, I think that uh, the idea of the Phoenix Down is, is you're knocked out and it's like a smelling salt. That's what I feel like it is. I feel like it's, a, it's more of a selling smelling salt, not a, not a back from the dead. It's not why it's so cheap. It's just, you know, I think people would riot if it was more expensive. Or whatever. Are you trying to keys with What a kid. What a kid. 
Hey, 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 wait a minute, you. You can't just walk out of here without buying something. Might be unhealthy for you, if you know what I mean. Hey, what do you mean, do, man? What are you gonna do? Hey, you walking in here, you're not gonna buy nothing? Why don't you buy at least a, uh, uh, hey, what's up, Hyde? Thank you, man. Appreciate you, boss. We'll buy two of these. Uh, my question is this. Uh, I'm gonna be very, this is gonna be a, I wanna be totally open with you guys this entire playthrough of this game. Do you think we can have the patience to go through the whole thing? Should we? I think we should. I'm feeling like it. Pete, I took a phoenix down and now I can enjoy the rest of your stream in peace. Well done, mate. <laughs> All right. I appreciate that. Look at you just flexing on everybody. It is my stream. It's true. Um, and thank you guys for that hype train. Let me get you guys a little background bidgem that you guys can enjoy. That's loud. Kleban's too loud sometimes. Jeez, Klebe. Kleban. I gotta go to the bathroom anyway. So. What's up, Dad?
looks like the hype train ends as I arrive with good vibes and good people. There you go. She was using some weird floor thing to clean. Thank you guys for the support today. Ooh, I'm going to have one or more. One of my, my little uh, sakurako. Mmm. Not bad. Don't mind if I do. It's a new weird floor thing. Uh, okay. Let's try to. Oh, kids, wait. Smack, smack, knock, knock. Help! You've got to hang in there. Your limit gauge is just starting to build. Ah! Okay, now your limit gauge. Now your limit gauge is full. Go ahead and use it. Fight with your limit technique. Great! All right, I don't need a tutorial. Oh wait, I want that thing. Bad. <laughs> hey, you got one right off. That was material. Now take this chest. Cool. Uh, kid is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter, your JRPG streams are my favorites. You know what I wish? That uh, the the world agreed with you. <laughs> but you know. We, we do our best with what we've got. I like it too. I enjoyed these, but you know. Uh, but you are, uh, you are in the minority, which is fine. I don't take it personal, but I'll keep a close eye on the metrics and see how it goes. Look at all this cool, Luffy D. Monkey sleeps here. That's where he originally started. Damn, this place is a mess. This was like me living pre-Yuki. Do you like this game, Zen? Is this your kind of game? One of my childhood memories. <laughs> you know, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Poor Nathan. Which version of the PS1 PC? I'm playing on a PS5. This is just a, a regular old PlayStation 5 version. Slash, it's really the PS4 version, I guess you could say. But uh, it has all of the, the fun features. Like this one, for example, where we can go a little faster and... Huh! No one is allowed to pass! So then we can do this. Ah, I've had it! Me too! You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something! Yeah, well then, shall we? Yes! What did they do? <laughs> Morning. <sighs> Dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come on back, you hear? Oh, they headbutted each other. Go! This ain't no private car. So split up. Oh, hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck? You say something? I said, you say something? Ah, oh, now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn! It's, it's empty because of guys like you! <laughs> <laughs> You see the news, right? Avalanche says there's gonna be more. Wait, who's speaking? Which one of the? Which one of these is uh? Who's speaking right now? Is that Barrett or is that 
the guy. I think it's Barrett. This is some quality community theater. Thank you, Chekhov's chainsaw. You gonna use that chainsaw? Because you just tore me down. I think it's Barrett. It's the guy? Yeah. Oh yeah, because of the UU. You, you see the news, right? Avalanche says there's gonna be more bombings. Only devoted employees like me would go to Midgard a day like today. You work for Shinra? I won't give in to violence. And I'm not gonna let you take me that. Yeah, fuck! You lucky motherfucker! There you go. So he's he's out. So, what are we gonna do now? Shit. They the hell are you so calm? You're busting up my rhythm. I like the Shinra manager. He's just like, I'm not gonna be intimidated by people like you! As he's literally crying in his chair. <laughs> the day after the bombing, he's still going to work. He's still going! Yeah, Barrett's one of my favorite characters. It looks like they just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So, what's our next target? Ha! Listen to Mr. Serious about his work. All right. I'll tell you. Jesse's probably already told you but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system checking all the trains. Which Shinra is very proud of. Yeah, we can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning and welcome to the Midgar Lines. Arrival times at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. Mamonaku. Sector 4. Sector 4 des. That means we've got only three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right. In three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map monitor. the only ones that'll talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. Yo, Mr. Know-It-All. Big time soldier. You ought to know that the area around the number five reactor, right? So let's hear your explanation. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm gonna brag to everyone at work about this. <laughs> what a loser. Hmm. It looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come a little closer. What a dork. <clears throat> well, that's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A, security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat, type A, security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search for all cars will be conducted. What's happening? Man, what's going on? Uh, we're in real trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Shit, someone blew it. Unidentified passengers are located in car number one, preparing for lockdown. Let's... Let's go. Keep it up. Car one lockdown. Upgrading to level two warning. Hurry! They're looking at the door, sir! Run! Uh, fuck it. FF7 month is here. Let's go. Car two lockdown. Upgrading to warning level three. All right. We clear? Not yet, they're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry, if we move up the train, car by car, we should get past it. Unidentified passengers moving to the front of the train, currently tracking location. <laughs>
guy stole my shit. Car three, locked down. Upgrading warning to... Fuck. Too much shit happening at once. <laughs> it's the Razzes! All right, we made it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're gonna dive out of here. Can't see shit. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because. Hey, you two! There ain't no time for that. Yo! Ain't no time to waste! Do something! Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely. I'm gonna jump. Glad? You don't care if I go first? A leader always stays till the end. Don't you worry about me, just go! Yo! Don't go getting your spiky ass hurt! It's the only beginning of the mission! Later! You take care of the rest! Okay... Never mind. Alright, good. So far, everything's going as planned. Don't let your guards down till we get to the Sector 5 reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us, so move it! The reactor's just down this tunnel. Here's some money. Alert. Alert. We will get this donation train from Midgar to Rotterdam. <laughs> Dude, thank you very much. We're moving it closer. The donation goal is over halfway. We're planning uh, the Rotterdam PremierCon, TwitchCon, Omega Bobega. Thank you so much, man. Seriously, arigato gozaimasu. Oh, that's funny. And Sarek, seven gift subs for Final Fantasy Seven. Thank, thank you! you. Double support, back to back. Thank you, brother. And enjoy your gift subs to everybody who got that. Hope you enjoy the ad-free viewing. Hope you enjoy it. Those light beams are the Shinra. Wait. My name's Cloud. Toasty! Tribute for the good RPG times. Thanks, Pete Premier Kubo. No problem, Trop Town. Appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. Welcome back. Those light beams are the Shinra security sensors. Can't go any further. That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that to get under the plate? There's no way. Yo, Cloud, what are we gonna do? Damn, man. That thing gives me the chills. Uh, we're about real time, 10 minutes, peak time, four hours. Cheers. Hey, Phelps. Welcome back, dude. I would say we're about an hour into the game. And we're trying to imagine this is the first time we've ever played a Final Fantasy VII. This is like the first thing we're doing. This is, this is like we're just trying to enjoy it all. And the infrastructure. And like this is the Final Fantasy VII month. So, from February all the way until Rebirth, we're going to be enjoying these characters. And the heavy lifting that I have to do is only week one. Or, I'm sorry, game one. The rest of them are all going to be nice and voice acted, so I won't ruin them anymore. No mods. I'm playing it on, essentially, a PlayStation uh, 4. It does have a few nice things that we can we can skip some of the annoying shit by making it a little bit faster if we wanted to. I don't think we're gonna go for 100% here. Uh, 
uh, hey, Cloud, this way. The reactor's up this ladder. How you doing, Nathan? Are you streaming tonight? I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. I've played Final Fantasy VII for the PS3, but I didn't finish it. Finish the remake, though. Can't wait for the new release. I think that's the idea, is that we're playing this game to an the anticipation of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I never did the Intergrade, or whatever it's called, you know? The, uh... Which way are we supposed to go? I can't remember. Let me see something. I want to see... So, I never did the Yuffie DLC. Was that really PS5 only? Yeah, she's a she's a monk class. That is correct. She is the monk. Cloud is the uh Oh wow, no PS4 Pro. I thought it did. We're going to pull up We're going to pull up We're going to pull out now. We'll meet at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. Uh, sweet. Might have to turn that up. Uh, 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 uh. This is a present from me to you. Butter! Believe it! Tim! Give me the. That's a great name. Butter, believe it. Appreciate that, man. Oh, we believe it, all right. We got some amazing people in here. Throwing out some Omega support. Thank you. I really do hope that you guys enjoy this uh, this playthrough. I can tell you we're gonna use some unorthodox characters. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll try. We'll, we'll, we'll choose whoever Connor did. <laughs> I don't know who. I think he used Ketchy quite a bit. It is going to be more of a people comfy week. I understand that. RPGs, chat's a lot less active. I don't, I'm not mad about that at all. It's, it's to be expected. You guys are doing, stop hitting Tifa, you scumbags. Got him. For me, my top three Final Fantasy games, it's tough. I think uh, Tactics is my favorite. If we're allowing the, you know, the whole breath of... Final Fantasies to be counted. I like uh, 6, 9, and 11 a lot. Those are the big... I like that they use the same design right here as we did earlier. So even without having them hold your hand, you have the memory of like, oh, I did this already. So I should know what to do, kind of. It's good game design. I also really like Final Fantasy Record Keeper. Tactics is my favorite. I don't, so here's the, uh, let, let me just, let me get caught up with you guys for a minute. If you did, do you think you're gonna do, I think on this Saturday or Sunday, because I'm putting in an unholy amount of streaming hours this month, guys. I feel like February, I'm kind of designed to hang out with you guys and get that, it's like a bonus. You know, it's like, let's hang out and get to know each other. Lots of new faces. We're almost at 150,000 followers, which is crazy. So it's going to be a lot of streaming. You were my favorite Apex player alone. Well, it's easy to pick a favorite when you're talking about the gods of Apex. I'm one of them. Uh, I am one of the, the Apex legends. And I did? Not yet. Not, we didn't hit it yet. Trust me. I, I have a little counter. We're still, it, it rounds up a little bit. But the, the other thing that I was going to say was, is on Saturday or Sunday or next Monday, I might do, I will do a stream of Persona Reloaded. 
so that you guys can see what's the game. And I'll go fast through it, not slow and stupid like this. Um, that way you guys can see what the game is about, my thoughts of it, how much I enjoyed it, that kind of like, we're just going to take a look, we're going to investigate, and then I'm going to get back to Final Fantasy. Also this month, we've got an IRL streams. We're going to go out and see some J Japan stuff. We're going to do some... Um, we're going to do some Lego building. We might do another Gundam building. We might throw in some more Tekken 8 here and there. We got we got stuff to do. Papa! Sephiroth? Did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth. Soldier. Mako reactors and Shinra? I hate them all! Damn, man, get a hold of yourself. Are you all right? Tifa. Hmm? No, forget. Come on, let's hurry. I know you're my sh wait. I know you're my chaperone, right? Damn straight. Tifa's old friend. Uh, hell, good enough. The bomb has been dropped. Everyone here will die. you like, there it went. That was a very late. <laughs> the game's like four scenes behind. What the? What's, what's going on? No. no! The state of play? Probably not. Hold on. Son of a bitch must pay. Set up. I didn't make it full screen. I, I react. I deactivated and reactivated the source to try to get it to have some semblance of audio syncing. I don't think it's a PlayStation thing. At least I would be shocked. Maybe we can do it better this time. Huh.
Ina, Ina. That was good. That was a good job. That was a good job. There we go. Perfect. As all things should be. That's the way to go. When tech issues rise up. Whoa! It's it's the team! Yo! Yo! What's up, dudes? It's the Booba Monkey, the Monkey Hope Raid. Your day is going well, Pete. Yo, how was that game? That get here you go. I got you. Here's some money. Hello, this is IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Actually, I know what the issue is. Why did you put mayonnaise into your computer again? I don't know. For the I last thought... time, mustard is the optimum cooking liquid. They said let them cook. So I thought putting some mayo in the mayo makes everything better. That's what I did wrong. It's my fault. Yo, guys, what's up? How are you doing? Are you feeling good? What's going on? My ha! Sorry. Uh, my, a lot of you may be the first time. I get it. You're a little starstruck. I can help you out. Calm down. Don't worry. It is me, Crane Game Champion. Don't be alarmed. Connor put up a good fight. Kind of. But. Don't feel like you have to do anything different when you're in my presence. When you're here, don't try to think like, what do I say? How do I talk to him? Does he, do I, does he like to, does he like it rough? Does he like it soothing? I don't know. Just be yourself. Don't worry about it. It was hard fought for a little bit. And then I, uh, and then I just hired some kids to help me. <laughs> I just, I just, I just hired some kids to go catch me, Ping, Pinga, and the, the team. Honestly. Go down to the sweet car, Crane and Apex King. Well, okay, I am not the Apex King. That was Lily Maru and Kason. I, I, did, I did not help that. That was, I was a disaster. That I understand. That was Lily Maru. That I understand that. <laughs> I was more the apex. I was the team glue. But you know, we're working on it. Working on it. Nice of the sweet car king to give smaller up and coming streamers like CD Org some love. Well, CD Org, no, let's be honest. It was it was very gracious of him to let me join the Crane Game Challenge. I had a lot of fun doing it. I did not anticipate winning. I did anticipate having fun with Paul, and I did. That was awesome. And I've been following, Connor has been playing this crazy Game Boy game. I actually just raided myself because I've been lurking in Connor's channel. But also, at the same time, I've tried not to watch his thing because, you know, he's been telling me, like, I think this game's going to be really amazing and I want you to try it. I was like, yeah, but I want to watch you play. And he's like, no, 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 dude. I, I want you to try it so that you can, you can, like, I want you to like experience it, and I don't want you to be spoiled by watching what I did. And I was like, "Ah, <laughs> all right, all right, I won't watch, but I'll be there. I'll, I'll, I'll park the, I'll be plus one viewer. So it looks really cool. I loved the graphics. It had some cool music, and I, I mean, he put in some work on that game. So, uh, but thank you guys for being here. I, I always appreciate." The, the, the sea dog, he's an amazing dude. He's a good friend, and he, he looks out for his buddies. How else would you explain my participation in Apex? <laughs> so I'm treading very different waters. I'm, this is February, and it's Final Fantasy February for me. I'm going through Final Fantasy VII Classic. I'm going through Crisis Core Remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrate, Rebirth, all of that because it's a celebration of Final Fantasy VII. But I'm not doing them all like every single stream. I'm kind of mixing it up in there, you know, because we're going to have some IRL streams in Japan. We're going to be playing some more Tekken 8 because I thought that was awesome. Uh, I'm going to be doing the... I got this guy. Look at this thing. Ugh. That it, uh, it's the the Museum of Natural History. Uh, we're gonna build that son of a bitch. 
It's going to be great. That's going to be a Pete Craft. So it's like most of the streams, I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can through them, which for me means about 18 times longer than a normal person who's never played a video game in their entire life. Um, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to skip We're gonna skip Dirge of Cerberus because let's just be honest, that game sucks. It sucks. Bad. So we're not going to do it. We'll read a plot synopsis on Wikipedia. It was horrible. It was horrible. But one of the things that is different from my playthrough of Connor's playthrough of Final Fantasy VII is that I, I really, I grew up on this game. I was 14 when it came out. Um, it, was, it came out at a, a pivotal moment in my life. I was going through all of these things from middle school to high school. And, you know, it, 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 this was a, I think if you were there in that era, this game was a cultural zeitgeist. It resonated massively. It brought RPGs into the mainstream. For a lot of people, this may have been their first RPG. Uh, or, you know, they may, have, they may have been looking forward to it for, for, for years. So for me, it was a, uh, it's been a really exciting game to revisit every once in a while. Uh, first game I ever completed was 8 in 1997, so it holds a special place in my heart. There is an HD texture pack for Dirge of Cerberus. That is not going to convince me to do shit unless you, you could, pol I mean, I hate this phrase. I heard it once. You could polish a turd. It's still a turd. I hate that. I hate that word, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, Dirge is bad. Dirge is bad. It's not the graphics that are the problem. It's the game. Yeah, I, I grow, I know Final Fantasy in a game when I was a kid and I played uh, Game Boy. I, what? <laughs> Congrats on hitting 150,000 followers on Twitch. Thank you. Well deserved. I actually don't have it yet. I can tell you this. I'm actually at 149,633. So honestly, the raid... You guys could just end this right now and make it happen. I'm not going to sit here and beg, okay? I have standards. But with 4,000 of you, come on, please. 350 of you, just hit the f button. No, I'm not going to sell out. I'm always going to be the exact same guy that I've always been. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and be like, hey, all I care about is the money. Everyone dies eventually. Everyone has a waifu. Get yours for 10% off using promo code PREMIER at checkout. One more. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't even know how that was played. I've never seen that before. I'm very sorry. We run a really tight ship here. I don't mind if you use promo code PREMIER. I respect that. But I'm not going to sit here like some sort of a, a beggar outside holding for... If time is a river, do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. There must be something wrong with OBS. I don't even know what that was. I I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, I just think those are cool commercials. I just think it's fun. I just think it's I ground, just think quakes. it's cool. I just, I'm proud that we made those.
you know? I'm proud that we have two cool commercials and being silly and stupid shit. There was a bootleg movie seller at a con I went to years ago and bought what I thought was a sequel to FF7. Uh -oh. Later found out it was all the cuisines of Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> felt scammed then got the game and felt even more scammed playing yeah, it. Yeah, I think you didn't get scammed. I, if I knew, if somebody s sold me something that said this oh, is... That's funny. ...a sequel to Final Fantasy VII and all I got was Dirge cutscenes, I would have been like, that... That f***ing rules. I'm cool with that. And then if, if I actually got the game, I think I would have been more frustrated. And thank you so much for the five gifted subs, Joe. Joe Miso Ramen, appreciate that so much. I do. So much. Thank you. It's been a wild style day, guys. It's been a good one. It's been good to have you here. Hello, this is Dr. Testy Tickles from the Shugondan Embassy. How come you never ogled our nuts the way you looked at these waifus? Nah, -uh. I feel hurt, Pete. No, no, we're done with that sponsorship. We moved on to gamer subs. We're on with Tokyo Treat, exclamation Tokyo Treat, and others now. So, uh, but let me. That's what that's what we're doing this month. So February. This is if you all jokes aside, all all jokes aside. Let's get serious for just one fucking minute. February is going to be a busy month of gaming. I want a chance to talk to you guys. I want a chance for you guys to have a lot of new viewers have come in. I haven't had a chance to see you guys. This is our chance. This is it to hang out together. So that'll be cool. That's what I'm looking forward to. So to get unserious for a minute, I would like to show you guys this because it includes Connor. And I think it's really damn funny. Not that. It's, uh, it's actually, it's actually this. To you, yes, my head to you. Yes, my head to you. You, to you. Another day has broken. Checking at twitch.tv <laughs> The same old Joel is trolling When suddenly what do I see? Okay, that's that's the jokes. We're done with the jokes. Okay, well, you guys, you got all the, you guys got all the fixings there. That was from a community member named Freya. She did a great job. That was her voice. She actually, someone cooked here. That was her. She did really, really well. Uh, those are those are just. Good jokes. Okay, God, that was an accident. Um, but yeah, you know, when we get these big raids, I, I just can't help it. It's fun to be stupid and goofy and welcome you guys because, you know, Connor has been such a good friend of the channel and I really admire what he does as a streamer and I, I vote for him on the streamer awards, please, by God, you should. He's always pushing out cool ideas and content and I'm just a, uh, I'm a very small part of that and it's, it's very fun. It's very cool. So now you can stay with me for a while. 
But that is what's going on this month. We've got Final Fantasy out the hoo-ha, and then we've got uh, a whole lot of other games. Tekken 8, Persona 3 Reloaded. We're going to get some... uh, some Lego streams, another Gundam building stream is in effect, maybe an IRL stream. We got stuff. We got some cool stuff coming out. But today, and uh, today and tomorrow and uh, Friday will be Final Fantasy VII, where I'm going to be trying to, to do some voice acting. And I, I, I want to show you guys a bit more of a different perspective in the sense that this is one of my favorite games. This is one of my favorite franchises. So it's one of those, if you want to share your experiences or if you want to ask, what was this like, old man? What was it like back then when you were playing these games? I can, I have the context. Hi. So, and if you watched a Game Boy Advance game, or not even that, it was a Game Boy game for 45 hours, you could hang out with me for a bit. You could do that. No, no harm there. The random thing that happened yesterday was the, the the PS5 randomly shut off completely. We were in the middle of the Tekken 8 story mode, and it just quit. And right before you guys raided, um, there was a there was a bit of a error with the the ah oh crap. With Final Fantasy VII, it was like, it was delayed sound effects. Looks like it's okay now, but it was, it was acting up. Uh, I cannot get it served, I mean, I could get it serviced in Japan, but you know what's cool is I have a, I have a backup PlayStation 5. <laughs> And I know I, my friends were like, you Tori. And I was like, that's not what that was. That's not what, I, that's not a rich mofo thing. Well, chat, it's time to break past our limits. The February feast is upon us. And we eating good. We are Strap eating yourself good. in for this wild ride. It's good times. The thing, it's not a rich mofo. There was, there is a mutual friend between Connor and I. His name is Chris Broad. He's the, he's the affable one. And... He, he put me on blast by saying, why don't you get me a, a PlayStation 5 for your good old friend Chris? I was like, they're really hard to get, man. He was like, oh, good old Pete can't help his old friend Chris out. I'll never have a PS5. Uh, is this the start of another 120-hour playthrough? No. Th no, it won't. It won't, it won't be Alex. Because look, I can run faster in this one. And what ended up happening was, Chris, right when I got one, I actually got that mother a PlayStation 5, but Charla got him one right before me. And she said, I already got him one for his birthday. And I go, that's fine. I, uh, I, uh, I couldn't find one. So I have, I have two. So I have one for my living room and then one for that's going to break in a few minutes. But I, I, it, I tried. I saved. And then for his birthday, you know what I, you know, do you know how much, you know what he said? He said, you know what? He goes, well, why don't you get me one of those nice Apple watches that you always wear? I was like, uh, well, I, um, you know, the, the, this, I don't know if that's a good idea. You know, I use mine all the time for like exercise. Ew, exercise. Ew, fuck. Oh. So I got, I got him an Apple watch. So there you go. That, oh, no, I'm okay. Had to wash my parents' cars like 20 times to earn the allowance for FF7 on release day. <laughs> Worth it. That's actually awesome. I remember I was very lucky because my mom got me this game. And she, you know, single mother doing her thing. And she knew how much I was looking forward to Final Fantasy VII. She knew how much I loved Final Fantasy VI. I had just moved to Kansas City a year earlier from Springfield, Missouri. I was lonely. Didn't have a lot of friends. Uh, but I did have a PlayStation, and I was I was so excited for this game. I would not stop talking about it. It was in all of the magazines. It was every day I was reading about, like, I was looking over screenshots. I, this was pre-internet. This was pre-computer that I had. And when that game came out, I had already reserved it at Electronics Boutique. 
at Mission Mall, which doesn't even exist anymore. My mom, I had to wait until around 7.30 or 8 at night to pick it up because my mom was working overtime. She came home from work, beeped the horn outside, and I ran out there. I remember exactly the clothes I was wearing. I remember everything. She drove me down to Mission Mall. I sprinted to the second floor, picked up the game, plus the Brady Games guide, and I came home, and my mom even let me call in sick to school for two days to continue my playthrough. And it that's why Final Fantasy VII is not my favorite Final Fantasy, but it has a certain nostalgia that allows me to, when I play it, I can't help but, but feel like what an amazing game. So that's, that's where I come from on, on that particular angle. You remember Mission Mall? Yeah, it was an interesting place. It's no Oak Park, but I lived on Johnson Drive at the time. So it was, it was the easiest way to go about it. And now we're going through, we're going through this game for fun. I remember this, you gotta hit this thing at the same time. All of us. I always screw this up. I've never got it right on my first time. Jesse said, we all have to push the button at once. <laughs> it's no good, let's try that again. Uh. Ah! <laughs> got it. I gotta have something to base it off of the first time. Is the uh, is the volume okay, or does it need to be a little bit louder for this game, guys? What's up, Takamura face? Okay, it's good. Uh, but yeah, these you know, for some people, this was this was the RPG that brought it into the the forefront, so to speak. A little bit. I got you. How about that? How about that? That feels perfect. It feels perfect. Um, but yeah, this game rules. I, I was really glad Connor played through it. And I'm so glad that he didn't hate it. Like, it was like... It was like, it was like one of the best slash worst experiences of my adult life. <laughs> okay, that's hyperbole. But like, it's like when you, when you watch a movie with somebody and it's your favorite movie ever and you hope they don't hate it or they don't check their phone during it or they're not like, ah, it was okay. And you're like, so the entire, but then you extend it to like the entire 35 hour stream or 40 hour stream. So you're like, oh, please don't hate this game, because then I won't be able to like you. <laughs> and so I, each, each big moment, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, don't hate it, please like it. It's like when you try to show your friend a YouTube video that you think is funny, which is the worst feeling um, in the entire world. That is the absolute worst feeling, is when, you, when you're like, hey, check out this funny skit, and then they're like, no. By the way, these graphics are awesome. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, what was we, we, we take for granted now, or at least I do, with the 3D composite, like, CGI background, and then you have the 3D characters moving over it, like, like when it was, uh, like, Resident Evil or Final Fantasy VII or Eight or Nine. I love the attention to detail. So now, all the way down below us, you can see all of the slums and, and buildings and SimCity kind of stuff. I also like that all of these these plants that we're in are all weathered and rusted and aged and brown where Shinra's best days are behind them, but we're still just, and that's what they they said it earlier in the game, they're like, each one of these sectors used to have a name, but now nobody remembers them anymore. I would say the OG game takes about 40 hours. This way! Sh Shinra? Shinra soldiers? Fuck! Most what the hell's going PS1 on? PS1 game for you? Mine was Symphony of the Night. That's that's my favorite game of all time, actually. That's my favorite game ever. It's a trap. P P 
President Shinra? Why is the president here? Hmm. So you all must be... Ah. What was it? The avalanche! And don't you forget it! So you're President Shinra, huh? Long time no see, sir. Long time no see. Oh. You. You're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako. The look in your eyes. Tell me, traitor, what was your name? Cloud. Forgive me for asking, but I can't be expected to remember everyone's name unless you become another Sephiroth. Ah, Sephiroth. He was brilliant. Perhaps too brilliant. Sephiroth? Don't give a damn about none of that. This place is going up with a big bang soon. Serves y'all right. And such a waste of good fireworks just to get rid of vermin like you. Vermin? That's all you can say? Vermin? Shinra the vermin for killing the planet. Guess that'd make you king vermin. So shut up, jackass. You are beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, so if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner I must attend. A dinner? Man, don't give me that. I ain't even started with you yet. But I've made arrangements for a playmate for all of you, Mr. Hunter. What's that noise? And the hell is that? Meet the Air Buster. A techno soldier our weapon development department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be great use to us in future experiments. Techno soldier? Now then, if you'll excuse me. He's supposed to sound Alan Rickman-ish. Wait! President! Yo, Cloud! We gotta do something about him! Help! Cloud! This is from Soldier? No way. It's just a machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust him up! There you go. Not the best, not the worst. Tried my best. <laughs> Forgot to add the last part. Hey, I'm trying my best. I'm busting him up, man. What do you mean to do? I know I was off. I screwed up. I did 12 voices in two minutes. <laughs> I couldn't even see what I was doing. I was in character. Sometimes you make mistakes and sometimes you, uh, Roll with it. Don't snitch. Oh shit. Reload the save for that? Wait, how bad was the mistake for God's sakes? I feel like I feel I'm like still, I'm still it's like am I muted some am I muted somewhere? Wait, now I'm confused. There's one line. One. Mm, that's not good. I don't like being Keck W'd by you guys mocking me, okay? Why don't you make your own, your own voices? All right. Damn. Damn. You all. 
that button's purple. It's hard to see the difference. Is mocking you 92% of the stream? Am uh, I mistaken? I would say it depends. I think it's like, I, I think it's like, um, it, it comes and goes. Like, oh, look at that clutch heal I just casted. I'm trying my best. Sometimes I do, like, I get lucky and you guys like me for an hour. BAM! Ah! We win? That was it? Nice. Got a Titan bangle. It's gonna blow! Let's go, Tifa! Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. Cloud, please don't die. You you can't die. There's still so much I want to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey! You gonna be all right? Be strong. <clears throat> you worry about yourselves. I'm all right. But take care of Tifa. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Okay. Isn't mocking someone the biggest sign of adoration? You dipshit. Kisses XO 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 XO. Actually, imitation would be the most sincere form of flattery. So I would like you guys making fun of yourself. Or when you guys make mistakes, that'd be better. Look at those graphics, as he's certainly dead. <laughs> There's no way you'd survive that. Uh, you all right? Can you like hear me? Yeah. Back then, I only got like scraped knees. What do you mean by back then? What about now? Can you like get up? We'll fix this in a minute. What do you mean by back then? What? What about now? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. I'll try. Who's talking? I don't even know. I thought that was her talking. Oh, it moved. Maybe that's his inside head. I don't know. Hello? Hello? Hey. Who are you? Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, hello. All right, we'll fix this. We'll fix this. We'll fix this. Great track to fix it on anyway. It's a great track to fix it on. Okay, so let's see here. Like, oh my god. Oops, that's the wrong way. That's definitely the wrong way. Quakes. What's up, Smacky Mander? Appreciate you. Maybe if I talked just a little bit higher? Does this sound... Femininity? <laughs> Is this even remotely higher? Young boy's close enough. Young boy's close enough. Damn! You make one mistake and push the wrong button and everybody gets mad at you. 
Sounds like a teenage boy. Well, that'll work. I can go a little bit higher to three and say, are you okay? Cloud? Hi, I'm Eris. Aerith. Something. Whatever. That's way better. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's more like it. Are you okay? It's me, Eric. You okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, there we go. I was just joking. That one was a joke. That one was a joke. You okay? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You just fell from above. You really gave me a scare. It came crashing down? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed. Is this yours? Sorry about that. It's all right. The flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. They say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar, but for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. I, I love it here. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I remember. You're the slum drunk. <laughs> that's that's cold-blooded. Jesus. Damn, Cloud. God. You're the slum drunk. I don't think we choose that. Come on, she's... Cloud, don't play. You can't. I, I I always want to. It's like choosing the, uh, the Renegade Path in Mass Effect. Sometimes you just can't. Yeah, you're the slump drunk. Uh, I would let chat vote because I know you guys would all just choose Slum Drunk. Okay. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying my flowers. Say, do you have any materia? Yeah, some. Nowadays, you can find materia anywhere. But mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. Good for nothing? You just don't know how to use it. No, I do. It just doesn't do anything. I feel safe just having it. It was my mother's. Say, I feel like talking. Do you feel up to it? After all, here we are, meeting again. I don't mind. Wait here. I've got to check my flowers. I'll be just a minute. But imagine putting yourself back into 1997. And you, we don't know any of the Final Fantasy VII story. We don't know these characters. We don't know this. what's going to happen. 
you would be, you were glued to the television. Your, your, your 21 inch, if you're lucky, 27, ginormous TV, not your 80 inch Suicide Squad, I'm bored and doom scrolling and just shooting bullet sponges. And no great surround sound. You wanted to just, you just wanted to talk to your friends about it. No HDMI ports. Maybe if you were wealthy, you had a Sony Trinitron. This music coming out of those speakers and these graphics coming out of that TV. Still pretty good. Just a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it... We don't know each other's names, do we? Hello, My Cloud. Name is... This is Tifa. Are you coming back? You fell of the bridge. Wait. Are you chatting up the slum drunk again? <laughs> Oh, it kept it as heiress. I forgot about that. I'm talking to the slump. She's like, I'm here as heiress. Is she, what is she officially now? She's officially heiress, right? Sounds like something the slum drunk would say. Aerith. What's your name? Aerith. Yeah, because of Earth. Earth. That is not what that's for. It can't be. She's the slum drunk. We'll call her Aerith. I'm Aerith. The flower girl. Slum drunk. Nice to meet you. Name's Cloud. Me? I do a little bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. What's so funny? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just... Sorry, bad timing on my part. Cloud, don't let it get to you. Don't mind me. Say, Cloud, have you ever been a bodyguard? You can do anything, right? Yeah, that's right. Then get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, but it'll cost you. Okay, then let's see. How about if I go wow with you once? I don't know who you are, but you don't know me. Are we going to play before Crisis, Ever Crisis, Midlife Crisis, and Crisis Core? Premier Wow. We're, we're currently playing Midlife Crisis on my behalf, and we will be playing Crisis Core. I love this song, by the way. Oh, yeah. I know you. That uniform. Hey, <laughs> sis, this one's a little weird. Shut up, Shinra spy. Rio, want him taken out? I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here. You'll ruin the flowers.
Is this the better version of the game where every character falls to the ground? Yes! That is true. Although you can snap, crackle, and pop those flowers if you're a jerk. They... Hey, they were... Mako eyes. Yeah. All right. Come on. Get to work. Oh! And don't step on the flowers. You just stepped on them yourself! Ah, they're red! You're gonna catch holy hell, Reno! <laughs> I... I have never remembered which one of these goddamn barrels is which. There they are! Over there! Cloud. That one. I know. Looks like they aren't gonna let us go. What should we do? Well, we can't let them catch us, can we? There's only one thing left to do. It's an easy jump, you dumb drunk. This way. All right, I'll hold them off. Right, make sure they don't get through. The ancient's getting away. Attack, attack. Ah! Aerith. I think we killed them. Oh, they never should have fought us. Cloud, help. Damn! What's that? Alright, so hold on. I, I, I've always wanted to do this right. I think we screwed up the game again, by the way. So there's no, uh... There's no... Sound. <laughs> what? Da, 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 da. I think the first one. Okay, I, I, I genuinely think the first one is the the one closest. I think it's this one. Right? No? Is it this back one over there? It's the back left. It's this one. Here's a barrel. If I can just push it over. Ow! Thanks, Cloud. Good job, chat. I knew you could count on you. Do I have to do it again? Is there, is there more? What do I do next? Ah! Okay, okay, okay. So there's the other one. I think it's the back right. It's got to be this one up here, right? It's this one. Ah, fuck it. Got it. Now we wait. Is this a common problem with the PS5 version of the game? Where you just get no sound for an hour? They see me rolling. They hating. I think this one. Yeah. Okay. Cloud says, Aerith, this way. <laughs> I should have played on PC, but I already owned it. So, you know, too bad. I, I I'm. <laughs> They're looking for me again. You mean it's not the first time that they've been after you? No. They're the Turks. 
Hmm. The Turks are Shinra organization. They scout for possible candidates for soldier. This violently? I thought they were kidnapping someone. Well, they're also involved in a lot of other dirty stuff on the side. Spying, murder, you know. Well, they look like it. But why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, not really. I think they believe I have what it takes to be soldier. Well, maybe you do. You want to join them? I don't know. But I don't want to get caught by those people. All right, then. Let's go. I think Cloud is really hard to voice. You know? Wait! I, I Wait, I said. Look at how crappy this world is that they live in. This... I love this... I love the Midgar section. I'm talking like Aerith still. That's fine, though. Slow down. Don't leave me. It's funny. I thought you were cut out to be in Soldier. Oh, gosh. You're terrible. <laughs> hey, Cloud. Were you ever in Soldier? <laughs> I used to be. How did you guess? Your eyes. They have a strange glow. That's the sign of those who have been infused with Mako. Mark, soldier. But how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing? Right, nothing. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. I've played this part so many times. It does take a while, doesn't it? It's a, it's a slow burn, this first part of the game. But I think once you leave Midgar, you do miss it. Woo! Finally made it off. Now what? My house is over here. Hurry, before they come. I wonder, maybe we should, maybe we should stop voice acting it. Like, that, that is slowing us down a, a significant amount. You know? But then I feel like, what's the point of playing? You know what I mean? Like, what, what's the difference? Like, if we, if we don't read the dialogue, then what are we doing here? Got a Titan bangle for that. Yeah, I guess I guess that is the that is the argument, right? That uh, the voice acting that I do is the only thing that separates this from being anything else. So we might as well we might as well do it. <laughs> what a drag! You want to go to that store in Sector Six again? Huh? Who the hell are you? What do you think you're talking to? Yeah, you ever hear of the wall market? Yeah. Oh, yeah, then maybe I should have you pick something up for me next time you're there. That guy in the pipe's a weird one. No matter what you say or ask him, he'll answer... Tusty! That guy are sick. <laughs> that guy are, are sick. sick! He passed out nearby, and someone must have helped him here. This is the one. Won't you help him? Uh, uh, uh. Listen, I'm no doctor. No, I guess not. Hey, that man has a tattoo. I think it's the number two. The plot thickens. I just discovered your stream. Your voice acting while playing is so fun. Well, I, we'll keep, we'll try with it. You know, we'll stick with it for a while. We'll see how it goes. Uh, 
Well, you want some weapons? It's too damn bad. I ain't got no weapons to sell you. And the reason is because the weapon store is over that way. <laughs> hey, taking care of yourself is the law of the slums. But to do that, first you need weapons, right? Yeah, it definitely slows it, but, you know. What's up, Melanyan? How you doing today? What am I doing? I'm walking around looking at the ground. You find a lot of things that people drop when you look down. Have you never found them when you're looking up, right? <laughs> Everything President Shinra says is a lie. But you can't trust that avalanche or whatever you call it. You can bat it around all you like, but it all comes down to wanting to live like the people up there. So, who do you believe in? Myself. Me. Jack Burton. Me. I never lie to myself, that's for damn sure. I'm not gonna take the kids' money, for God's sakes. I have filed my taxes. I had to hire a tax man to help me. And uh, that came at great personal expense. But uh, do it right or pay the price. That's the fear. <laughs> oh, I don't care if it's squat metal or materia. You can get anything here in the slums. <laughs> Got a lot of good materia here. Why don't you look it over? What are you buying? What are you selling? No more premier tax evasion. No, nope, those days are beyond me. Uh, where are the... Oh, yeah, it's this way. God, this game is beautiful. <laughs> Stranger. Look at this. Look at this little place. You got ethers. You've got the cover materia. And you know you gotta put that on the bodyguard. And then you take then you take ice off. Ice. Give it to Aerith. Us. Look at this place. This place is like the getting the good plot in Final Fantasy 14. I'm home, Mom. <laughs> this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Bodyguard? Oh, you were followed again. Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? I'm, I'm... I'm all right. I had Cloud with me. Oh, thank you, Cloud. So, what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Tifa's bar. Is Tifa a girl? Yeah. A girl friend? Pete, the NAST is pleasantly surprised that you filed your tax paperwork early for once. <laughs> Hold on. Mods. Uh, it, 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 it is a surprise to all of us. First of all, why? I, I, I had to do it. I had to tell him early. Why is this? I'll do the poll. Hold on. I got to set everything up. I got to set everything up. I got to set it all up. Why is this shit like... What's up, Nomadic Guy Gene? What's up, Luke? How you doing, Luke? Chain me up, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you, man. How was your stream today? What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? Tifa. Girlfriend? No way. Yeah. That's right. There's two.
What do you guys think? Traveling, random places, treasure hunting, chat made me buy anime girl dolls, and watching stuff. Yeah, okay, sure. I've used that ex I've I've tried that for years. Chat made me do this. Chat made me do that. At one point, you're just gonna have to accept that you like the anime girl dolls. And that you have a whole closet full, and we just gotta say, alright. It is what it is. If you guys are looking for an IRL streamer in Japan to add to your collection of amazing streamers, look no further than Nomadic Gaijin. He's a great streamer, a good friend of the channel, and he's a good, good dude. It was obviously Andre, you have to believe me. That I do believe, I take it back. Tifa has more... I'm sorry. <laughs> of course she does. Uh-huh. Where is it? Where is that? It's gotta be here somewhere. Uh-huh. Tifa's got cutest personality. Uh-huh. Developed personality. Or cloud in Tifa. You know. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised by chat. I'm just disappointed. Personality. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's right. Oh. How nice. Well, well that's... It's nice. Let's see. Sector 7. I'll show you the way. You gotta be kidding. Why do you want to put yourself in danger again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Well, I don't know. Getting help from a girl? A girl? What do you mean by that? Uh-oh. Bad take, Cloud. You expect me to just sit by quietly after hearing you say something like that? Mom! I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I'll be back in a little while. Oh, but dear, I give up. You'll never listen to me once you've made up your mind. But if you must go, why don't you go tomorrow? I know, I know, it's, but it's getting late now. Yeah, you're right, Mom. Aerith, please go make the bed. That glow in your eyes. You're from Soldier, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I used to be. I don't know how to say this, but could you please leave here tonight without telling Aerith? Soldier. The last thing Aerith needs is to get hurt again. You need to go through Sector 6 to get through Sector 7. Sector 6 is a little dangerous, so you'd better get some rest tonight. Cloud? Good night. Oh, man. 
That is the mom voiced with a higher octaves. Seems pretty tired. Huh? I haven't slept in a bed like this for a long time. Oh, yeah. Ever since then. Oh my, how you've grown. I'll bet the girls just never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. I'd feel a lot better if you just settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm all right. You should have an older girlfriend. One that'll take care of you. I think that would be best for you. I'm not interested. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. Sector 7's past Sector 6. I should be alright by myself. No running. No running. No rushing. Get. God, this game is so cool. I'm just so f***ing slow. <laughs> I'll find my rhythm tomorrow. I know it. I know I'll find my rhythm tomorrow. I know I will. Premier Wiggly, Premier Wiggly, Premier Wiggly, Premier Wiggly, Premier Wiggly. Well, you're up bright and early. And thank you, Elaine Phyllis. I couldn't ask you to go. I knew it would be dangerous. Are you done? You have to go through the slum in Sector 6 to get to Tifa's 7th Heaven. I'll take you there. Come on. Remember, th this map right here is so nostalgic. And I think they actually did a pretty damn good job of this, this one little part in Remake. It's an interesting little design place. I I hated it too. That's what makes it so damn impressive. Is I hated it. I'm getting clocked here. There we go. All right, so, so far, so good in terms of, yeah, we had a sponsored segment today from Tokyo Treat and from, uh, Ow, that was Ow there, and from Sakura.co, and the thing that I realized the most was that I, it finally dawned after me after three years of streaming, I really do take forever on these, on, on everything. I'm really bad at being quick. I had no idea. I am fighting a house. Final Fantasy has some unique boss designs. Or not even boss, creature designs. You're gonna see a lot of bizarro stuff right here. This thing took me so long to figure out when I was a kid. <laughs> I was trying to go from the top of the other red part to go across, and I was like, why can't I figure this out? Stupid plank. Ah, the doldrums of being a young man. Now I'm obviously much better at the game. <laughs> I bet you we're gonna unlock Klim Hazard or whatever, or Hard Slash in a minute, after, right now. 
right now. It's gonna say cloud unlocked hard edge or whatever. Look at this. I can feel it. Ah, uh, soon. <laughs> hard edge is a weapon. That was it? I thought that was way bigger when I was younger. I remember getting stuck here and in the train graveyard because I didn't know where to go. Damn, dude. That was one screen? Hey, what's up, Kodo Ken? How, are you looking forward to Persona 3 Reloaded, boss man? The graveyard was horrible. Thanks. I guess this is good. Maybe I should, I can, maybe Cloud talks like boss man can. Man, there's too many games. I guess this is goodbye. Peace. Slum drunk. <laughs> How you doing though, man? Hope, hope your, your day is going well. Hope your week is going well. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks. I guess this is goodbye. Are you going to be all right going home? It's one screen away. Oh, no. What will I ever do? Isn't that what you want me to say? Isn't that a little bit out of the way? Yeah, I guess so. Cloud, can we take a break? Look how cool this playground is. What it used to be. Now it's a piece of garbage. Water fountain, sand pit. Can't believe it's still here. Cloud, over here. There's also an outhouse up there in the top left. What rank were you? Rank? You know, in soldier. Oh, I was... Uh, first class. Just the same as him. Same as who? Oh, my first boyfriend. Were you serious? No, but I liked him for a while. I probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. I'll tell you one thing. This scene in the Final Fantasy VII Remake, wildly different vibes. Huh? Hey, back there. Tifa! Very different. <laughs> that girl in the cart was Tifa? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. Wait, I'll, I'll go on alone. You go home. I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, locked. Well, for us, look at this screen. Look at this little filler screen right here. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, the I, I've mentioned this a couple times on stream, but it never hurts to repeat to the people who are just tuning in. February, we're in Final Fantasy February for me. So we're going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Classic, Crisis Core uh, Remake, and then Final Fantasy VII Remake, Intergrade, Inter Rebirth. In between that, we're going to build some LEGO streams, we're going to have some IRL streams, we're going to have some Tekken 8 streams. We're going to mix it. We're going to match it. We're going to do a lot of different stuff. But primarily, this is going to be some... If you like Peach streams, you're getting a little daily dose of double. I'm willing to tank the channel's metrics. 
so that we can enjoy one of my favorite games of all time. So it's the FFF, the Final Fantasy February. And we will never be the same again. We're going to put at least 150 hours in of streaming in February. So you're going to get your subs money worth. For $4.99, you get 150 hours of Premier Pete and the gang. Good value. We're going to do it. Somebody told me that the laser emote actually looks like I have a, uh, like I saw an anime boob or something, and I have like a bloody nose. It looks like I have like the bloody nose thing. Yep, got cut scenes, but that time I got, that is cloud, what am I reading really quick? I thought that is cloud's father until I played Crisis Core, and now I know the true story. Ah, see now, I see what you're saying. We did a Final Fantasy X stream. We already beat it on stream. It was great. Yuna, you must watch Premiere 2. Look at this place. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. This is this. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl. So we've got to find Tifa fast. <laughs> hey, you two. Why don't you get some rest? We have a beautiful room. How about it? This is the Kabuki Cho, eh? This is, this is a cool little zone. Undead Fish Cake? How you doing, man? I haven't seen... I haven't seen the Final Fantasy game, so I'm going to buckle in for a wild ride. You got it, man. Count on me. Ugh. Can't, wait, uh, just can't make up my mind mm, uh, about what I don't know how I'm going to say it. It's the item shop down the right. Look at that. So, maybe maybe if Kudo Ken's still here, he can help make this out for me. I haven't uh, seen the FF oh. game, so I'm a buckle in for a wild ride. I got you, man. Don't worry about you. I can. S I know that the uh, the door says girl, girl. Uh, I can't read anything else. Oh, man. Should I go or not? Oh, I get so mental at times like this. Oh. Hopeless! Hey! Hey! Aren't you? What? You mean you're. Huh? You're. What? Don't bring me down to your level. What? No! Dude! No! Me too! No! I. Huh! I decided this after a lot of deep thought. My last memories of Midgar, you know? But. Damn! That guy over there kind of scares me. Yep, me too. Dude, you're Tifa's childhood friend! And you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? What kind of guy are you? <laughs> oh. ah, no way, I can't go on. Things aren't even working out between our differences and my pay. Just isn't cutting it. Dude, that guy is down bad. That guy is so down bad. That Shinra soldier, he's been going to the honeymoon. The kanji is Mitsubashi no Kan. So pretty much, honeybee in. That's so cool. Mitsubashi no Kan. That's, what about, what about... Oh, it's same on the right. You're right. It's the uh, it's the same sign over on the right side. Mitsubi Mitsubashi is kicking it. I just love that that soldier is like he's been going to this honeybee inn, which I guess is like what is it a kabakura, and he's been like paying money, and he's like he's just thinking like, do I spend the money? Fuck! I don't have any. Ugh, it's too expensive. But I she I think we're in love. 
think we're in love! <laughs> what the hell? You, you fuck! This ain't no fucking show, okay? <laughs> I'm busy right now. I'm feeling like there's gonna be a fight! <laughs> uh, welcome. Even unpopular dweebs like you may meet the destiny here. You looking for a girlfriend too? You know a girl named Tifa? Oh, hey, oh, you're pretty fast. Tifa's our newest girl, but unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo, look, he's a famous delatante. Del, de now he wants to settle down and is the market for a bride. Unpopular dweebs like me, man. Uh, what's that? What am I busy with? Yo, Peter, I've never played the Final Fantasy series, but I'm interested in Final Fantasy VII. Can I jump into Final Fantasy VII? Or should I play the previous games first? They don't have any real correlation with each other. Uh, you can just jump into any Final Fantasy that you think strikes your fancy, buddy. You, Ken's right. You can just jump right in. Whatever you think looks cool. Whoa! Don't just stand there, man. Say something, dude. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if it's a direct sequel in the same number, that's gonna be a little bit. That's gonna be a little bit harder. But uh, in general, the mainline names. Hey, please come in. It is I must see. I bet you. I bet you in j the Japanese version of this game. I would actually bet a dollar that the first thing when he says, please come in, he's saying, Irashaimase. That's, if I could find the Japanese screenshot, I would, I know it. He's giving out that, the freebies. That one too. That one too. Irashaimase, dozo desu, whatever. I'm gonna get another pharmacy coupon today! <laughs> I always get the special. It's thanks to the Don that we can eat like this. Ah, fuck off. Don't sneak up on me like that. A little ramen shop? I wanna- let's have it. Hi, Nani Deska. Hi. Today's special coming up. In this store, you pay first. It'll be 70 gil. Not bad. Seven bucks, I'm assuming. Look at that. They've got gyoza on that counter. They've got sushi on that counter. This dude's eating some sort of like ramen on the right, but he's got a sushi or yaki yakitori. Damn. The story's very, it, it, it veers off. So. Mama. Arigatou gozaimasu! So yeah. Interesting game. I'm so slow, guys. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry, sorry, but I can tell that. Isn't Midgard technically the slowest part of the game anyway? Hey, boy, you sure got a good looking heifer there. Take her to the dance place and you'll make a mint. <laughs> you got a good looking heifer. I haven't heard that in uh, since middle school. Ah, boy. A little early to start eating. Come back in a bit. The hell, we're closed now, dude. Ah, uh, what should I do? Should I just buy it? I don't know. It's not really my style. Don't push a hooligan. Let's try it. 
trash. Can't we do anything with it? Oh, this belongs to the owner of the weapon shop, and he keeps picking things up and saving them here. Oh, you mean the owner has a tank in his shop? Anyway, you look at it, it's just trash. This just says dudes, dudes, dudes. Now, these guys are pretty awesome. I think we all like them. They've got their own song. Ha! Join the club! Child's with us! Alright! One, two, three! Squats are all in rhythm. Oh, doing my be- I'm doing my best, bro! Uh, how's this? Get down! Everybody get down! You want the pub? You want the pub? It's like orgasm. Look at me, fuck this. I'm kicking. High kick, try it with us. Put the cookie down. Put the cookie down. Drink your water, Coca-Cola. Oops, I said it. Pump it up. Pump it up. Oh dear, I've gained weight again. Coca-Cola bad, oops. Weird that they play that song there. Weird. I forgot about this place. Wow, this is like an old school Izakaya. Man, times are bad. And then? Oh, mm -hmm. oh, really? <laughs> Man, could you do something for me? Someone's been there all day and they're not coming out and I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> hey, someone's in there, don't look. Hotto, okay, big screen TV, fish on the grill. Uh, yes, if you'd like to order, do it at the counter. Cool. Shit! Nobody told me! They were all, they were all, that's this their voice in there. They're all, that was a character choice. Was I doing Arnie in that voice too the whole time? Was I going, get down, everybody get down. I don't have a cookie. Oops, I said it. Don't do it. If you have a cookie, get to the chopper. Was the whole Arnie section still in that voice too? Did, does the deeper voice sound more like Arnie, or does it just sound like, uh, I made no idea what it was. Oh, well. Look at this guy's weapon shop. He's got a fist with a gun. <laughs> There's a ramen stall here? Little yatai? So cool. What's that say? I'm gonna guess that's a uh, fortune teller's place. This is our town, Scrub. This is the mansion of Don Corneo, most powerful man in Wall Market. Look, the Don's not into men, so don't even let me catch you around here again. Hey, you got a key.
you. <laughs> hey, this looks like the Don's Mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell Tifa about you. No, no, you can't. Why? Do you... <clears throat> do you know what kind of place this is? Look, then what am I supposed to do? You want to go in with me? Well, being a man, that's pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. I don't mean bust in there. I mean... I bu bust... If I, if I charge in there. But... I just can't let you go in alone. Oh, man. First, we need to find out if Tifa's all right. What's so funny, Aerith? Nothing, it's just that you were talking about busting in there. Cloud, why don't you dress up like a girl? It's the only way. What? I just wait, I've got a cute friend that I want to bring. Aerith, I can't. You are worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, hurry. Yeah, yeah come on. Come back. Get pumped. You don't eat the cookie. I'll make you beautiful. Just come back to the gym. Everybody get pumped. Come on back, Cloud. Come on back. Don't be dressed like a woman. It doesn't matter. Pick up the weight, squad. I'll give you my underwear. <laughs> okay. He was shouting. He was he really wants me to go back. He's excited. He's into it. He was just he was screaming from across the entire city. <laughs> I need to get a drink. I need to get a drink. All right. It's 1 a.m. It's 3 a.m. I must be lonely. Tell you what I can do. We can play some Muzak while I'm gone.
1069 Forehead FM bringing you the in sounds from the All right. Let's let's reset for a minute. Let's reset for a quick god dang it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, this was the highlight of the the stream. These uh, Tokyo treat chips. That was good. It's time we put on our blue light glasses, boys. They were like these tom- tomato chili potato chips that were inside the Tokyo Treat box. They were banging. It had a little kick to it. It wasn't like super spicy, but it tasted good. It was good. You know what I you know what I feel like when I when I sit down in my chair and I relax, I it feels like the camera's too high. <laughs> Take care, Dragon. Have a good one, man. I feel like like I'm just like I'm like I set it up wrong. But uh live and learn. But if I sit up straight at, at the beginning of the stream it looks good, and as I slowly sink down into exhaustion, I I I fall slower and deeper into the miasma. Like a big dum dum. You guys want to know something crazy, though? Listen to this. We were joking earlier being about 150,000 followers on Twitch. We're dangerously close now. Uh, We are at, we're, we're 290 away. That's incredible. Ponytail Pete with glasses, you'd look like you're in a metal hardcore band. Uh Lost my hair tie Somewhere around here. Snake, they said I looked like a scruffy Otacon. Otacon, it's not your fault. You are a scruffy Otacon. <laughs> the hair tie doko. I don't know. It's gone. All right. Kupo, he was good. He was sleeping on the bed. He was laying. What? You guys want to see Kupo all of a sudden? Why? You guys miss him?
There he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing today? You slept a lot today, dude. Every time I was looking for you, you were deep in the covers. Deep in there. Yep. Thank you very much, real folk. Let's give him like two minutes. Pete, are you going to give Grand Blue Fantasy Relink a try? Probably not, unfortunately. I just don't think I've got enough time in the day to, to get through those particular games. I wish I could. Like, I know it would be fun. And there's so many games I wish I could spend more time on. But I, I just don't have a lot of... I just, you know... It takes me five and a half hours to get through Midgar, for Christ's sake. Chained Echoes took a very long time. I, I certainly remember that was a tough one for you guys. Koopo, dude, what are you doing? What are you... This is a new one even for you, man. What is your... Hold on, I'll show you guys. I don't know what he's doing. He's a good boy. He loves the butt pats. It, ow. Now he's just crawling very high. Uh, he doesn't. So, like, so the thing about Koopo is that he, he, he talks to Yuki and I differently. So the, the, what he does for me is during this, if I'm sitting here, he'll walk in during the, the middle of the day. And he'll he'll jump on my chest for this moment right here. But when I go to bed, 100%. Looks like he is grooming. And you are the worm bead for him. I don't know exactly what that means, but I don't like the sound of it. I'm not... I don't want to guess what those connections of words are, but I didn't like it. Uh, but what Koopa will do every single night, 100%, 1,000%, is that he will, he will, um, I'll get in the bed, he'll get off the bed, and then he will immediately climb up and he makes me pull the cover down so that my chest is there. And he'll climb up on my chest and dig his head into my neck for about five minutes before he goes to bed. He does it every single night. Every single night. Hey, thank you, Gamer Shadow. He it doesn't matter if he's deep asleep or if he's just awake. Don't bite me. Hey, hey, you did that. That is every single... I should record it one time to show you guys. Maybe I'll record it tonight so you guys can see just like exactly what I'm talking about. He does it every single time without fail. He's saying goodnight. He's a good boy. 
But all right, because he's making the gudu gudu sound. I think he just wants to play. Oh, there now he's okay. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Okay. Get your nub tail out of my face. Please. No nub tail. Yeah, he's a good boy. I love him a lot, obviously. Like, I I spend so much time with Koopa as much as I can. Like, I, I, I try to let him have his own space, and I want him to enjoy, like, his, his rest. But before I leave the house, anytime I have to say goodbye to him, uh, I, I'll lift up the covers and look for him and give him a hug at least four or five times a day. But I always say goodbye. I'll have bad luck if I don't. I think he had an injury. I don't think nub tail is very common. But I think he we got him as a rescue. And I think something happened to him as a kitten. Where he may have lost it. I don't know why cats shove their ass in your face. I don't understand. I, I don't particularly like it. Um, but... Better than him running away from me, I guess. Good boy. Good boy. Nice cat. Thank you very much, Mushy Peas. Love you, buddy. See, he didn't even want to be in here with me. Now he's all like... Not wanting to move. I don't, I don't know. We've, I, 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 catnip, I don't know if we've really given him too much, you know? All right, buddy. All right, that's enough, Koopa Chum. His little stump tail, I do like it. Pete does Koopa like Tokyo Treat and Sakurako? He does. He uh he was going through all of the boxes and saying, what a great sponsor that I had today. He was a very good cat about that. Thank you, Koopa, for supporting. Good boy. What? Did you guys hear that? Why? Did you guys? I don't think you caught that. Just stumbled across your YouTube videos and binge the IRLs. Love it. Thanks, man. I think you may have said a bad word in there. Watch this, though. I'm going to show you what Koopo thinks this is really weird. Watch. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Koopa. Don't be scared.
defo my fave stream ADM, can't wait for another fun month of streams. Loved your appearance on Journey Across Japan 2 Premiere Smile. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. Although, uh, I, I, I wish, I, I, you know, sad to be there on the very last day, but I'm glad that you liked it. That's Koopo, guys. Look at that little face. He could end me right now. Look at that guy. Just gotta say your glasses frame looks very neat, Jordoc, just right. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. All right, buddy. I sound like a bird, don't I? You don't like it. You don't like it, I think. Sorry, I bought. What's this on your claw? Hold on a minute. You have a lot of like fur, sir. All right, guys, say goodbye to this guy. He's going to go back to bed. <laughs> you can't block me with my glasses, can you? He's so cute. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. All right. <laughs> Koopo chan do you ever plan to get another cat? Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe someday. What's the dog? What? What? Elden? Dog? Elden Chin? Wait, I can't tell. This. This is a big day. The Golden Gal, the Elden Chin. What was he doing on Dog CD? The man was biking through the suburbs of Tokyo today. He goes left. He goes right. He was playing Elden Ring, not Armored Core 6. He ate a miso ramen plus a katsudan. He is the nominee for the best IRL streamer in Japan. And rightfully so. He is your champion and mine, Mr. Robert CD. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. Very happy for you. I uh, I was on one of your IRL streams last year for the ugly Christmas sweater. So if you win, technically, I am entitled to a very small part of the trophy. <laughs> so I want you to win very badly. I feel it's only fair that I would get a piece of the wood shaving or a glint of the gold. Belongs to you, yes. <laughs> yes, you, you heard it here. Oh, maybe I had it backwards. Maybe you're right. Maybe you get a small piece of the trophy and I keep the entire thing. And you don't have room in your office anyway. You're a CEO. Thank you for the raid, man. 
Glad. You know what? Personally speaking, I'm excited to see a lot of these uh, dog CD streams lately. I've been enjoying your content, whether you're doing whatever, whatever you're doing, I'm enjoying it. I think my favorite highlight today, uh, it's always hard to choose, but it was when you awkwardly got a free Red Bull. <laughs> and then as you were escaping from this gaggle of people who were trying to be on the camera and wave to you, I swear if you watch it back, it sounds like every it sounds like they're the right quakes. behind you and they're going she <laughs> It was fantastic. I could just see him going, she, and I was like, what is going on? I was doing some sort of work. That means playing video games. And, you know, I've got my, I've got my Rob CD set up. And I just keep hearing him go, eh, time to go. That's awkward. And then I hear she a bunch. Yeah. Great streams. It's good to have you back uh, in Tokyo. Enjoy. Thanks for the raid. We've, we've had a really fun day today. We had one of our first sponsors ever, which was a Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat. And they were like, yeah, just do a quick unboxing. That took me 45 minutes. <laughs> and then we started playing Final Fantasy VII. Classic. Classic Final Fantasy VII. Uh, it took me two hours. Yeah, that's about right. Um, and so the the... Ideas that we're playing, Final Fantasy VII on PS1, Crisis Core, Remake, Integrate, Into, uh, Rebirth. But we're going to mix it up here and there with some other games, but that's all what we're doing. If you guys don't have Rob CD on your follow list and you're from my community, do it, or Dog CD, his gaming channel. He's so talented, he's got two channels. There you go. Dog and Rob and apparently Blob CD got one. So there you go. That's what we. That's what we're doing here. I can I can show you this, Rob, before I go. And I, I'm not one to completely sell out, but Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Everyone dies eventually. As a waifu, get yours for 10% off using promo code PREMIER at checkout. One more. Mm -hmm. Great ad. Great ad. <laughs> it's very good. I feel like that is just a, a great piece of salesmanship. I'm already at the checkout. If you weren't at the checkout. If time is a river, do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive. Persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat, ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. I mean, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. But you could use a couple of gamer subs in your life. Caffeine freeze available. Some sus snacks. I'm not telling you you need to do it, but why wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, we joke about it and we laugh and we say like, uh, you know, that was fun. I had to do that. I had to record that video with my hair back in a top knot. And looking at a blue steel. And the problem was, is we couldn't get it to work. It wasn't working where I had to sit here. So I had to, I had to use my phone. And I had to do it like, I had to, I had to go like this. 
I don't even. I had to go. For like seven takes. It was horrible. I have the raw footage. It's awful. It's actually disgusting. I hated it. I hated every moment of it. <laughs> so it's been it's been a good it's been a good month. Oh no, what's up, man? Send me the outtakes for reasons. No, those are never gonna see the light of day. How many subs to show it? It's not gonna happen. Seven. Seven. <laughs> the end result is incredible, though. No, you're right. It's fun. It's uh, it was no, I'm not, I'm not gonna share those. But it was, it was fun to make. It was fun to make them because you know, I I asked the gamer subs guys, can we be goofy with it? Can we have some fun? Can we like do some goofy commercials? And they were like, absolutely, go for it. If you wanna, if you wanna, you know, be a doofus, do it. I was like, I do want to be a doofus. I. Absolutely want to do this. So we had a we had a really good time with it. And me and my buddy who designed those commercials, we recorded them and he edited them and put them together. And I think they turned out actually really well. And then he put the template of the first one where it was like the uh what's it called? The um the waifus. And he has just the reactions that he dropped in the Discord. And he's letting people create their own awful. There was a Pokemon one. There was a Sea Dog one. I these are these are getting tough to watch. Where I'm going, ooh, mm. and the Pokemon one especially didn't make a lot of sense to me because people were reacting with jokes. But I I don't know who any of these like is that one weird? Is that one not? I don't know. So that one's not for me, obviously. So the Sea Dog one was the best. It was pretty good. They're all really fun. So. Yeah, good times, man. Good times. We've got how long we've we been streaming? Wow, nearly seven hours. That's not that long, I guess, but. But, but, this is called the channel killer in a way. We're still, we're, we're about to, we were, we were about to get pumped up and. Cloud's got a dress as a Bay Barino. And I know that we get to go to this, this Donshi bar, which is the opposite of the Muscle Girl bar. And we get to we get to get ripped. Put down the cookie. The cookie's bad. Don't gotta drink your water. Coca-Cola. Oops, I said it. Miso ramen. Katsukari. That's not protein, that's just fat. We're gonna have that guy. I just don't remember. Where's the dono? Oh, wrong button. There you go. There you go. I got you. I wanted to go big screen for that. I forgot where we where we. Uh oh. Really? Yuki for real? Wait. I 
right. I need a lot of help. I'll just openly say it. All right, wait, where do we, uh, that could have gone better. No, it could, that, that's about as good as it could have gone. What are you doing? <laughs> um, looks like something happened to the chat box that, can we just have one thing go well today? It feels like everything we've been trying to do, it's all just been a blast to the package. Like, OBS may be just broken. Like, the, the chat box is still... there? But it's, it's no longer actually showing up. Been one of those days. We've had some interesting quirks the past few days. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Other, like, this, was it working on the, uh, it's working here, right? Yeah, I can see it here. Smooth sailing. You know, you'd think that, like, I did open the source and, and redo it all. I did, I swear. Huh. Maybe, I, maybe that's the indication that it's like, hey, you! Go to bed, you son of a bitch! So, that, that could be it. Because if, if you guys aren't here, is it even worth it? That's the question, right? Like, if you guys are not even... ...there, what's the point of all of this? Nah, I'll go for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. We gotta show the dog CD faithful that we still have some heart. That we we believe we believe in it. He says while yawning. It's true. Hey, you two. Why don't you get some rest? They have a beautiful room. How about it? Welcome, it'll be 10 gil per night. All right, then please come again. Look at this. This is not so dirty. We're supposed to be in like the, the Kabuki Cho gross area of town. This ain't so bad. A different one, but we'll keep it. All right, so I forgot where to start. <laughs> hey, boy, you sure got a good looking heifer right there. Moo -hoo 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 -hoo. Take her to the Don's place and we'll get you sorted with the mint. All right, where the fuck? I think it's right here where we start. We gotta, we gotta look the part. Um, excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Uh, it might take a while, and eh? once you come back, uh, would that be all right? Well, what's the problem? Yeah, well, oh, but, uh, well, you know what, my father, he, uh, the owner, he's been in a slump lately, so he makes all the dresses. And where is your father? He's probably, like, uh, plastered at the bar. So, you're saying we can't get a dress unless we do something about your father? Yeah, I'm sorry, you know what, he caused a lot of trouble, okay? Wait, you'd help him... You, you, you'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we don't get a dress, right? Really? All right, please help my crazy old dad. I, I just don't know what to do anymore. All right, we'll do something. Let's go, Cloud. Okay. Uh... He's at the bar. Uh, the bar is, uh, right here. The Izakaya bar. And it's this dude... It's this dude just having a rough go. Excuse us. Are you the father of the girl at the clothing... Oh, the girl at the clothing store. Whoops. 
Are you the father of the girl with the Brooklyn accent at the clothing store? Yeah, you won't. You won't even do about it. I own the clothes shop, man. But I, I ain't your father. I didn't say that. Make me some clothes. Hey, look. I don't. I don't. I don't make men's clothes. All right. And I f don't feel like making anything right now. Bada bing, capiche? Cloud, you wait over here for a second. I'll <clears throat> try to talk to him. Why don't you go over there and have something to drink? You know, mister, you always said that just once you'd like to dress up like a girl. So that's why I wanted a cute dress for him. What? A dog? Oh. Eh, yeah, tough looking guy like that. So, how about it? Will you make him one? Yeah, well, bada bing, bada boom. Well, you know, the best tailor in the room. Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes, eh? Then you'll do it for us? Yeah, all right. What kind of dress do you want? Okay, wait. I think, I think, uh, this is the big. To make the pretty girl things, I think this one is, it's soft, right? I'm pretty sure it's a soft one. Yuki would choose clean, but I, I know. I know that, uh, what the D-Gen's like. Is it soft and shimmers? It shimmers, isn't it? Shimmers. It's shiny? It's gotta be shimmers. Alright, what do you want me to do? I got it. Huh? You know I got a friend that's got a friend that's got a friend. I, you know, he's got the same taste as them. You gotta go talk to him, eh? Hey. Hey, 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 hold on, oh, oh, hey, I'm walking here. Hold on, wait till you get a, wait till I get an image in my head. Oh. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Alright, next up is, uh, I forgot where we go next. To the muscles? I thought we had to do this. Oh god, I don't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember any of this sh stuff anymore. It's been 20. The deodorant? Is that in the item store? Why do you always tell me that during a stream? I'm just gonna check it now, you know. I will take a look though. Top right shop. I get nervous when you say that. Usually that means that I, I've said something stupid and then you're like, all right. Ah, nothing, okay, good. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like, I didn't want you to know, but you know, Koopo shit in the corner and Yuki missed it and you're gonna get in trouble. Boy, man, you got a minute? I need to talk, dude. Like man to man. What is it? Oh, really, dude? I really, oh, man, I really, really appreciate it. I'm sorry, but young lady, would you like, um, oh, turn the other way for like just a second? Um, why? Aerith. Gosh. I'm sorry, lady. All right, dude. Now, here's the thing. You know, like the vending machine at the end? I'm itching to know what they're selling in it, man. Oh, I just can't ask a girl to go and get it, dude. What? Why don't I buy it quakes. myself? Well, I got to tell you the truth, man. I got in a fight with like the guy at the end. I can't go there anymore, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. How about it? All right, I'll go. 
Oh, good. Thanks, dude. I'll be waiting here when you're done. Finished? Yeah, I think the implication here is that in Japan, a lot of these kind of sleazy, dodgy places, I've heard, sell rubbers at their vending machines uh, at these kind of places. Hey, what's up, Loomchan? Thank you. What in the holy text wall is that, Spice Bag? Okay, the Ireland Special. Okay, let me see here. Or panties. Ah, uh, ah, Lord, I must laugh. Go to the diner just below the pharmacy in the materia shop. It's with the... I remember the maps of the Holy Land with the end mat outside. Sit in the empty seat and order whatever you want. When asked, say it was all right. You'll get the pharmacy coupon. Go to the pharmacy just below the diner with the lucky cat satchel outside. Exchange the pharmacy coupon for the digestive. Go back into the bar where you met the drunk guy. Go to the toilet door at the back of the room. Offer the occupants the digestive. They'll give you the sexy cologne. Got it. Got it. Okay. I do not sound like this. I, neither does Spice Bag. <laughs> Wait. Uh, here it is. That's the vending machine, right? Wait. Different. This is a different spot. Oh God, I'm struggling here, boys. I'm struggling. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We gotta get. We gotta go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We go here. We use this. We don't. We don't use this. I ah! I'm not paying attention correctly. I I am not. Go to the bathroom in the bar. Okay, let's just start. Let's go step by step because I'm being distracted ten ways to Sunday. Okay, that's the dude. So we need to get him a, we need to get him a hyper. Do I play Mahjong or Solitaire? Chinese mind training, it keeps the mind fresh. I have one better. I keep my mind fresh by playing Magic the Gathering. I feel like tapping for mana and making those decisions is significantly or at least equal to Mahjong. Does he mean this? I say we go big or go home, right? We play, we, we buy the 200 gil one, right? Okay. It's a lot of gill. Okay, then we need a hyper. And the hyper is for sale. Uh, nope, no, 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 no. It's here. It's here. Then. Ah, the digestive. We buy the digestive, right? Definitely the digestive. Chaku, Chaku P. Okay. Then we go back to the toilet. I'm going to cure that man's poops. Oh, I'm going to give, I'm going to cure her poops. Huh? You'll really give me some? Thanks. Woo! I feel better now. This is for your kindness. Sexy cologne. Sexy cologne. 
If time is a river, do you have a paddle? Repellers go down faster and with more control. Elusive, evasive, persistent, righteous traits for a merman. A parched throat ever seeking to be sated. Guacamole Game of Fart 9000. Use promo code Premier for 10% off your order at checkout. Okay, good. Cologne commercial, got it. Got it. Then... Why would someone give you sexy cologne like that, though? That's wild style. Now we go to the Honey Bee Inn, right? We got to go to the Honey the honey Bee. <sighs> got to talk to the ladies. That's going to go down here. Uh, wait, uh, <laughs> I'm here. welcome, even the most undreamy girlfriend, wrong place, we already saw this, uh, okay, I think we got to talk to one of these bozos. <laughs> what the hell? You fuck. This ain't no fucking show. I'm busy, right? I feel like this. It's gonna be a fight. No. Oh, no way. I can't go on. Things aren't working out between our differences. Okay, no. Um. Okay, okay. That means there's another place I was supposed to go. Gotta talk to the guy outside this place. Ah, uh, God. Nope. I just... I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't be able to get in without it. That is a super lucky. That guy's just like, take the card. Mmm, please, please. Hey, this is a member's card, I see. Paul Allen's shining in your hot little hand. Please come in. <laughs> Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. <laughs> These guys are down bad. Bad, 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 bad. Look at this. As soon as she gets away from Cloud, Johnny's crawling on the floor. The Shinra guard is oogling and the guy is just going full on head banging in place. He's just... He's crawling on the floor, Yuki. Johnny. <laughs> Nobody. Looks like I need to go inside to complete my disguise. Uh... Oh, sure. Okay, good excuse. See ya. What's that weird face? Don't do that. Can you do this, Yuki? Oh, you can't talk. Because you have mouthwash? Yeah. Retainer. Yeah. <laughs> you have your dentures, so you can't speak? Yeah. Don't punch me. Don't punch. Watch, watch this, guys. If I grab your arm. <laughs> her dad. <laughs> she knows like a ninjutsu. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on, wait. When I was walking. 
And it was like. They can't hear you. I've told you this a million times. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, they gave it to us in the cup. I mean, in the box that we got. Get yours at Sakuraku. Can you close the... Huh? Mino... Mino Yaki? I never understood this joke right here. Why does it say who? Uh, I mean, sir? Is she disappointed that you're here? Like, ah, oh, shit. Like, what's that, what's that mean? Oh, like, I, 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 yeah, I think it's just like, ah, uh, another customer. Oh, uh, I mean, um, sir? Hayaku, hurry. The Queen's room. Looks like this room's being used. Let's take a listen. Wow! Wind's calm now. Medallion humming. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen. It's not working. Time is right. Legend has been passed on to generations. Should we stop him soon? I don't know. We have a luncheon with like President Shinra. I mean, you can tell him. I can't tell him. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay. Legend has been passed on through generations. I'm so disgusted with this president. This happens every time we come to Midgar in business. We came all the way out to Midgar for this shit. What are you complaining about? You're just holding the lights. I gotta wear this heavy armor. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's all part of the job. Oh, yeah, did you hear? The president's wife found out about this little hobby of his. <laughs> no way! No way I didn't know that. Yeah, it looks like he's done. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, Mr. President, I mean, uh, your ma- Your Majesty! Oh, I'm so sorry. Please remove this ancient curse. The f was that? The lover's room. Looks like this room's being used. Oh, 
Oh, what's wrong, Grandpa? You keep sighing. Ah. Well, you know, Grandma. Is this the room? Now, I know our son rented this for us and all, but it's too nice for us. Big round bed, gorgeous tub, and I just can't seem to get comfortable. I don't worry about it. It's a high-class neighborhood in the big city. You keep complaining, we'll get in big trouble. So, can you, does, if you keep watching, does new stuff happen? This is the room. Looks like it's unoccupied. I'll hold my ground. Huh. Which one do we... Or it's the shit room. Which one do we take there? Uh, I thought we went... I thought we took like... I can't remember anything. Which one we go to, boys? I can't quite recall. Bottom left. The group room. I thought that, like, the muscle dudes were in here. I guess I'll take this one. I'll take this room. All right. Now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have a change of heart, are you? Don't make me repeat myself. Oh, don't be angry with me. Jeez, this one's probably the violent type. All right, please. Shall we begin? You know what? Hold on. Let me, let me, let's do it right. Let's do it right. We're never going to beat this game. We're never going to beat it. Just cut the small talk. I don't want to talk right now. I'm more of an action man. All right. All right. Ooh, gee. So moody. Come on. Everyone's waiting. Everyone? <laughs> Everyone? Here they are. All right, everyone. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Yeah! One, two, one, two. Mookie. Ah, what's up? What's up? What's up? Get the cookies. <laughs> ah, man. Or men. What should I do? This could be dangerous. Looks like I'm always going to be facing crisis all my life. <sighs> Actually, you're probably right. The song for this one wouldn't be YMCA. I think it's I think I think you got to go
I probably should have mentioned. I had did this song in high school. Four years in a row for the talent show. I remember all the lyrics now. That's why I still remember a lot of the words. I think he says, dig the hair on my chest in a minute. The ground quakes. It's all coming back. And then each year, no, it wasn't, we were never, we never did it to enter the contest. It was, we were the tabulating scores. And each year, it just built more and more that there's no way they're going to do that again. Welcome to the circus of Yo, hell tell you. us. Thank you. 20 big, big boys. boys. And each year, we just, we. Dig my big, big mustache. There it was. I knew he said it. Dig that hair on my chest. Anyway. Anyway. Macho, macho man. <laughs> we lost a few viewers there. They'll be back. Thank you, Talis. Thank you, Washu. This is this is just a regular P2 stream, I guess. Welcome to the circus Whoa. of value. There's a macho man. He's got a funky walk. His western shirts and leather always looks above. This is a random playthrough, and it went to this one next. New York and Japan. Dance us to Ronald and Macho Man. <laughs> Mario's moving. Thank you, dudes. Sugoi yasashi, minasan, eh? At 2 a.m. at the Honey Bee Inn, we get a little weird. I can't claim to defend it. All I can say is no regrets. What you think about that? Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, Bubby. Heave. Panta. All right, let's wash off all our sweat and dirt together. What's up? Hop. Hop, 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 would you look at that? Ooh. 
Isn't bathing great? Soothes you. <laughs> Bathing is they great. They chose man eater. <laughs> they chose man eater. Here's some money. <laughs> More funds for the Rotterdam trip. Can't wait to see you in my city of birth. Dude, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, dudes. Thank you, Alan P. Lead. Thank you for the donation, man. Yeah, it soothes ya. How is it, Babear? Feels good, A huh? hundred subs? Ooh, ah. Wow. 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 wow! Dude, thank you. That's 150 subs you just dropped in general for this great community. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your generation. Hontoni. Arigato, Talos. Seriously, Domo. Whoa, whoa, here he come. Thank you. And Mika. Thank you. Legends, the lot of you. I've, that's a very rare day we get to see the hundo bomb. But we're all macho man. We've got our funky walks. Uh, what is the correct answer to this section? I think it's dot, dot, dot. And fire! We got a level 13 hype train. Premier Wiggly. I think you just got to gum on and endure it, man. No pain, no gain. I don't feel good. Let me out. Ooh. No, no, no. You'll get used to it. Try counting to 10. Each. Me. Sa. 10. 9. Hey, Bubby. How old are you? 8. 21, 21, ooh, you're less than half my age, I'm so jealous. So, how about it? You wanna join my young Bubby's group? Seven, six, not, not to be rude or anything, but could you do someone else? Well, if that's how you feel, then too bad. We have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's ten. I'm getting out. Well, oh, wait, 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 now hold on now. Hold on, Zach Webb, hold on, everybody. Why don't you just stick around and play a bit? Daddy's so lonely. Oh, Bubba! This is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. Bikini briefs. Now I'm broke. Dude. Dude. But you're rich in generosity and friendliness. Thank you for your incredible support of the channel. Hontoni. You, you gave a lot of people a great February. And we're going to be streaming a lot, so it'll, it'll be worth it in the long run. I guarantee it. 
And you, you were you were driving this train all the way to level 13, brother. Appreciate that, genuinely. Hope we meet again. <laughs> this is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Well, if it's to save Tifa, I guess there's no choice. <laughs> even she ran out. <laughs> even even the girl darted out. She was out. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Ooh, I just can't seem to lose that weight. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Sir, you can't come in here. Yuck. Pervert. Ugh. If I were to dress up like a woman, and I've got to really prepare carefully, I should be able to put makeup on here. I have a favor to ask of you. Can you put makeup on me, too? Oh, my. Is there anything else we're missing, guys? Was that everything? We got the bikini briefs, the sexy cologne, and the nice dress. <laughs> Oh, man, I want flowers, too. <laughs> I get so nervous in front of cute girls. Ah, ah, it just seems natural to get cautious. Okay, so we need a wig and a tiara. Okay, forgot about that. Hey, Cloud. Oh, hubba. Hey, I just bought some pretty flowers from Eric. 500 gil. A little expensive, but Paul Allen didn't get them. Well, at least I got her name. This is another thing. Uh, a lot of times at these kind of establishments, just getting someone's real name is very hard, and you usually get a fake, and you have to pay more and more and more, and then they might add you on, like, a, a messenger service, and then you finally can get, like, the name of them or whatever. God, Aerith, thank you for the flower and one gill. Oh, ah, ah. I'm gonna treasure this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna dry it and keep it for good luck. <laughs> I, I asked Aerith for a date, and she said, not even if I paid her a million gill. The flowers cost me a million gill too. She's a good businesswoman. Damn, that guy is down bad. All right, so where do we go next? We've got makeup. We've got the dress. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it, spider brain. Ads pay for the ponytail. I have not done the squats at the gym yet. I didn't know how to do it. I don't know how to engage that. Who do I, how do I do it? Huh. So what about, so we need the tiara and we need the, uh, that thing. 
Can we go back to this thing now? Or is it is it okay? It's after you try on the dress. Okay. Looks like everything went well. He's been making the dress ever since he came back. Hey, what do you do? Okay, you're here. Okay, all right, all right. It's ready. Go try it on, all right? How, <clears throat> how do you put this on? Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Well, it's still not right. A wig, that's what you need. Premier Jam, Premier Jam, Premier Jam. Uh, thank you, Miss Goulette, I appreciate you. Hey, wait a minute, I, uh, look, I thought you might, I thought you might need one, eh? So I, I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them, all right? Like you. Aerith, what did you tell him? Okay, does it really matter, Cloud? Anyway, we got a pretty dress. Oh, this game is great. I, I'm up way too late. But I'm having a good time. I want to finish this costume before I, before I stop. We're having too much fun. I think that that Macho Man dance took it out of me. We've really... This is a, a classic Premier 2 speedrun. One... Oh, wait. I never gave the thing back to the guy. Hey, I got it. Oh, dude, really? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, dude. Jeez. Okay, man. What was it? A oh, protein drink set? Oh, that jerk. I'm gonna do so much more business than him. His head'll spin. Oh, thanks, bud. I'm motivated now. Take this. It's not much, but I don't know. Top shelf. For a top flight dude. The Diamond Tiara. Alright, come by again, dude. I'll still be doing business here, man. Good? All right. Listen, are you the one who wants to be cute? Cute? That's right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Ooh, ah. Oh! Uh, wait, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what was it? Is um, Sun Tzu said that? And I'd say he knows a little bit more about training than you do, pal. Big bro, you're the only way you're gonna get cutter, uh, cuter, <laughs> is if you can beat the big bro. Is that right? So now you just got to come speak with us. Is that right? That's just a spot. As right, I speak you out of this gym. Are you? The beautiful bro? What, you don't know? Always running around saying big bro this and big bro that? No, oh, never mind. Come over here. Uh. Sun Tzu said that. No, oh, I'll explain the rules. From the ready position, press square to squat and X to get up and then circle to get back to the ready position. Square, X, circle, in that order. Whoever has the most squats after 30 seconds gets the wig. Unless it's a farm. Big bro's wig is mine. All right, all right. I don't need to practice.
Ooh, how about a little hot chocolate? Got it. He had 18 squats and you had 20. Still got it, baby, baby. Baby, baby. baby, baby. You're really something. Okay, look, I'm a man of my word, so here you are. Blonde wig. Big bro! I'm so mad, I'm so mad, I'm so, so, so mad! <laughs> Shut up. Don't cry just because you lost. Oh, big bro said that. Fist of steel cut to the bone. That's big bro gets hold of his vest. All right, we got all the pieces. What's up, Katty? And Telu Mama. How you doing, man? Thank you, Raiders. However, my friends, the reality is as such. I'm 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 out of juice. It took us four hours to get to the wall market. You should voice act with old Connor Dog. I would love to. He's an amazing voice actor. You know, sometimes when he just talks. Hello, my name is Connor. Today, I went to a crane game challenge with my good friend Pete. I'm sure I'm going to beat him, but unfortunately, he crushed me on the online poll. However, my voice makes the ground quake and everyone very excited. He's just got that voice, man. He sounds so good. I was having a great stream, thank you. But, it's that time, my friends. It is that time, my friends. I'm, I'm getting, I'm hurting. I know what you're thinking, guys, but it was a, it was like a big stream today, it was. We had we had a sponsorship with Tokyo Treat and Sakura Co. Yeah, we played fuck me. We played four and a half, five hours of Final Fantasy VII the classic, and I I uh, I full I full sent. I tried to do as many voices as I could. I thought we nailed Barrett. I thought we had some good fun today, and this just means that tomorrow, when we start, I'm not gonna have an extended intro tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be, it's going to be fast. We're going to get into the game because we do need to start Final Fantasy February. This is not a drill. We are, we are, we are schmoving and we are grooving our way towards uh, getting through. We're not going to finish it tomorrow. Certainly not. But the idea is, is that we can, um, we can have a lot of fun this week. Friday is Ian's birthday. And I will be going out to do something with him on Saturday. So tomorrow and Friday, I still got some, some games to play. We're going to be playing Final Fantasy VII today and to, or tomorrow. Well, I guess today now. Thursday and Friday. Unless somehow I wake up tomorrow and I say, you know what? This, I did Macho Man on stream and I'm dead tired. <laughs> but it was a very good stream today. It really was. We had a lot of fun voice acting. I mean, I think that our passion for Final Fantasy VII bled through. And so I really had, what's up, Cleavy Boy? Great stream today playing Final Fantasy Tactics, man. My favorite Final Fantasy. Well, if you missed it, you can always go back to the VOD and enjoy it that way. It's uh, always get better to have it. Uh, it's always better to be here live. I understand that. But I'm just the town, I'm the slum drunk of, of the Twitch verse. Great fun today. Um, I'm going to find us a place to, you know what? Great streamer. Let's go say hi to her.
Her name is Hannah. Hannah Avocado. She's really cool. She's from Down Under. She's great. Uh, we've done Rainho. We've done Caho recently. But I think it's time to to kind of spread the love. Cool streamer. Awesome person. And I met her at TwitchCon Vegas. She was a really friendly person there as well. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I have some news for you, though, that's going to... It's going to kind of be interesting if, you're, if you want to know. They, it, it is this. We had eight hours of power. We averaged 2,000 viewers on Final Fantasy VII, which is nuts. We had a max viewership of 6,000, and then I started dancing. Uh, we had a unique viewers of 17,000 people. We had huge raids from across the stream sphere. We had gained almost 300 followers at 297. And we had 283 subscriptions Thanks to all of your guys' generosity and Talus going wild style. Great, great vibes today. Thank you to everyone who donated towards TwitchCon and PremierCon. I'm looking forward to making that a reality. Thank you to everyone who, who lurked. Who was supportive during the, the uh, sponsored stream. Thank you to the mod team. Oh, shit. Wait. I, wait. Wait. I'm trying to get this off. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody who supported the stream. Thank you to everyone who chatted. Thank you to everyone who talked. Thank you to everyone who donated, gifted, bits, all that fun stuff. You guys are the real MVPs. I'm excited to see you guys tomorrow. And we're going to have more macho men, more fun. And see ya. Bye-bye. Damn, I'm too slow and too shitty at that.